Hey guys, it's Fia, back again with another Twitch vlog. This one is from the 11th of February, 2022. It's my birthday. I turned 32 today. I am an old. It was a, it was a full on stream. I am exhausted. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I'm going to let you watch and, and like figure it out for yourself. But like, I am just knackered. <laughs> so I'm going to go to bed. But I hope that you, I really hope that you enjoyed the VOD as much as I enjoyed this stream. And uh, you can catch me live Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, 4 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Or you can go to twitch.tv forward slash fiama forward slash schedule to, uh, to see what time I will be going live in your time zone. Because it, uh, sorry, nah, itchy nose. It automatically converts to your time zone, which is very convenient. Uh, if you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing. And following me on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram, brand deals are a thing, and on Twitter, and there's a Facebook, and there's a TikTok, if you so desire. Also, discord.gg forward slash fiama if you'd like to have a chat with the community. Even if you can't attend stream, you can chat with the community anyway. We're pretty awesome people. I will see you in the next one. Enjoy the VOD. Hey, sorry, I don't know what's going on, um, but my... My stream quality is just dying every 20 seconds or so. Uh, and I've been trying to figure out what's going on, but I can't, I can't figure it out. It's just dying in the ass every so often. Like I'll be sitting up at nearly 4,000, kabibs, and then all of a sudden it's 200, and then it's nothing, and then it's back up to 4,000. And I, I don't, I don't understand why. I have 8.5% dropped frames. Uh, and my camera is a bit strange as well. I'm not sure what's going on with the camera either. Uh, but it looks weird. Um, it's it's exceptionally cold, but I've got it set to the same temperature as it was before. And if I turn it warmer, my hair stays black and I just go orange. So I, I'm not sure. I I don't know. I I don't know. Oh, hang on. Maybe... Why did that do anything? That shouldn't have done anything. I changed the exposure down and then back up again. That should not affect color. Fucking hell. <laughs> Look. Look, I, I give up. Who fucking knows? I don't. Good. All right. Fantastic. Done. Fixed. Good. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Frank Walker from National Tiles. <sighs> What's up? What is up? I'm tired. I, um, I had a nap. <laughs> accidentally. I, I accidentally fell asleep and had a nap. And then my alarm went off to get ready. I was like, shit. Um, <laughs> uh, fuck. I have had an exceptionally unproductive day, but I mean, it's my birthday, so fuck it, right? That's what I'm supposed to do, right? Right, 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 right? Yep, mm hmm, mm hmm, yep, good. Good. My eyes won't stop watering, and I just look, everything is fucking golden today. Everything's golden. Uh,. <laughs> You know, you know when you, like, nothing, nothing terribly bad has happened, but you know when, lit, like, a whole shitload of little things don't go quite right? Yep, that's, that is, that is what has happened today. <laughs> a whole shitload of things have just gone not quite right. Yeah. So, hi. Well done, Zam. On first, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry, Zam. I still haven't done your sound command. Um, would you know? Would you believe it? I've been busy. Uh, <laughs> would you believe it? Um, but no, it is still sitting there. It is high up on my to-do list. I just have to actually sit down and get it done. Uh, so my sincere apologies. It is still- What the hell is going on? Am I just being an update? Probably. Uh... Well done on second, Philander. So quick, oh my god. Look, people sitting there waiting. There was there were no chats prior to me going live today, so I thought maybe people were just not here today. And then I press go and it's like brrrm. Yep. 
Look, you were all just you were all just being ninja lurking sneaky people. Uh, and that's good too. That's good too. Well done on also here, fairy. Hello, hello. Uh, well done on last, Yuri. We're just excited. I'm glad. I'm glad. 69th for Koala. Good afternoon, Crumb. Welcome back. Welcome in. Uh. <laughs> Look, my hair's not behaving today, but it's fine. Oh, I just adjusted the volume accidentally. Good. Good. Ah, uh, hello, Jason. Yes, I'm aware. Closed caption, but you're on now, so it's fine. Happy birthday. Thank you, Faden. Thank you. 30.1 versus 1k. Looks like people think you're getting mad. It's because it's my birthday. And it would be incredibly rude of Iron Jesus to not give me the mount on my fucking birthday. Thank you very much. Oh, hello, Lander. Hello, Chaos. Thank you. How are you today? Tired. <laughs> Tired. I slept terribly last night. And, uh, and then today I got up and I did some garrison stuff. And then I went to Woolies and bought a ton of shit. Um, like just crappy, you know, junk food and stuff like that. And I forgot to buy the one thing I actually went there for, which was my infusion tea bags, my cold infuse for my water. Yep, I'm very talented. Um, and I got home with all of my chocolate and candy and soft drink and shit. Uh, and then I got into bed. Uh, just kind of like just sitting there because it's comfy, wrapped in a blanket. Um, and drinking my vanilla coke and eating some chips and shit. And watching Glow Up on Netflix and I passed oh, out. Sun well. I passed out. Dupe, thank you so much for the resub. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. Logic is eternal. Uh, like, logic is overrated. Coas is eternal. Good. Don't question why computers do dumb shit. Just tamper with things to see if it helps and hope for the best. Yes, correct. That is exactly what I've been doing for the last six years. <laughs> like, you have no idea. <laughs> You're not even kidding. Coas, happy birthday. Thank you, Licity. Thank you, fairy. Problem wasn't expecting until late March. Anyway, okay, I'm slightly offended by that. Slightly offended. Just woke up from a nap, so tonight is interesting. Me too, Jude. Me too. Ah, uh, sitting there waiting, had the first command already typed in, finger hovering with the send button, and I still got beat. Holy shit, fairy. Oh my goodness. Oh, Z, good morning. We're hiding, waiting for you to all yell happy birthday. <laughs> Yay. Amazing. Amazing. Ah, uh, happy Easter birthdays. Thank you, Koala. Lucky number 13. Hopefully you get the mount today. That's a really good sign. That is a good sign. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, zombie. It's your birthday. You're allowed to sleep during the day. I know, but I always feel so shit when I wake up from a nap. Like, I actually feel, like, shitty. You know, really like, groggy and stuff. All right, let's, uh, let's kick this shit off, shall we? Let's get this done. Let's get the- oh, I did actually go through- see how they're all, like, none of them are- well, okay, there are some of them that are over 20. But I went through and used- I went into Stormwind and Orgrimmar and used up everyone who had 20 cards. Went and bought one of the boxes for the dinner suit or the dress. I got a ton of duplicates. But I got all of them. The only thing left for me to get- the only things, I lie, the only things left for me to get um, from the, this event are there's the three toys, the love boat for 270 tokens, which I'm going to buy on for you, the, um, the other one, uh, the hearthstone, pedal feet something hearthstone on Phelan, and the sturdy love fool on Alexia, and the heartbreaker, and then I'm done. That's it. And those three toys I will absolutely be getting this round. So I'm, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Shows you're offline on friends list? Yep, because I'm set to appear offline. Uh, I also had a nap yesterday. It was nice. Good. Good. All right, I'm going to head into there. Um, oh, shit. Right, okay. I had to turn off me. Okay, let's try this. Yeah, I closed the Battle.net launcher because sometimes when I have issues, I'm having to open it again so I can turn myself to appear online again. Um, sometimes when I've had issues with frame rate, um, with OBS, which is what I use to stream, uh, sometimes closing Battle.net has helped. No, no inviting me to a group. Quick join. Use the quick join. 
Um, otherwise it boots me from the queue. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, hot tip. Sometimes, I don't know what it is, but I think there is an ad occasionally that rotates through the Battle.net launcher that sucks resources. Because it doesn't always happen. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So it's, um... Yeah, it's interesting. You may have to refresh your quick join. You might have to close it and open again for me to appear, but I am definitely, I should be there if you're on my friends list. Uh, and if you would like to add yourself to my friends list so that you can do the quick joins, uh, exclamation add me is the thing to do. So I hope you get them out today, but I kind of want to bet against it for the channel points. <laughs> I, I will not be offended regardless of which way you all vote. Uh, half stage to the map makeup. No, it is not half stage. Let me... So, we have some, uh, we have some swirlies. Uh, I've got gray in my crease. I've got some purple on the outside corner and then like a coppery bronzy sort of shade on the inside. And then I have blue swirlies. There's the blue swirlies. I don't like this side as much. I like this side better. Um, <laughs> look, symmetry is fucking hard, okay? Symmetry is fucking hard. Um, fear does the Heidi. Evening all. Migraines suck. They do. I'm sorry to hear that, Apathy. I hope you're feeling better soon. Ah, uh, kind of thing should be quick join. And it was invite to group. Weird. Yeah, that is a bit strange. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what's happened there, but yeah, every, every other day so far, um, people have been fine using quick join. It might have been because I was a peer offline when I started, like when I joined the, the queue or something. I don't know, but that's okay. Next round. It's so strange, um, having no reskinned UI. But it makes switching around faster, so we'll take it. We'll take it. I still do not know what I'm going to have for dinner tonight. Still do not know what I'm going to have for dinner tonight. Ah, uh, happy birthday. Thank you, Apathy. Thank you, Cinders. Ah, uh, huge storm here north of Newcastle. Wow. Uh, is it the Majestic Gilded Name Day Steed? Huh? Is that- I feel like that's a reference to something that I'm not understanding, but that's okay. Um... <sighs> Enchanted Dreamlight Runestag. Oh, what does that one look like? Ooh. That's pretty. No, it's not that. It's not the Enchanted Dreamlight Runestag. That one's really pretty too, though. Uh, i got painkillers and anti nausea meds also next few days. Oh, thanks to my doctor. Good to hear you get the chance to rest up. That's really good. Uh, do if you don't get them out. I'll be happy because you're close to the Sandra Dame. If you do in the mount, we'll all be happy. Yay! Yay, I hate the flat path from China's Isle to tell long steps. Why why would you take Oof. Yeah, see, I'd just use like a Dal Hearthstone or something like that to get myself back to Org and then take the portal to I mean it's still only Jade Forest, but it's at least closer. It's at least a little closer. Sushi? See I had sushi for brunch, so <laughs> I, I had sushi for brunch, so I feel like sushi for two meals, although delicious. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. KFC? Nah. Oh, I've eaten too much chocolate and candy and chips, so I feel kind of sick. I feel like my body needs something healthy. <laughs> or at least, like, masquerading as healthy, you know? Oh shit, I'm a melee. Uh, Enchanted Shade Leaf Runestag. Yes. It is the Enchanted Shade Leaf Runestag. Which is why I had to double check what the Dreamlight one looked like. Because <laughs> I was like, shit, is that the one? No, it's not. It was the other one. Yay, Koala! A little bit obvious with the, the blue swirlies on my face, isn't it? A little bit obvious. Uh, can I get a number from you, Koala? One to a hundred, please. Maccas? I'm not having Maccas. No, that is that is not appropriate for a birthday meal. That is not nearly fancy enough. For birthday meal. 
Chocolates, lollies, and fizzy grog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had a bottle of um, vanilla Coke and most of a packet of atomic tomato chips and a couple pieces of snack chocolate um, and like half a bag of Haribo peaches. They're supposed to be like peach hearts. They're not quite the same, but they're still pretty tasty. The, the texture's a bit off though. Texture's not quite the same, but um, they're close enough in flavor that I'll accept it. Ah, oh, right about where does happy birthday? Your makeup is great. Thank you. Um, 32 from Koala. Ah, uh, this one. Where am I? All right, change character. Change places. By the sun well. Ooh. Ah, uh, Ram. Thank you so much for the prime sub. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. 32. Okay, so you have you have chosen Aviary Attorney. What? <laughs> Koala lady. I think this is you. Let me just double check the profile picture. Yes, fantastic. Aviary Attorney is yours. Congratulations. <laughs> Well done. Ah, uh, nice apathy. It was close. Get sniped is definitely a runes day. Yep. How could it possibly be anything else? Oi, go away. You are not what I wanted. Thank you. There we go. Um, as soon as a runes day was guessed, I looked at all of them and picked another one. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Sari, and thank you, Ram. Much appreciated. Sounds like Harvey Birdman, attorney at law. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. At some point I think I'm gonna go have to like grab myself a drink. I forgot to get a drink because I'm half asleep still. And um, I am ever so slightly parched. Oh my god, it's anthropomorphic birds. Brilliant. Oh, excuse me. Brilliant. Oh dear. I have had such a lazy day. I mean, that's kind of a good thing, but I'm also behind because, you know, so it's it's nice to just sit and watch shit, but I also feel like I should have maybe done something my day. Oh, well. Oh, well. Is fear thirsty? <laughs> In the traditional meaning of the word, yes. Nothing wrong with the lazy day. There is when you are, like, a week behind on all your shit. Or two weeks behind on other shit, it's like some shit. Instead of doing a month's worth of social posts all at once, I've literally been doing it week by week. <laughs> yeah, look, it's a. Uh... Oh, and my dad called at 4 p.m. and then like hung up after two rings and then texted me and said, Let me know when you finish streaming. And I'm like, Six hours. He was like, Ah, shit. Yep. <laughs> I'm grateful. Oh. Oh my god, Anonymous! Thank you so much for the leggings! Much appreciated! Much appreciated, thank you so much! Oh, fantastic! I need, I need new leggings. Cause all my leggings have holes! Like all my clothes, funnily enough. Thank you so much, much appreciated! Uh, the hacker group? Yeah, they, they seem to really like me. You, you do, like, I assume that you know that anonymous was a word before the hacker group originated, but I'm starting to doubt my thought there. <laughs> uh, the top looks almost like a WoW armor. Oh, what, like, what I'm wearing? Funny you should say that. Um, first, it, it, it's, um, obviously you can't see anything below my waist, so, like, I'm not calling you out and, like, telling you off or anything. It is actually a dress. Uh, and there's a very good reason it looks like WoW armor. Because, um, it is. <laughs> it's because it is. Uh, it's my Sylvanas dress. <sighs> so, so, good eye. Um, <laughs> good eye. Um, uh, I meant fluids. Good. Doing things on your birthday in this economy. 
<laughs> I did I did at least go to Woolworths and buy food. I bought sushi from Woolies. I, it's, honestly, the, the Woolies sushi at our local is actually pretty good. It's not as good as like a sushi joint, but it's not like dry and crusty. You know when you get crunchy sushi and you're like, oh, it's actually pretty fucking good for, for like supermarket sushi. And um, so why do I not have my bow macro on these bars? Um, so I got sushi, I got a bottle of vanilla coke, I got a bottle of strawberry milk for Jas, which is in the fridge, which he will appreciate. Um, I got a wheel of brie, like a wheel of French brie, except it's divided into eight individually wrapped little wedges, which is fantastic because it means I won't sit there and eat the entire... Okay. It means I may possibly be prevented from sitting there and eating the entire wheel in one sitting because the last time I did that, um, it was an unpleasant experience for my digestive system <laughs> and a box of jats to, to have with the, with the brie. Um, I got a pack of atomic tomato chips because they're the best. No, like no argument. Um, and a pack of, I think they're cheese and onion for jass. And then I got a pack of uh, snack chocolate, which is the best uh, flavor of block chocolate from Cadbury. Um, po ma mainly because there's different flavors all throughout it. It's not all just you one flavor. You are not ah! prepared. Elry, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in. How was your stream? I hope you had a wonderful time. Um, uh, yeah, block of snack chocolate. And I also got a block of caramel milk for Jas. Um, when I get when I get treats for myself, I always get treats for Jas as well because otherwise I feel guilty. And at least it's like, see, you're eating it too. Uh, <laughs> my brain is an idiot, but it's fine. Um, and I also got a uh, I don't have the pack to show you anymore, but it's a little. Um, if you've ever heard of the brand Noshu, uh, it's N O S H U, and the O has like a not an umlaut, but like a line over. The, I don't know what that's called. Uh, I also don't know if it's actually pronounced any differently than what I said. But yeah, no shoe. It's a uh, line of like no sugar desserts and stuff like that. And they do these amazing zero sugar donuts. I don't think they're actually zero sugar. I think they've just got other sweeteners in them. Um, but they're like donuts, but they're not donuts as in like fluffy bread-like donuts. They're almost kind of like, think, think like a truffle or a protein ball or something, except it's in a donut shape and it's iced. Um, and they have a birthday cake flavor one. <laughs> so I got myself a birthday cake flavor one and I had that after my sushi. And then I lay down and ate a bunch of crap and part of it fell asleep. <laughs> oh, and the, and the peaches. I got the peaches as well. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, then I came home and I ate them and then I had it up. Full on day. Did lots of things. Anonymous. Huh? Uh Give me a second. Uh it says leggings grayish purple fan name anonymous. Fan message no message. Was that you, Landa? Or what's Did that not did it What huh? What happened? You more you know, Landa. Oh, well, didn't see the line for my name. Oh no! Oh no! Was that you, Landa? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That looks sick. What the fuck? Oh, you're talking about my dress? Yep. I I like it a lot. So um, when? Oh, who was it? it? Not not black milk. The other the wild bangerang. Wild bangerang had a contract with Blizzard to make leggings and skater dresses and skater skirts and stuff like that. Um, when they transitioned their gear store a couple years ago, um, Bangarang, I think they just had, they, like they waited to the end of the contract and they didn't end up renewing it. But it looks like they might've, or they just have a ton of stock left because even on the new gear store for Blizzard, they still have a couple of the leggings and stuff. Um, and I had been planning for a while when they announced that the contract was ending, I'd been planning for quite a while to, um, do a Sylvanas cosplay for the battle for not for battle for Azeroth for um Shadowlands launch um and so and I the plan was I was gonna buy a Sylvanas dress and then just like make the cloak because I'm a lazy cosplayer I don't do like 
I'm very bad at that kind of shit. Like I'm really, really bad at it. Um, and I don't have the time and I don't have the money to be able to do like Im impressive, amazing, incredible type deals. Um, so I just, I got the dress, I bought a wig, um, and I made the, the cloak and then I did makeup, um, like, like face makeup. Uh, and it was great fun. There's a, there's a, um, a, a gif on, I think it's on tenor. Um, it might be on Giphy. I don't remember, but you can find it if you type in Fiamma. Uh, or possibly Fiamma 29 into Giphy or Tenor or whichever the fuck one it is. There's a there's a gif of me dressed up as Sylvanas, uh, which is very cute. I, I really, really liked the way everything turned out. And just uh, dressed up as Nathanos, which was also amazing. I did his makeup. It was fun. Blending around a beard is so much more difficult than anyone might think. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, that's why I have the dress. I don't think they're... I don't think they're available anymore, unless you can find one, maybe secondhand, or maybe they've got them in the gear store or something. But um, yeah, that was that's where I got it from, and I like it a lot. It's super cute. Savannah's dress, yes, is fearsick always. Looks nice. Thank you, Ram. Evil, I'm hiding all my trees now. Hype <laughs> dress is Mythic Nighthold Hunter set as well. Wow armor, it's the mog. I have it on my original Hunter. Happy birthday. I'm Thank you, grateful. Jackie. Thank you. <gasps> Landa. Thank you for the donation! Leggings benefactor. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Oh, thank you so much for the well- Thank you for the kind words, Landa. Thank you so much. And thank you for the donation. Thank you for the leggings. Very much appreciated. The best thing about those leggings is that they have a fucking pocket on the side. Uh, and there's there's four colors that I ended up adding to, to my wish list because I'm like, oh, they're all so pretty. Uh, and they all, they're all the exact same cut and everything, and they've all got, like, a pocket on the side for your phone or whatever, so, like, if I go for an outside, like, a walk or a jog or something, this queue is, um, taking its sweet-ass time. Why have we been- are you- have you all listed as DPS? Or what's, um... Six minutes in queue is not okay. I can't do six minutes times 50 tunes. What's going on? Uh, oh, there we go. What happened there? This is super strange. Um. Um. Oh, we used to remove for the win. It is Jas's favorite. Like when it comes to milk drinks, he always like if we're going out for for breakfast or whatever, um, he very often like most of the time I'd say like ninety percent of the time he gets a strawberry milkshake. Um, yeah, very tasty. Brian Ritz, yeah. Although, oh, did I actually? I think I might have gotten Ritz instead of Jas. Jats actually. I kind of just switch between the two, you know? It depends on what I feel like on the day. Fox Raid, indeed. Hello, Elray. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit behind on chat. I'm catching. I'm catching. Happy birthday. Thank you, Binary. Welcome on in, Kit and Demo. Miko, living. Ah, oh, it's not going to work, but I'll try anyway. Ashes and Zio's your birthday. Thank you, Jackie. That's very kind of you. Go. Out we hop. Pretty good. More Final Fantasy than Noita, which wasn't so kind of the stream tonight. Oh no! Before we more Diablo 2. Brilliant! Wonderful. I'm so glad you had a good time. I'm not gonna work. Let's see anyway. No, it is restricted to um to mods only, and I have a feeling that I'm the only one here. Ye no. I'm not, but that's fine. Um, I can do that. There we go. Uh, okay. Out we- Oh no, wait, shit, I just logged into that tune. Fuck, I'm a numpty. Ah, uh, like munchkins. Uh, I feel like I never get to rage you anymore. I've been expanding my stream times a little late. I'm a prominent option tonight. Oh, fantastic. Oh, that's so good to hear. Birthday, hello, meaty. Thank you. Oh, don't stress. All good. All good. Savannah's is queen. Ads are done now. Fantastic. Savannah's isn't even royalty. <laughs> Hello, Nutty, and thank you so much. Oh, 
leave so it's better well i don't know what happened there because like they were both of you were shaman so like if either of you had queued as healer it should have been a really really quick queue but instead it blew it out to six minutes like i don't understand why i don't understand why it was like a six minute you know what i mean it's so strange uh is that the amber Ardmoth? no it is the what was it the enchanted shade leaf rune stack hello piff welcome on in hope you're doing wonderfully well today uh, how did the mods leave you on your birthday? Or is time ghost day? Which, <laughs> uh, no, there's there's one mod in who I think is just lurking uh, and not actually here. And then Jas isn't home from work yet. And uh, Sheba, well, time zones. So, you know, it's it's a bit rough there. Uh, Rump also time zones. Um, yeah, you know, it, it is what it is. It's It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad to hear you're having a good time, Ari. That's it's wonderful. Really awesome. Ah, oh, dearie me. So we're four down and over half an hour into stream. This is not ideal. 19 minutes in and only four fucking runs done. This is this is shocking. Where are all where are all my healer and tanks who were queuing with me the last few days? What is happening? What's going on? I'm in a lucky mod in the places I do. Uh, aside from minor bot problems on occasion, only complaint I have right now is that nobody's host still lets work. Yep, yeah, none of them work. I have noticed, I've noticed, I have had, like, I've had the lights go off indicating a host, but I can't see anywhere who has hosted me because it doesn't come up in Streamlabs, it doesn't come up in chat. Um, all I know is that Lumia Stream has seemed to know that it's happened, but I can't see who or would you know what I mean like it just it yep yep which is kind of a pity because I would like to thank those people but no that's all right we stick with raids we stick with raids uh a week now or so yeah uh, this isn't a run anymore it's a light job I'm doing a bag and bank clean out must be done but sucks yeah I will probably gonna do mine like towards the end of the expansion to be honest with you Mmm, blue on stream Twitter version super bright blue. It looks great as usual. Oh, thank you. And I mean, thank you, Ice. Much appreciated. Uh it seems to have been about the time the alleged stream loves vulnerability was announced. Um, that wasn't a vulnerability at all. Uh did you not see like literally a couple of hours later, Streamlabs said, This is not us. YouTubers both using Streamlabs and YouTubers who have never, ever linked their account with Streamlabs are all experiencing this issue. It has got nothing, it has nothing to do with Streamlabs. Nothing at all. Like, <laughs> people are just, like, the, mm, the scaremongering just pisses me off. Like, it really does. Every time anything goes even slightly wrong and they say, oh, I have been using this thing that has had some controversy lately, everyone fucking jumps on it and accuses them of doing everything wrong. Like, yes, they have done some stupid fucked up shit. This is not their fault. Like... <laughs> Can we make that clear? Thank you. <laughs> um, waiting for Alliance tunes. No one told me to prep on different servers. I always start with Horde. That's all good. Uh, I have classes that have healing ability. Not at all set up for it. I could queue with like Rigorith. Oh, that's what I've been doing. When I'm just going through my DPS ones first because usually I have more help with queues earlier in the 50 runs because everyone like does it at the start and then I have no one to help later. So I use my tank and healer queue tunes next, like later. Um, but yeah, this is, this is just ridiculous. Like, four minute queues. I'm, I've been in this queue for four minutes, the last one was six minutes. If we have to do that across 50 tunes, I, we're not gonna, like, the stream's gonna run long, and we're not gonna be able to do anything except the runs. It's gonna suck. Um, but, oh well, look, it is what it is. Uh, we just have to kind of, fingers crossed that I can actually get through them today. Um, we need more units. More units. Jump on in. No, oh, no, no, that was simply too about the instance from point of reference, hence my use of alleged. Yeah, I know, it, it just, even even mentioning it though, people just jump on it like that and be like, uh, 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 like the number, like, I'm in a few communities for a few different bits and bobs and it's just like, the amount of shit talking that goes on and then like someone comes in and says very un like unequivocally this is wrong and everyone just ignores them and keeps going on like it just 
it doesn't like saying alleged and putting it in quotation marks doesn't seem to matter to most people so it like we need to make it undeniably clear you know the alleged Streamlabs vulnerability that was never actually a thing like do you know what I mean um because even just yeah saying this issue is happening and it seems to be about the time that that stupid thing happened and so you're like oh maybe they're connected maybe maybe it was a vulnerability and yeah it's just humans are stupid humans are stupid um but you know it is what it is um uh, monk 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 Monk. Oh, shit. Monk. <clears throat> I use SL in conjunction myself. Fair enough. Yeah, I use Shadow- I, I, I use Streamlabs, but I don't um, have anything connected to a YouTube account. Uh, and the number of people freaking about about their Twitch accounts with that is like, no one has reported anything about Twitch. It's literally just YouTube. What is like, oh, people freak out over nothing. And they need to like take a breath and chill. Um, apologies. Ah, it's, it's all good. I just, I've, I see so much of it that I'm just fucking hypersensitive to it and it pisses me off, as you can probably tell. <laughs> oh shit, I don't think I opened the box, did I? I don't think I did. Maybe? I only said 104 attempts, it should have been five. Bad fear. Add me. Add me. Um, there we go, where's the next, this one, uh, a person is smart, people are dumb, panicky animals, yeah, they are quite stupid, uh, I can kill the healer a tank over and over if you need, oh, that'd be amazing, fucking, I want to get through this, I want to get it done, because <laughs> who wants to do time walking, I'd love to get some more time walk badges for, for the toys and bits that I still need, but, you know, we'll see how we go. I'd, I'd like to potentially not spend six hours doing Heartbreaker runs, but we'll, we'll, we'll do what we can do. We'll do what we can do. So how is everybody? I haven't seen you in less than 24 hours. <laughs> what is up? How is everyone going? What has everyone achieved in the last day? Uh, yeah, I'm not going to bother to update that every day. Um, so yeah, it was 850 attempts at the start of the- Oh, I just realized I forgot to- There we go. Turn them on for, uh, for chair. Um, uh, yeah, it was 850 when we started the event this year. We're now on 1005. The master! Uh, have you reached a K? Yeah, we hit 1K last night. 1K last night. Mm, how close are you already, Law Master? How, how, like... Oh no, you got it, didn't you? That's right. I saw the screenshots and I resp I reacted. Fantastic. Congratulations again. Uh, I'm great, just hoping I can get a new neck for my Pally 168 eye level 1 in the slot at the moment. Ooh, what are the ones that you get from the dungeon? I don't have one in my bags that I can check. They're, I'm, from memory, they're decent. Like, they're not great, but they're decent, you know? Mm, Crown one's 184, I think. Ooh, not bad, not bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's going on with these? I just got a pretty new pet earlier. Amazing. Yeah, these are not sticking because my eyes are watering and the tears are dissolving the fucking uh. <clears throat> you will hit a milestone at work on a project fantastic milestones are great um better than heirloom sometimes yep I think so. It was like last night after my booster, but managed to get it done. Thank you, Zygor. So I could autopilot. Isn't it just the best? Is that that's the last one that you needed, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure I remember it having the meta there as well. Um. No, I don't use a fucking. There we go. It's fine. I've been all right. I myself have been working on various things, expanding beyond the last day. 
Uh, but amongst such efforts, I'm working on my second novel, getting my voice back out there in the VO world and considering reworking stream is Fantastic! Oh, that's so good to hear. I hope you're enjoying it all, eh? Uh, sorry, 161. I haven't looked. Didn't think of grabbing one from Time Walking. So um, Time Walking is an option, but also the Crown Chemical Co., like the lovers in the air thing. The boss drops a necklace, only necklaces, and every single round, like every time you defeat it, one of the five people will get a necklace every time. Uh, so I'm only a matter of time until you're the one person who gets it. And they're like 184. Uh, I did because Paul had three sprite data drop. Oh my god, and a lack with purse. Holy shit, that's awesome. Get me one out of pity. Welcome back, Des. Welcome back. 100% done now. That's how does that feel, Yuri? What's what's the next big project? Not out of pity. <laughs> Much serving questing for katanas. My samurai demon hunter went out and looked at really nice couch. We're getting delivered this weekend. Oh wow, new couch. That's great, binary. That's great. Ah, uh, sent you a request if you want me to come to utility queue. Ah, brilliant. Thank you for letting me know. Sorry, I don't get the, the little ping. Uh, I think I think it must be that like if I get the request, if the request hits me while I'm in a load screen, which I'm in load screens frequently, um, I don't I don't get the audible cue that someone has added me. So thank you for letting me know. I appreciate it. That stupid luck. Oopsie, set my alarm an hour late. Oh no, Jack. <laughs> That's okay. Totally all right. How you feel? I hope you you're okay. Like take a minute to gather yourself and and get ungroggied and stuff. Like don't stress. Don't stress. Uh, good morning. You're such a morning bird. No, I'm not. Are you kidding me? Absolutely not. I am 100% a night owl. I have never in my life been an early bird. It is currently 5 p.m. Um, morning. Hello, David. Happy Friday, indeed. 184. I level. The is perfect. Thank you for the confirmation. Uh, big project. Probably fill an account with 50s. The next year's heartbreaker because I doubt my 300 inch attempts will warrant a drop. So have a really lucky day for once. Hey, it could. You never know. Only takes one kill to get them out. Only takes one kill. It just has to be the right kill. Just have one drop on my DK. Nice. Nice. Ah, so many amazing people I'm getting to know through being active in streams. Oh, that's so good to hear, Koala. So good to hear. There are some amazing people out there absolutely amazing people with such impressive skills in all these different incredible areas and i'm just like i can talk lots <laughs> that's that's the extent of my skill level i can talk lots ah uh, <laughs> uh, hello shiva hello how you going Uh, I'm what I think would be called a noon to late afternoon bird. Fair, fair. Woke up four hours ago at 9pm. Brilliant. Is today the day? Well, I bloody well hope so. Um, we're hoping that the universe uh, collaborates with R and Jesus to give me a birthday present. In the form of a, an obnoxiously pink rocket. <laughs> Basically, that's uh, that's what we're hoping for. I did not win the 60 million yesterday, so they obviously missed the memo on that one. Very rude of them. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. I am not so entitled that I believe that I deserve lottery win. Um, but no, it is what it is. Uh, 300 attempts is only six years until a drop with a 50% chance. Uh, dodge duplicate heartbreaker, yeah. <laughs> Uh, already gifted gift in Discord, but Merry Birthmas, thank you. I, I did see. I did see. Thank you very much. Oh, God, all the gifts and all the well wishes. I appreciate it deeply. Um, yes, this is what I want to do. I've DSPD, early bird has never been a consideration for me. Yeah, I, I am just not... I don't know. I'm just not a... I'm not a healthy person. So, there's, there's that. <sighs> I'm just so sleepy. I napped. I accidentally fell asleep after eating a whole lot of junk food. <laughs> Passed out and uh, woke up when my stream alarm went off and I was like, shit! Uh, and then I had some tech issues, so that was nice. But yeah, I'm just... I'm still having tech issues according to OBS, but um, that's fine. Um, I am a tired. Uh, our friend was very close to your millions a few months ago. Match. It was a number off. Yeah. Yeah, I know that feeling. 
That's, uh, you. Fuck, you have that alarm on? Oh, fuck yeah. No, I, uh, there's a reason I have that alarm on. Because I get really absorbed in tasks and don't, and, and don't realize what the time is. Um, so I have an alarm that goes off uh, an hour before, ra an hour before stream is supposed to start. And that's my signal to stop whatever I'm doing. And go put my makeup on and make sure the background's all tidy and uh, set up the programs and all that kind of shit. I have been feeling that an hour isn't long enough, but um, look, well, oh, fuck, I don't need to do that. But, you know, we'll see. I can always adjust it if I need to later. You are not prepared. <laughs> sure did it. Thank you so much for the raid. Much appreciated. What the fuck is with my drop frames and my bit raid? I don't know what's going on. Much appreciated. Welcome, readers, indeed. Thank you, Alina. Much appreciated. I know I said a lot, but I mean it. I mean it. Thank you for the cast of command, Shiva. Thank you, Plush. Thank you, Jord. I'm sure there isn't any rendering job going in the background. No, there's not. Um, the only thing that it could be uh, is YouTube accepting an upload. But I'm not sure how much of that is my PC and how much of that is YouTube servers. Like, I'm not 100% sure. Because, yeah. Um... But I've, I've had an upload go. So it's like I've dragged and dropped the file onto the website and it's sitting there doing the upload. You know what I mean? Like if you're uploading to Google Drive and that kind of shit. Um, and it says it's at 78%. But I've had that running in the background during a stream before and it didn't cause any issues. So maybe it's just this time something different is happening. I'm, I'm not sure. But no, I Vegas isn't even open. Um, Vegas isn't even open. So there's definitely not a rendering job going on. <clears throat> but thank you for checking. Ah, it was about if I flapping its wings this time. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's this what's going on. There's there's a butterfly somewhere in the sky between me and Twitch HQ. And it's sitting like right in the beam of my of my upload. <laughs> oh look, I don't fucking know. But um chair stream! Wonderful. I'm gonna take that at some point soon. Maybe when I switch to Alliance, I'll take that and go grab myself a drink because I am parched. And then I'll do those hydrates. Make myself a whole bottle of another hydrate. Yeah. Sphere parch. <laughs> and it's all the potato chips I ate earlier. I think it's the, not quite pretzels, but the potato chips are making me thirsty. My tongue feels simultaneously swollen and shrunken. You know that feeling? When you, yep. I'm sure you do. When you have a birthday, thank you, Ray. Much appreciated. Thank you. It has been so far a good day. Chips, fuck yeah. Atomic Tomato from Samboy. Bestest of chips. The bestest of chips. One more hoard. Uh, highly recommend Arnott's Three Cheese Cracker Chips. Cheddar, Gouda, and Mozzarella. Ooh, that does sound tasty. Samboys are so good. I love the barbecue. Barbecue is my second favorite from Samboys. Barbecue is usually my go-to flavor with everything, uh, except Samboys, where it's Atomic Tomato, and Thins, where I love me a light and tangy. But every, every other one, I, I will gravitate towards barbecue. Look, off to work. Hope you have a great day. Good luck with the marathon. Thank you, Ray. I hope work treats you kindly. Good choices. Thank you. I think so. <laughs> Favorite chip flavors are so personal, aren't they? Like, 
It seems kind of ridiculous, but like people are passionate about their choices. Ah, oh, we get them from Woolies. Don't know if Coles does it. Sadly, of late, it's like one flavor is Woolies, one is Coles, and Drake's IGA gets a different flavor altogether. Yeah. Yeah. I imagine it's to try to lure people from one to the other, or vice versa. Like, I would, you know, there's this whole, you know, this competition between Coles and Woolworths as to which one do you prefer? I think, honestly, 98% of the Australian population will be whichever one is closer to my home. Like, I don't think any of us actually care. I mean, okay, not any of us. Like, there are definitely a handful who are, like, super, like, I like this one better and this is the one that I shop with and all that kind of stuff. But such a low proportion of the population actually gives a shit. Like, we just go to whichever one's convenient, because goddamn, like, grocery shopping should not be a journey where you have to travel for, like, half an hour. <clears throat> um... Sour cream and chives, onion for life, they are good. They are very good. And if they are there, I will absolutely eat them. They are delicious. They're not my favorite, but that doesn't mean they're not fucking delicious. Can't believe you have a preference in something. How controversial. I know, binary. Opinions? What the fuck? In, in this economy? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> that was the last time. Yes. Yes, it was, Jack. Sorry. I'm I'm making fun of you, but I'm, I promise it's in the, the kindest of hearts. Um, yes, it was the last hoardie. Uh, I am going to grab, was a man guest already? It was. It was the Enchanted Shade Leaf Rune Stag. I am going to grab a drink. Um, I accidentally macroed. Brilliant. Good. Can I only do ripples? Sea salt, ideally. Ooh, yum. Yum. Look, sometimes plain is great. Like, honestly, I am, so I'm the kind of person, I love stuff. I love, I love stuff. Um, uh... Uh, so, like, if I'm getting ice cream, like, ice cream with bits in it, like, ripples of sauce and, like, chunks of stuff and, like, all that kind of thing. Um, and then same with, like, chips and things. Like, the more complicated the flavor, the more likely I am to be attracted to it. <laughs> so plain or, like, salted is um, not often my first choice. However, they are so versatile and they carry other flavors. Like, if you're having dips and things like that, you you need the original salted to be able to like yeah do your thing properly anyway um i'm gonna grab a drink and i will be back in a moment i'm gonna use that chair stream because my my i'm i'm not generating any saliva i'm fucking thirsty i'll be right back run away little girl run away
Did it reconnect? We good? We still here? Um. Good. So cream bacon, crispy bacon flavor. They got phased out. I saw bacon in the store today. I don't know if I think it might have been a limited flavor, a limited edition one though. Um, so maybe stock up. I need to not press it in chat. Caps yucky. Uh, which shop is closer to the shopping center exit I parked by this time? Yep, exactly. Exactly. My room base chili crew used to have some great corn chips at Salt Willie's. Tasty flavor ones. Now Willie's only has lightly salted. Ah, uh, plain salted chips with dip. Knew it was going to be a rune stag. That sweep your new temple for sure gives it away. Yep, absolutely. I've got... Both sides done the thing. Actually, you remember I got that big box of stuff from Colourpop? Uh, it was one of the things in there. Like, so many fucking mounts have glowy blue swirly shit on them. Uh, and now I have a pencil that does it. <laughs> and that's what it looks like. It's very, very shiny though, so it's kind of tricky to see on, yeah. Yep. But also, because it's so small, I can do like little pops in the corner and stuff like that with it as well. So I feel like that's going to get a lot of use. Um, and it's from there. They did a collaboration with the Powerpuff Girls. Oh, Colourpop the and the Powerpuff Girls. And this one's called Princess Morbucks. They had three sticks. There was a pink one, a green one, and a blue one for the villains. Princess Morbucks, uh, Mojo Jojo, and him. Uh, stuff and thangs, indeed. I heard the panic when I was in. So I heard the music change while I was in the kitchen doing the soda stream thing. I heard the music change and then I heard the panic and I'm like, I have been disconnected. Uh, <laughs> I know what's happened. Um, but yeah, look, it's, I, yeah, some hinky bullshit's been going on with, with shit today. Um, I don't know. Okay. So I have, what I have in chat is, Apathy saying, mmm, the works flavor has sour cream and chives, bacon and cheddar all mixed together. Then, welcome to the chat room. Then, Apathy saying, Alenia, you broke it. Anything between those two messages, I don't have. Um. Oh no, wait. <gasps> ah, Koalatron. The chat log in Koalatron has held on to it. I'm so proud. So, Cinder's saying, oh no, I think net hiccup fixed. Panic, no. Really excited about joining in for the Alliance runs. She yanks the internet cable. Absolutely not. I would never. I want this fucking mount. I want this mount. Um. Ah, uh, hello, Elenya. We're good. We are back. Green fire standing by. <laughs> it's back. Apparently not being in queue causes DC. Yep, it's like, is she dead? We best disconnect her just in case. Ah. Uh, <laughs> See you again. Uh, I assume we could coupled with your wire disconnecting. I assume your network just went splat. Yeah. Yeah, I, I assume it did too. It didn't seem to, because what in my, in OBS, my dropped frames, which was sitting at somewhere like 3000 because some shit was going funky, is now back to zero with 0%. Zero um, but it still says I've been live for an hour and 10 uh, and the recording's still going as well. So um, it must have reconnected itself and so it didn't, count as going offline because twitch is still counting us as being online for over an hour as well but it did reset the the drop frames counter which is nice of it so yeah they go facts with fear uh please refresh if you don't see it uh or just trying to play alliance welcome back brilliant it's what happens when you play alliance wow just quits on you seriously for the horde there's a copy and pasting skills so who knows i miss having a soda stream soda stream is fantastic it's it's just phenomenal. I had my old one that I've had for like close to a decade, I think. Honestly, close to a decade. Uh, and then Jas was given one, one of the new shiny ones, for uh, for Christmas. Uh, so we currently have two. One that's like very old. We're actually considering. Um, getting rid like we were considering buying a new one because my old one there's a new style of bottles that like slope up rather than being like j -j -j -j. um and my old one doesn't work with the new shape of bottles um it can't hold on to them properly 
uh, because it doesn't screw in, it just kind of clicks and then you push. Uh, but it doesn't do it with the new shape of bottles, it, they can't be used together. So, um, we were considering getting a new one because the old bottles are really hard to find. Uh, well, they're starting to get hard to find, at least in my area. So, uh, but we don't have to, because we got one for Christmas. So it's good. It's good. Um... Okay, cool. Here we go. I think I'm up to date um, in Twitch. Give me a second. Okay. Uh, not being key causes DC. Reliance. Miss having a soda stream. Do not break it. That's lies. It broke after you arrived. You probably broke it. A uh, lot of amounts having those blue swelling. Exactly. Yes, definitely. The the copy and pasting. Yep, you're right. You're right. Um, have I, I've done this one. I need to change tunes. This is slander right here. It's okay, Len. I still love you. Oh, this time I was outside saving stuff from Terrible Rainstorm and I have 100% water, no land. Oh, no, Lissy. <gasps> Jesus. Oh, that's my zone aesthetics. How are we doing on try slash time? Uh, look, it's starting to pick up. It's starting to get a little bit faster um, now that I think most of the um, support classes have have logged on and I'm on Alliance side, so I've, there's a few more people who are helping out. Um, but we're still, we're doing, we've done 12 and we've got no, like no, 51 minutes. It's been nearly an hour and we've done 12. So it's not not going great, but that's okay. I also went and got a drink and all that, so it's been a bit of an all over the place. That's okay. Oh, whoopsie. Oh, I don't see that that had popped. I didn't even hear it. My eyes are watering and my lashes aren't sticking properly because of it. <clears throat> so I can't do how breaker runs for some days. My PC got sent to the PC shop for upgrades. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, I would absolutely been been like, yeah, look, I'll definitely send it in, but um, like March, <laughs> unless something was actually broken. Fuck no, you're not getting my PC at any point in February. Piss off. Uh, Horde always slacking, but they'd help if there was a genocide to do. <laughs> nah, it's uh, it's all good. They were um. A few people who are usually here aren't, and that's okay. They're under no obligation to be here. None at all. It's all good. Uh, I need to leave instance group. Press that button. Ah, uh, Horde slipped in. That too. That too. Oh, vintage soda stream. So busy we couldn't get a hold of anything for it for years later. They came back. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, they're, they're fantastic. Like, honestly, it's it's good because you can get the fizzy drink, but not you can control the level of sugar in it. Um, you can also just use, like, I, I drink soda water and I add some fucking lemon juice to it. Um, if you add a splash of lime juice and, like, a pinch of ground ginger, like, like you know, like a jar of, like, crushed ginger, add, like, an eighth of a teaspoon to a glass and then a squirt or two of, like, bottled lime juice and you've got, like, ginger beer, basically. Like, there's just, it, it, there are so many uses for it, and not all of them are pumping yourself full of sugar. Uh, you know, that's, um, the, the fact that you can actually, uh, like, adjust your levels of sugar is just wonderful. Zam, Z, and Dunno, bonus shit, high five. Um, I'm gonna spend my keyboard on my phone, ended by mistake. That's okay. I'm gonna pick up Animal Crossing again. I'm not playing since April 2020. Oh dear. Um, am I, can I place another mage? No. I will level a flag bearer then. Ah, uh, I wish I was going to spending time recently to get some. Ah! Holy fucking. Len! What? Why? Len! Jesus fucking Christ! Oh my god! Thank you so much for the birthday cash! Holy shit! Oh my god! Thank you! Fucking Jesus! Um. <laughs> Fia's eyes realize how old she is and now they're sad. 
Mum called me this morning and was like, you know, oh, I can't believe it's been 32 years. And I remember the day before. I'm like, Mum, we're not talking about it. Remember, it's 24. It's, tw it's 24 years. And she's like, right, we're right. Sorry. And then later she's like, you're starting your 33rd revolution around. I'm like, shut up, Mum. 24. Like, <laughs> but it's fine. I mean, she, we both had a laugh about it. Um, apparently, uh, when, cause she, she always, always either calls or sends a message the day before our birthday. She's been doing it since we were kids, my brother and I, uh, and she asks, how old are you? Because the, the thing is, you know, you'll never be able to say that you're that old again. She discounts the fact that we're able to lie, but, um, <laughs> you know, it's like, you'll never be able to truthfully say that you're that age again. So I'm going to ask you one last time, how old are you? Um, and when she texted me and said, how old are you? I said, 24. And I refused to discuss otherwise. And she texted back with a whole shitload of laughing emojis. And she said, your brother said 12 last time. And I'm like, yeah, appropriate. Like, <laughs> what do you expect, mum? You're fucking with adults now. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's great. I'm so, oh, it's a week, one week till I get to see my mum. I haven't seen her in two years. Not since my 30th. I'm really excited. Really excited. I uh, flavored waters for the soda stream. No sugar, but tasty water. Yes. Yes. Happy birthday. Thank you, Len. Thank you so much. Get yourself something nice. I will. I will. I actually, I bought, I bought myself something I've been having my eye on for a while. Um, there's a brand of like hair curlers that, isn't, you know how like you get a hair, like either you do it with the straightener and you twist it and you do the thing and you burn yourself and, or you have like the wand that you kind of wrap around and you have to hold like this around the curling wand and then you can, or you've got the clampy one, but then it leaves like the lines on your hair and all that kind of shit. So there's a brand that do, um, what am I? Oh, I'm a mage. Shit. I should not be moving while I try to cast. Um, <laughs> Uh, there's a brand where basically you have like a handheld thing and it's got slots in it and like a whirly thing in the middle and you kind of hold it up and you place your hair through the slots and then you press a button and it kind of goes and sucks it all in and then hold it doesn't actually hold it but it kind of heats it while you hold it there and then you just pull it straight down and it all comes out the top and it's curled um, and I've wanted one for a while uh, and they had a Valentine's Day sale so instead of it being like close to 200 bucks I got it for 120 so there you go thank you for the hair curler then I appreciate it because <laughs> like I know my hair has been kind of wavy and curly and stuff like that and it's been really nice but it's so inconsistent and I just want it to be nice all the time uh and I'm eventually going to be doing full-on like curly girl hair taking care of you stuff. Like there's a whole thing like, you know, not using products with these ingredients in it and doing this specific hair care routine and all this kind of stuff. But I don't want to throw out all the hair care stuff I already have. Cause I have like literally hundreds of dollars worth of shit because I've accumulated it over some years, <laughs> some years. And I want to use it all up before I start buying new stuff that, uh, that is all of the right stuff. Um, so yeah, that's, I grabbed that so I can have consistently nice hair while I work through my good hair care that just has the wrong ingredients in it. Um, yeah, so there you go. Thank you, Len, I appreciate it. <laughs> what do you mean, why? I just, like, that's a lot of money, you know? I just, I don't know, I still, it feels weird, you know? It feels weird sometimes. And so I feel like I need to be angry at people, but then also thankful and grateful, but also angry. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird look anyone anyone who has done like content creation streaming and stuff and has had donations before like I'm sure they know what I'm talking about it's it's the most conflicted feeling in the world because it's like oh money but also why what have you done yeah it's uh yep thank you Daz you celebrating your eighth anniversary yep yeah, exactly exactly ah yes cake uh, apparently Jas is bringing me cake tonight. 33 years is 17 years in Mars years. Well, I turned 32. I am beginning my 33rd revolution of the sun. And I'm like, why are you making me sound like I'm older than I am, mum? Like, fucking... <laughs> why? But it's fine. I'm so excited for you to spend some time with your mums. Like, you have an amazing relationship. We really do. We really do. Like, there was absolutely the period when I was younger 
um, where it was not. Like, I was... Look, I wasn't... Mum often says, like, the, the shit that I did as a teenager, if that was all she had to deal with, then she was fucking blessed. Because um, I wasn't at all a rebellious teenager in the slightest. I never snuck out. I didn't, I didn't drink. I didn't uh, do drugs. I didn't have lots of sex. I didn't like, there was, I didn't do all that kind of rebellious stuff that teenagers are known for doing and being like out there and blah, blah, blah. I just, I just didn't. I was a good kid. I was a really good kid, but I fucking spoke back. I was a smart mouth. I was, um, I knew everything. I still do. It's great. Uh, <laughs> but so th there was a lot of that kind of, and there were, there were definitely times where we clashed um, for a multitude of reasons. But I mean, that's people clash. Like, no, there is no, even a fantastic, perfect relationship between two people. They're, they're going to be, there are going to be disagreements and sometimes they're going to become heated, especially when people are on opposing sides and they are both passionate about their, their opinions. Uh, and that's okay. But like, there were a few years there that were not, <laughs> that I was, I was not a nice person. Um, well, not to her at least, but we got through that and I'm a grown ass adult now. And we do, we have a phenomenal relationship. Um, as I do with my father, uh, I am eternally grateful for the fact that I have those two as my, as my parents. And I also have an incredible stepfather as well. Um, who I am, I'm very grateful to have in my life as well. And just, I have an incredible support network and I know that that's a privilege. I recognize that I am exceptionally privileged to have these amazing people um, who are supportive and believe in me and will help me no matter what. And I've tested that a couple of times, not intentionally, but there, there have been a couple of situations I've been in across my life where I was genuinely afraid to tell them what had happened because I was, I didn't want them to think any less of me or whatever it happened to be. And they, they worried, but they never, they were there 100%. Um, I haven't killed anyone. I haven't tested that boundary. I don't want to, but, um, you know, so yeah, I, and I recognize that that is a privilege and I recognize that not everybody has that. Um, and so I am just so grateful that I do. So, so fucking grateful that I do. And I hope, like, if, if I ever have kids, if I could be a quarter of the parent that my parents were for me and still are for me, then I reckon I will have done a good job. Um, so yeah, and I'm going to stop before I start actually crying because I'm, I'm starting to get a little watery. Um, okay, have one of those, see one of those. Yeah, you can get a bit of guinea pig. Yep, I will be the guinea pig. And if it goes really well, maybe they'll give me an affiliate code. <laughs> oh, fuck. Look, we'll see, we'll see. I've seen those, they terrify me. Oh no, oh no, well hopefully. Hopefully it'll do, hopefully it'll go well. We'll see. Welcome, <laughs> yay. Mm. Paragon leveling after my 24th. I, yep, agreed, 100%. Thank you, Lockie. Very much appreciated. Welcome on in. <laughs> I hope you're having a lovely day, Lockie, in all seriousness. Ah, uh, it's for me, I'm lazy. Gift giving, good, good. Uh, because I love, Ah, oh, you deserve something nice. So do you. So do you. Um, it's still 17 years. Good evening, how are you? How was your day? I accidentally napped, so it was great. <laughs> no, um, I, yeah, no, I went to, went to Woolies, woke up, had a call from mum, did some garrison stuff, um, went to, to Woolworths and picked up a few treats and snacks and stuff. A few, lots of treats and snacks and stuff. Um, and then came home, ate my sushi, and then uh, was wrapped in a blanket watching Glow Up on Netflix. Um, it's a competitive makeup show and it's really fucking cool. Just saying. Uh, and uh, passed out. <laughs> oh shit, I'm healing. Right, of course. Um, happy birthday. Thank you, Sean. Enjoy your lurk. Enjoy your lurk. And if 32 is old, I'm ancient. Where's my cane? Oh, look, don't even get me started on how my fucking body behaves. I may be 32, but my body thinks it's 85. Ugh, it's a dumbass, but that's okay. 
chronic illness for the win. So good. So lucky. Um, <laughs> thank you, Dunno. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, she was Hermione. 37, I'm practically dead. I was absolutely, I identified so strongly with Hermione um, throughout like all the books, like just so strongly. Uh, there are other, there's another part to why I identified with her so strongly, but I can't exactly say anything without doxing myself, so. Um, <laughs> well, not, not necessarily doxing, but similar, so we're gonna stop there. <clears throat> Uh, this one. So you than me. What happened to LVI? It's turned off. Um, when I'm doing these runs, because I'm doing 50 characters, I've got the vast majority of my add-ons turned off. Um, because it makes load screens a fuckload faster. Like, a fuckload faster. Um. Sorry, you missed out, guys. That was an instantaneous cue. Instant. Murder. Uh, we believe you caused you to murder anyone. Drumming 42 in a couple months, I need a walker just to pee. Oh no, since the day's been good though. Yeah, overall, over it's been okay. I still don't know what I'm gonna have for dinner though. Glow Up is amazing, Glow Up is fantastic. I've just finished season one and then I fell asleep at the start of season two, so I have to go back and rewatch it. <laughs> <laughs> She's a Gryffindor. Did you loot on there later? Uh, I don't loot the, um, I don't loot the boss, I just open the box. Like, the bag box. There's no point looting the bosses, they don't actually drop anything I want. And if it happens to be the cologne and perfume drop that you've gotten, it takes like three hours to loot if you're like an Australian on an American server. So, I don't bother looting. Hi, the Sunwell. <gasps> Nova! Thank you so much for the resub! Hope you're doing well. Um, bottom one knows all. I'm just gonna speed your cues. Brilliant. Brilliant. Sounds good. Um. Oh, actually, that doesn't have the. This one. Oh. Um. But no, uh, I am I am a Ravenclaw with a, a dash of Hufflepuff. Uh, I'm kind of happy that 9-2 is coming soon. Um, gentle reminder for anyone who might be new here or anyone who might have forgotten. We have had an announcement for the release date of 9.2. If you drop spoilers, you'll be smacked with the hammer. Don't do it. Don't, just don't do it. There is a channel in Discord if you want to talk about story spoilers. You are welcome to do so there. You are not welcome to do so here. Um, yeah, Leolita has looted. We're all good. Uh, yeah, but yes, we have an announce, we have a, a launch date and I am ecstatic because it is after love is in the air <laughs> and that is all that fucking matters. That is all that matters. Uh, it's the same tune each time. Totally fine. I see. Like, hey, if you want to rerun the same tune through and through and through, then I'm... I'm not gonna stop if I stop you doing it. Yeah, Thor. Um, they don't unless you're actually looking for like the necklace or something for an alt for which it's an upgrade. Um, the even the love like the tokens, the currency comes from the the heart shaped box as well as the mount. So, yeah, hot tip. Ravenclaw with executive dysfunction, homemade burgers, yum. Slytherin all the way. Gryffindor for you. Apathy also a Slytherin. Oh wow, it's way sooner than I thought. Yeah, yeah. Oh holy shit. Really? Jesus Christ! Sorry, um, Landa, the, the leggings have apparently just been ordered. Like, they've already placed the order. Usually it takes them like two to three business days to place an order once it's been purchased from Throne. But apparently then they're operating right the hell now. So, and, um, the lipsticks that Zarin bought a couple days ago, they've been shipped. I've got, I've got tracking information for those. They have been shipped. Uh, like, they're fucking on fire. I think all of this kind of funky stuff that I experienced must have been because of, like, the holiday season and stuff. It has to have been because it was over December. Because that's, un that's incredible. 
That is super speedy. Mm, yep, less than two weeks. It is indeed. It is indeed. I woke up this morning to a, a text message from Jas with just the link to Wowhead. I'm like, I'm not clicking that, but the URL tells me all I need to know. <laughs> hmm. But that is when Dark had placed his bets for. That's ex that's the date that he had bet on, so. And privately, that's when I thought it was dropping too. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, that's the ten, first 10 alliance done. So we're going to switch back to Horde. <clears throat> um, where's my document? So it was Gisalia that we were on. No, there. So we're going to go down to Keishi. I'm looking forward to the tally video. Good. Ah, uh, is that the, like, t &E? Yeah, I, I don't watch any, like, WoW videos and stuff, honestly. Um, there was a point where every single WoW video that was being released was just negativity on negativity on negativity, and it just, it put such a bad taste in my mouth that I just don't watch any of that stuff anymore. Um, there's just too much bitching. But that's just my, that's just my stuff. Um, and yeah, I'll go explore the, the content when it releases on stream, of course. And I'm quite glad uh, that it's releasing when it is because it's just in time for the marathon stream. Oh, excuse me, for the six year celebration. So I'll have 12 hours to dive into the new zone and do all the things. Won't that be fun? Maybe we can collect a chunk of the fucking 43 new mounts they're introducing. Maybe, maybe. Hmm. Well, good. I'm glad. I hope it's a good video. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, I like TNE since the word most negative. You got cold chills because of that. Do you have a lot of spoiler stuff? No, probably not a good for watch for Viet. No. Yeah, no. I, uh. Yeah. <laughs> Look, honestly, as soon as there is an official Blizzard announcement about a new chunk of content, that's when I just switch off all the stuff that I usually check. Um, like, I do actually occasionally scroll through the articles on Wowhead and stuff like that. I, I do. But as soon as there is an announcement about a patch or something coming, I stop until the patch is released because I know exactly what I'm going to get if I do. Like, I'm, I'm not silly. I've been doing this for a little while. Uh, I'm, you know, I've been on the planet for a bit. I know how to avoid spoilers, and so I do so. Um, but yeah, it'll be... It'll be really good to be just going in completely fresh with no expectation, like zero expectations and knowledge and just enjoying what is there for me to enjoy. Nice try, Zam. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, can't say anything without spoiling. Well, I appreciate you restraining yourself, Jack. I really do. Thank you. I know it's I, like, I know what it is like to be really excited about something and not be able to tell anybody. I have signed NDAs. I know what it's like to be so keen and not be able to, like, just really passionate about something and not being able to say a fucking word. I know it. I know the feeling. Um, and so I really appreciate that people don't discuss stuff here. Of, but of course, just because I am not someone who partakes in that kind of stuff, I still have that channel in Discord for you guys who do want to talk about it. That is your space. You know, there are mods in there, but that is your space to, like enjoy and and talk about all the stuff that's coming up and all that kind of stuff so i hope that you i hope that you do that but um yeah it's a whole it's a whole thing <laughs> spec a man at ah, shit mm, oh, that panicked me <laughs> and it was it was perfectly timed it triggered as i clicked the box to open it um, but the thing is, the, the sound won't go off until I click it to learn it. Uh, <laughs> that one's on cooldown. It is! That's not the mount sound. No, it's not. 
real ATT in this economy. Indeed. Uh, bro, my YouTube and TikTok feed have spoiled so much stuff for me. And it pisses me off. I swear this world doesn't know how to keep his mouth shut on anything. Yeah. Yeah, or people have different definitions. This is the thing, right? Spoiling shit gets clicks. I am grateful. There are... <gasps> Sean! Thank you so much for the lipstick pencil. Much appreciated. Thank you. So kind of you. Um, yeah, like... People want to know because they, people are impatient and they want to know what's going on. And so they go out and they seek the information. And so if you don't spoil shit, then they won't click your stuff. And then you won't make money. And then you can't content create. I, I get it. I understand. I don't like it still. And I don't do it. But yeah. it's um. It would be really nice if people said things like 9.2 spoilers as a title instead of, you know, Batman dies or whatever the hap, you know what I mean? Like it's, do you know, it's not, yeah. I would very much appreciate that people didn't put spoilers in their fucking titles, uh, but that's where we're at now in terms of like clickbait bullshit. So yeah, and that's, that's how they make cash, unfortunately. Uh, so I stopped clicking on shit because if I click on it, then their, their money goes up and so they keep doing it. I've, I vote with my clicks. Uh, I'm sure you do too, Theron. I'm sure you do too. Uh, new KFC was recently built in my area. That would be great for future birthdays. I'm getting bored of pizza. Yes. People spoiled Avengers Endgame with YouTube thumbnails. Not cool. Agreed. That's, yeah, really not cool. Um, you're welcome. Thank you, Sean. Batman dies? I don't think so. I was just, you know, like, throwing out random things that, yeah, anyway. I don't think so. We'll, you know, we'll find out. Darth Vader is Luke's father. Read about the shocking twist. Oops, I just did. Yeah, I fucking, like... Yeah. There is, I have a, um... I have the, the Wowhead feed in the Discord. There is a channel where every time Wowhead posts an article, it pushes through to that feed, to that channel in our Discord, right? In the, in, in the Fiamma Discord. Um, but I have it muted. It's there so that people have it if they want it because we are a predominantly WoW community and WoWhead is a great resource. Um, but I, uh, yeah, no, nah, I have it muted because I don't want to be fucking spoiled. And I'm sure most of you have it muted as well, but sometimes it's handy. I'm in Store Lost Ark. Enjoy Scarlet. Have fun. I hope it's amazing and wonderful. I hope the internet when early fan screenings start. Yeah. Yep. If it's something you really genuinely care about, then there are ways for you personally to avoid. You can mute phrases on Twitter. You can, like, I mean, there are always going to be the assholes that don't put the name of the movie in the fucking tweet. Um, but, yeah, look. You can you can do the best you can. Uh, I actually know someone who got mad at me for ruining that Vader Luke connection before they watched Star Wars. I'm like, I feel like the statute of limitations is passed. No, agreed. Agreed. It's part of, like, pop culture. Like, no. <laughs> Most people talk about spoilers at, like, ending arbitrarily after two years. Um, but, yeah, that's... There are other movies that spoil that. Like, <laughs> mm, no, it's been way too long for that. Hey, Em, how you going? Welcome back. <sighs> Absolutely gonna get this mount today. Absolutely, 100%. There are people who have kids that are old enough to drink that have seen that spoil exactly. How's the time looking? I think we're about to hit it. Yeah, we are, we are close. Uh, this will be number 20. And then... Oh my god, I've got like three packages arriving on Monday. <laughs> yeah, so th this will be number 20. Um, and I might- I'll have to probably wait on the next tune. Thank you for the reminder though, Ice. I really appreciate it. Also trying for the love rocket. Well, if you've got me on your friends list, M, if you- if you don't, you can type exclamation add me and get my battle tag and add me, funnily enough. 
Um, if you don't have me on your friends, uh, if you do have me on your friends list, you can hit up the quick join as I queue and then join in with us and we can queue in together. Because all my tunes now are, um, they're either tank or healer or both queues. So you're, you're more than welcome to join us. All that I ask is that you queue as everything you possibly can and then just kind of wing it <laughs> so that, um, the, the queue can actually get us in as quickly as possible. Because when you've got 50 tunes, you don't want to be sitting in queue for three or four minutes. Like, even two minutes puts us at an hour and 40 worth of just sitting in queue. Um, yeah, that's all I asked though. But yeah, beyond that, you are more than welcome to join. Oh, you're EU! Never mind. Never mind! That's impossible. You can't. Oh well. Well, there are a bunch of EU players in the community though, so hopefully there might be someone around that might join up. Hello, Kaz. Good morning, afternoon, evening, night, birthday, delete is applicable. What was the map makeup today? It was the Enchanted Shadeleaf Runestag. And I'm, I'm quite happy with it, personally. Thank you very much for the well wishes. Someday they'll let us cross, re cross region queue. I think there's a lot more to it than we think. I think there's a lot more to it than we think. And I think that the recent shit fight between the EU and Facebook slash Meta has shown us why um, why cross-region queuing probably won't happen. Um, so for those of you who haven't been keeping up on the thing, the basic summary, like the oversimplification is that the EU has said to Meta, Meta is the, f the name of the company that runs Facebook. They had a name changey, weird fucking, anyway. Um, so Me uh, the EU or chunks of the EU have said to Facebook, you may not store EU citizens data on servers in the US. If you want to continue running in the EU, you need to put servers in the EU. And Meta said, fine, if you don't want us to put data, if you don't want us to put your citizens data on our servers in the US, then we just won't operate in Europe. <laughs> and Europe said, okay. And Facebook said, surprised Pikachu face. Look, I know memes. <laughs> So yeah, honestly, I don't think we're getting cross-region play. And that's what I've been saying for years. Like, it'd be real nice if we could- Ah, shit. One minute, okay. Um, uh, I, it'd be real fucking nice if we could, but um, it is, it's a data issue. If, the, if we have EU players who jump in to a US group, and their characters are copied and pasted onto a European, onto a US server, then the EU is probably not going to be very happy about that. The alternate is that American data needs to be copied to EU servers, and I'm not sure that the Americas are going to be happy about that. So it's it's a it's actually exceptionally political. Um. But yeah, it's a, it's a fun time. Uh, 49 tunes take a long time. Yeah, I'm on 50 myself and I just hit the timer. Oops, Radio I.O. is technically against GDPR. Yeah. Yep, um, and if they were any bigger or if they were making any more money, <laughs> um, the EU would probably on be on top of them. But the, thi like, the thing is with Facebook, they're storing fucking mass amounts of data mass amounts of data and a lot of it would probably be fucking termed as fucking surveillance data honestly given how personal the data is whereas radar io is a bit less than that um blizzard themselves keep personalized data not like it keeps names and addresses and billing info and stuff like that which is a lot stickier than you know account name um which is what uh which is what Raider IO probably stores, but um, yeah. Look, I think it's probably because Raider IO is such a small fish that they just can't. Like, it's not going to be worth it to fight them. Have I hit the limit? That's a bit odd. It's a bit odd. Cross region play is a luxury we can't see happening anytime soon. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it is a bit shit. Um, it would be really nice for to be able to play with everyone and anyone. But there are reasons why we can't, and honestly, those reasons are actually kind of reasonable. Um, 
yeah, it it does like the the obviously the the resulting inability to play with each other is a bit shit, but there are good reasons for it. How do I see data GDPR being impossible to solve? Is data copy already happens for PTR, for example? It does, um, but you may find the PTR servers are all in the US. Are they? Uh, like, are they actually? Uh, cross region would be a massive technical hurdle more than anything. There's also that side of it. Also that side of it. <clears throat> PTR is US, yes. Oh, that's really interesting. I wonder if they get around that because anyone can join the PTR. You don't actually need billing information and all that kind of stuff. Like, you don't have to have an active WoW subscription, as far as I'm aware, to be able to play on the... PCR, so maybe that's how they get around it. They're not actually keeping any data, they're just copying literally a character, like a tune, to the US servers and no personal info, maybe? I'm not sure. That'd be really interesting, though. Is there some kind of, like, I do not live in the EU, so this is directed at people who know far more about this than I do. Uh, Thor, Meaty Koala, Fairy, congratulations on your bonus shit. Is there some kind of waiver that an individual is able to sign or agree to or something that allows for their data to be stored on a server, for example, in the United States? Um, like a, a waiver of GDP, uh, GDPR for specific f bits of data or something? Uh, okay, so I'm going to do this one. I doubt that there would be, because people are idiots and laws are designed to protect the weakest link. Uh, and especially data sharing laws would be designed to pre protect the weakest link. Um, yeah. I thought Meaty Koala was the name. Oh no! Oh no, if they can do it where it's just character information, they shouldn't have an issue. Shouldn't, but there are, there are also potentially like other issues, like technical issues rather than just data laws, actual tech stuff as well, potentially. EU folk can have US region accounts if they want the same Battle.net account if they choose. Yeah. Yeah, I know that. I know that. And I wonder, that's why I asked about the waiver thing. Maybe creating a US-based account is acknowledging my data will be stored on a United States server and I am agreeing to that and waiving it in terms of suing Blizzard or whatever. Do you know what I mean? That's kind of, that's where my, where that question was based. Thank you, Kim. Much appreciated. It's tempting me to name a tune, Meaty Koala. Do it. Do it. Meaty Koala, and then maybe maybe Meaty could have one that's Koala Meaty. <laughs> it needs to be a male Pandaren! <laughs> oh dear. Has anyone read the 1,005,834 pages of Terms and Conditions? Uh, yes. I don't remember most of it because it was a very long time ago. I'm talking like 10, 11 years ago. Um, but yeah, I did. Uh, I also read the entire of the Terms and Conditions of my Twitch account, then the entire affiliate contract, and the entire partner contract. In fact, I have a copy of the partner contract uh, and the affiliate contract saved, well, the ones that I had signed um, saved to my desktop so that I can access it when I'm offline to verify and check things that I've agreed to. Um, but that's because it's my fucking career and income, and it's, you know, like saving a copy of your your letter of offer or your uh, employment contract and I strongly fucking recommend keeping your own goddamn copy of that shit off your company's servers preferably in hard copy so it can't be fucked with um <clears throat> know your rights <laughs> basically but also know what your expectations and responsibilities are it's a uh, thing Um, happy birthday. Thank you, Em. Thank you. Oh, do you have no time left? I did it once, Straz. I did it once. But no, it's, again, like, wow is how I make my money. Like, I am predominantly, I'm 98% a wow streamer. If my account got banned, I would lose my relationship with Blizzard, firstly, because why the fuck would they partner with someone who violated their terms of service? 
Um, so I'd lose the relationship I have with Liz. Um, I would have to get a new account, which starting over completely from scratch uh, would be heartbreaking uh, and all that kind of, it's just, it's just not worth it. And so, yeah, I make sure that what I'm doing is 100% legal and, and, you know, legal. I know it's not the law, um, but it's just an easy word to use because people understand what it means. But yeah, it's a, it's a whole thing. If you love something, don't do anything to break it. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward. Nineteen. So I should be fine. Sorry, I just, um, so there was, there's a package I've had from Throne that said it was like, they placed the order a long time ago, like a month ago, right? And, um, uh, they had like an estimated delivery date of here. And the thing with Throne is you can't ask for, uh, and it's because otherwise, you know, they'd end up with a million fucking queries every goddamn day and it would just be annoying as hell. Um, but if, if your parcel has not arrived by the estimated arrival date, there is a button you can click that will get them to look into it for you and either provide you with a revised approximate date of delivery uh, and just give you information as to what's going on with your, with your item, right? And I had a bunch of stuff from yesterday. If you guys remember like the, the like mock uh, turtlenecks, like the t-shirts and stuff um, and the uh, jewelry box from Nano, that kind of stuff. Um, that was all from yes style and it was all ordered at the same time and none of it's arrived yet and so the estimated arrival date passed and a couple days ago the new estimated arrival time passed i know how yes style works and they often take a couple months to get here and that's okay that's fine um i was just curious as to like when it was going to arrive um and so I, I pushed the button and then they looked into it and it was because one of the items out of all the ones that were ordered, one of them was not in stock and they wait for it to come in stock and then send everything at once. That's that's how your style operates. So that's why it can take a while and then it's got international shipping and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's what had happened. One item hadn't arrived yet. So they were waiting for that. Um, and then the estimated arrival date passed again. So I pressed the button again and I've just gotten an email saying, you know, missing parcel has been updated. I was like, okay. And I clicked it expecting them to say, hasn't, you know, still still waiting for stock to come in. Nope, there's a tracking number. And that tracking number is one of the things coming on Monday, I think. <laughs> so I'm like, ah, excitement. So what have I got coming on Monday now? Fuck, so many things. It's gonna be, I'm just the whole, mm. I'm gonna have to get my trolley out of the storage cage to, to wheel everything upstairs. <laughs> um. So Bubble Tea Club, um, estimated delivery Monday to Wednesday, Monday the 14th to Wednesday 16th. Um, Mello, the lipsticks that Zeron ordered like two days ago, delivery expected Monday 14th. Uh, and then this one, this one that I've just recognized, the tracking number also coming either Monday or Tuesday. And I'm like, fucking yeah. And there's one more parcel on this list that has no other information. Um, so I'm like, it's just been, it's been ready for, oh, no, yeah, it's been ready for processing since, like, 4th of February. However, the tracking number is very similar. It's not the same one as as they've given me for the YesStyle stuff, but it's very similar. So I'm thinking maybe YesStyle have sent it in two boxes. This is very exciting. I have to do more photo shoots so I can thank everyone properly for the gifts for all of your goddamn generosity. 
it's something I want to really because like doing the photo shoot for step one was so much fun. I really enjoyed it, and and Jas said that he really enjoyed it too. So like I want to like if you know if I get clothes as a present or like makeup or something, I want to put it on and like do a little mini photo shoot and be like, look, isn't it cute? Thank you so much. It's just it'll be fun. Plus it'll give me more Instagram content, and I could always use more Instagram content. <laughs> Hashtag influencer. Would that not have made a perfect fucking drop clip? Anyway, it's fine. It's fine. Um. Mm, good afternoon, Jazz. Honestly, don't know what's inside of that toss for EU. They keep adding, changing stuff like every month or so. Oh, really? Wow. Is stuff like is stuff in the EU changing that often? Like, what's why? Uh, Blizzard Toss has platform and game specific features. Um, platform features global play. Certain games feature global play, which allows you to play with players who are outside of the region associated with the account that you have registered. The global play feature requires that some or all of your personal information provided to Blizzard, dot, 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 etc., etc. So Blizzard are covered with the copying. Not sure if they're covered completely, e.g., right to delete, right to review, etc., as I'm not a lawyer. Excuse me, but at least there are some elements in the toss. Yeah, you're right, Kaz. You're you're right. There are definitely so maybe it is a technical like a technical thing rather than a, a legal thing then. I don't know. I am not a lawyer or a um programmer. There you go. That's the word I was looking for. That's so interesting. More content! Woo! And I like Instagram. I also like Instagram. What I don't like about Instagram is every single time I put a makeup photo up, so like my amount makeup stuff, every time, without fail, so every three days, because they go up every three days, every three days, I get a batch of messages that are essentially copy pastes, um, asking me if I would like to have a sugar daddy, please message me on WhatsApp if you are into, no, no, I honestly feel like I should start a channel in Discord where I can just drop screenshots of the messages I get from these fucking co And the thing is, right, it's because I, I block and report. Every single time I get one come through, I block and report them. But I still get so many of them. And they all have the same goddamn photos. The same, uh, like, middle-aged, balding white dude. Like, ev they ev from different angles and in different locations. But they're all the same fucking dude, I swear to Christ. Um, so it's obviously a catfish. But like, um, and it's like, you know, no nudes required as a bullshit, firstly, fucking bullshit. But I feel like I need to like put, I need to like take screenshots of these messages and put them in a channel in Discord so that everyone can sign the WhatsApp numbers up for spam. <laughs> and just like break down their like for, I know, I know that it would be just super easy for them to just deactivate that WhatsApp account and get a new one, but it would be such a hassle. I, I can only imagine that it would be a hassle for them to have to keep doing that. Right? Like, it's it's got to be at least a mild inconvenience. Ugh, it just... There are websites for that shit. Don't go fishing on Instagram. There are fucking websites for that shit. Anyway. Uh, happy birthday! Thank you, Raven! Thank you so much! Is 100% a massive technical undertaking? Yeah. Brilliant. Happy birthday. Thank you, Mins. Thank you so much. My friend Ellie does that on Twitter for those. It just... Oh. Oh. I would not be surprised by the stuff in there. Not a hassle. Any spammers of automated ways to set up accounts or steal accounts? Yeah, fair. I just... I want to annoy them. I want to punish them for being creeps. And for, like, catfishing as this one random American dude. Like, I just... Fucking frustrates the hell out of me. I did open the box, didn't I? Yes, good. Uh, cool. Two more on Horde, then we'll be back to Alliance.
<clears throat> uh, I like to play with them and draw them out into this game and then block them. The only issue with that is like, they've obviously they've found my Instagram page and they've found my face and all that kind of stuff, but that also means that they know, like they could technically know that I'm a Twitch streamer, all that kind of stuff. And it could be possible for them to take out of context screenshots of shit that I've said to try to draw them out into this schemey crap uh, and use that to slander me. And like, you know, oh, she, you know, she's doing this thing and blah, blah. Do you know what I mean? And I mean, regardless of whether it's true or not, it could still harm my appearances in terms of like potential sponsorships and stuff like that. It's just, I don't think it's worth it. I really don't think it's worth it. Uh, again, don't click links in Discord or DMs, especially DMs, even if you know the person. Of course. Of course. Um, this is, with these ones, they, don't, they never have links. They never have links. It's, hey, sorry for messaging you out of the blue, but I saw your photo and you are absolutely gorgeous. String of emojis with hard eyes and drooling and all that kind of shit. Um, if you're interested, I'm looking for a sugar baby and this is how much I'd pay you every week. All I'm looking for is conversation. No nudes required. If you're interested, hit me up on WhatsApp. Here's my number or paraphrased thereof. Can you tell I've gotten entirely too many of these? Like, and I mean, as would have anyone who puts, the, any any female presenting person who puts their fucking face on Instagram. It's not, I'm not claiming that I'm special. I'm just annoyed <laughs> and I want to get them to go away. Uh, also the promote it on epic streamers or fucking world of streamers or fuck, God. I mean, it's engagement, right? <laughs> I was reporting the comments and it was deleting them. And I'm like, this is probably hurting my engagement rate. <laughs> like the, the fact, yeah, the fact that actually reporting spam hurts your engagement rate is um, not good design. Not good design. Uh, me, leave room to microwave dinner. Also me, here's about Fia's sugar daddy office as I return to room. Stream it where, of course. No, we were, um, uh, what, where was the... Uh, right, it was Landar saying Landar saying he likes Instagram. Uh, and I was like, I like Instagram too, except for these fucking messages I get. So it's every single time I put up a mount makeup look. So every three days, every three days, excuse me, I get, I get paraphrased exact same message with a photo of the exact same middle-aged white dude um, from a different angle, like just every fucking time. <sighs> I block and report them every time, but it does not. And it's it's like two or three messages every three days. It's like, fuck off. Fucking the often. Uh, most are probably scamming some short schmuck. Most likely you'll punish my American dude number 2278 who didn't realize his account had been swiped. No, these are, these are absolutely accounts designed just to find potential sugar babies on Instagram. Every time that I've actually clicked on the profile and been like, what are you like a private profile with zero posts? Or, no, no. They will have four or five photos to try to make it look like they're a real human. And all of the photos always have a shitload of comments, like 30 or 40 comments saying, oh, daddy, you're so hot. And all this kind of crap from like people who have fallen for the, the line and are like drooling over this guy who's going to give them 1500 US a week for talking to him. No, he's not, honey. That's not how this works. Uh, but yeah, it's, um, yeah, they, people are idiots, as we were saying before. Uh, I just get phone calls, waste their time and their money as they have to pay for the call. Mm. Having a DPS that's pretty rare, isn't it just? It is indeed. Alrighty. How many is that? Oh, one more on Horde, and then I switched to Alliance. Um... It's a common story, unfortunately, it is. And it's kind of embarrassing that it's as common as, like, in terms of for the human race, you know? <laughs> Promoted on the ice! Yes, I loved that comment, it was great. Oh, at least it's not that you'd look better with or without makeup, guys. I don't actually know which is worse. They're all as bad as each other. Mm, that's gross. Oh yeah, no, it, it happens, like, a lot. Recently on a social media platform, I've seen someone telling a story about reporting fake accounts. She required to upload her ID, etc. 
Afterwards, she got to respond that she should stop her Elsa account will be suspended. Like, what the hell? Reporting. Oh, as in they were reporting fake accounts, and so they thought it was a bot, maybe. So they wanted her to prove her identity because they thought she was a bot reporting the accounts. That's really odd. Welcome on in, Lion. I hope you're having a fantastic day. That's, yeah, that's weird. That's weird. Are you aware you can block messages containing certain words and phrases? Uh, if you don't want to keep dealing with it. Yes, however, um, the problem with that is that there are, like, the words can be used in other contexts. Even the word nude or nudes, um, like, oh, I love that nude lipstick you're wearing. Where is it from? Oh, I'd love that lipstick. I'd really love to buy it, but I have too many nudes. LOL. Oh, I love that bubble tea stuff, but it's just got too much sugar for me and I'm trying to watch that. Sugar as in sugar daddy. Do you know, like, you know what I mean? It's it's too difficult. I would miss out. And as a business, as a personal, like an individual, sure. But as a business, I can't really afford to accidentally filter out valid comments from viewers or potential viewers and stuff like that. Oh, I'm actually in DPS. Well then. I can't switch. That's okay. I'm just gonna press this button and hope for the best. <clears throat> mm, not sure the valid context for Sugar Baby. Oh yeah, I could add that. I mean, they get filtered to my junk anyway. Like, mess you know when you get, like, message requests? as opposed to just messages. Um, anyone who I'm not following, who's messaging me for the first time, gets filtered into there. So I see it and I, uh, and I report and block. spending more time taking thinking up rules and reporting and ignoring potentially potentially uh all true to something i know people have done because they don't want to engage with it yep totally fair i mean if so there are obviously people who are, have different life experiences than i have as well who may have like a really difficult time coping with even seeing those messages and that's valid totally valid um i i just roll my eyes and report and block like it doesn't actually like it doesn't affect me it's just a, it's just an irritant um so i can absolutely understand people filtering it out entirely for those kind of stuff or even you know for other reasons as well but um yeah no i prefer the fact that i can actually report it to instagram and they can potentially delete the account um and there is an option now if you block somebody um when you hit block, it comes up with a pop-up. Do you want to block the person or do you want to block the person and any new accounts they may create? I don't know how they track that. It could be IP. It could be some, I, I'm not sure. Um, then I always use that one. So if they do get that one banned and then they make a new account to go hunt down more sugar babies, they can't message me. Um, so that's a benefit. Uh, I think I'm done horde side. I am. All right. We're jumping back to Alliance. Um, lately I get accounts tagging me on spam scam posts and I wonder how they find me to target uh, bots. Automation. For the Alliance. That kind of shit. I would say. No mount yet. Birthday luck bug 10 out of 10. I've still got 20 runs to do though, Jess. I'm only just over halfway. Welcome home. The rest of your attempts, gotta go to sleep. Thank you, Ice. Enjoy your rest. Had my heart skip a beat today. The heartbreaker dropped. Oh no. Oh no. All right, I'm gonna be back in just a second. I know I've taken a break at the start of each set of uh, lines runs, but look, it's fine. Excuse me, I will be back shortly. Run away, little girl, run away.
Hi, everybody. Hello. Hi, Dr. Nick. <laughs> the Simpsons. It's hilarious. <laughs> Everyone's saying hi, Jess. Hi, everybody. <laughs> um, hello, Countess. Thank you so much. Not me entering it, BRB. <laughs> Oh dear, I haven't unlocked the Fiamma oh, no, Chamber no, 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 yet. No, no, no. Oh no! Oh, is it? It must be tier two. I must have it at tier two. Ah, oh, I found a shark you may be interested in. Chair. <laughs> Bless you. It's evening, Jazz. Hey, Jazz. Everyone, everyone's saying hello. How's my timer looking? Good, 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 good. So, thoughts for dinner? Have you. Do you have any particular. Desires or thoughts? You said you wanted help. Let's start oh, there. something reasonably healthy, yeah. Oop, there we go. You're gonna play Tink. Huh? Ah, uh, all the sniping tonight. Meaty Koala has been created. Fantastic. It's your birthday, KFC. Oh, nah, I want something a bit lighter, honestly. Um, something a little bit healthier. I think my body is like, give health a food, and I'm like... <laughs> I was looking at um, Suki. Uh, poke balls? They do sushi burritos as well, but I don't think they do those for delivery. Thai food? Thai is good. What is window that shows up as requesting to join? Uh, that's just quick join. So if you're on my friends list, when I start the queue, when I when I queue for, for the Crown Chemical Co, if you're on my friends list, it will come up if you hit O and or whatever your um whatever your social button is, under the quick join tab you'll be able to see a bunch of people and you can click it to queue for the to queue for it with them. Um, so yeah, if you want to add, if you want to be able to quick join with this, exclamation add me is the, uh, the command to get my battle tag. And we're doing alliance tunes at the moment. We are NA slash OCE. Update still a restarting my Animal Crossing Island. Even DK is going to be able to get out of necrotic stacks now. Oh my god. Oh mm. yeah, did you, did you see the thing I you? You're mumbling, I can't hear you. Did What's you up? see the thing I sent you? Uh, I read the URL, I did not click it because I didn't want spoilers, but the URL had enough information. That's why I sent you the battle with the blizzard. Oh, was it the blizzard one? Oh, yeah. I thought it was so Wowhead. <gasps> Dan! Thank you so I much for the donation! I specifically went and looked for the blizzard. Thank you so much, Dan. Appreciate it. But no, it said it in the URL, so it, I didn't have to click it anyway. Anyway, yeah, it, go it goes live literally the day after. <sighs> yep, I knew it would. I knew it would. Well, I was sitting in Discord with the guildies the other night when we were doing Crazy's Keys and like, it'll be literally the day after. Yep. Love is in the air. <laughs> Not gonna do it during because they no. know how many people do that shit. And that's what I said, you know? There's too many people who do collections now. You're not going to put a major patch drop right in the middle of one of the rarest mounts in the game. Yeah. That's a bad idea. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Dan. Much appreciated. You're having a fantastic day. Um, sorry, I'm just logging into Uber Eats on, like, the PC so that Jazz can see what I'm doing as well. Oh. Um. Fuck. Oh, my phone then, because I can't, I don't remember my password. Um. Oh, battle. That was quick. Instant Q. It's fine. Um. Yeah. Okay, if I tap healthy, what's it gonna say? 
Oh look, so it does. Yay! I still don't know why they nerfed necrotic stacks again. They were fine before. How is Grill health? Um, they do healthier burgers than I, the other I places. I guess there's healthy herb burgers, but it's still burgers. Oh, I bring my new kitten home on the 19th. Yay! Oh, that's so awesome, Shiva. I hope you have an absolute blast. Uh, Ali, Faden, Z, and V, congratulations to you. Uh, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. I mean, Gala Tai is listed. No, it is. You want to do tie? Sorry? Yeah, I did. I quick scroll before I handed it to you. I ate so much junk food today, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. There is so much tie. Why is IGA listed? Because they do groceries now, too, remember? Everybody says groceries. Groceries are healthy. I, I love that there's a convenience store listed in the healthy section. And the picture is like hot dogs and shit. And there is M&M's. Yeah. B. Maximus Powerade, Smith's Chips, Cheezos, three different donuts, Tim Tams, Kit Kats, Maltesers, That all sounds Nutella, wonderfully healthy. Coffee, toilet paper. <laughs> toilet paper is extremely healthy. Healthy, just just saying. Did we want, like, how warm is it today? Did we want stuff that's cold, or do we... Like, so does that mean it's cold, or...? Not cold. <laughs> okay, that's good. I didn't know that you sneeze based on temperature. Must be. Oh. Did I push the button? No. Of course I didn't. Because I didn't start the- I didn't place my next unit, that's why. Um, monk. I got the heartbreaker. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, the first time it's dropped. It's the first time that's dropped. So there you go. That's fun. Trust me, I'd be screaming if it was the other one. Like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I get it, but like... Yeah. Uh, Nutty now fancies donuts. Thanks, Jess. Toilet paper is full of fiber. Wait, just wait. There's gonna be a point that somebody sues Uber Eats, saying your platform's called Uber Eats. Everything on your platform should be edible. I ate toilet paper and nearly died because I had to bowel obstruction. <laughs> It'd be great. Could you imagine trollers all by being so casual about the mouth drop? Oh, fuck. I have thought about what my reaction is going to be like when it drops. Still thinking about it. Oh, I, there's no, I'm not gonna be able to control it anyway. It's gonna be reflex, but I'm like, what would my reflex be? So having tie? I don't know. Do you want oh, tie? Sure. We should have tie. Can you wait 30 or 40 minutes? I have, I have milk and chips <laughs> and don't. chocolate. Oh dear. I'm gonna spoil your appetite. Yeah, fair. It's quick. There it is. Shaman. Healy stick. Yeah. Healy shaman. What the fuck? Yeah, I wanted to stick a weapon. Is it Healy shaman? Um, I about broke my neck when you said that. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Uh, I have to get shot for milk. Might as well grab donuts as well. Stunned to silence for five seconds. Guys, 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 that's a mount. Oh my God, guys, that's a mount. Yeah, that's, yeah. Look, I'm just, I'm, words won't even happen. It'll just be noises. <laughs> uh, breath stopped when you said I got the heartbreaker. So monotone, I thought you were in shock. No. No, it was just the toy. Fihama.exe is not impressed. Yeah! <laughs> oh, well, duck curry for fear. That's what I always get from them. Goose! Um.
Wait, no. who's paying for this? Should I just stick it in, what's it? Splitwise? Get it with a small coconut rice. Add one to cart. Ooh. Ah. Uh, hey, so they have Bundaberg. Ginger Why am beer. I about to be disappointed? Ginger beer, sarsaparilla, pineapple and coconut, tropical mango, passion fruit. End of list. <laughs> one Why of nobody have lemonade. One of Jas's favorite drinks is the Bundaberg, like proper brewed lemonade, like the lemon squash stuff that they do, and it is so rare to find that stuff. Shit's the rarest commodity in existence at this point. Yep. It's so, like, I mean, you can get a four pack of it at Woolies and it's quite expensive. Even but then it's still rare. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's, um, yes. Wish to try this duck curry of Jazz's creation. Oh, it is not Jazz's creation. We're getting takeout because it's birthday. Uh <laughs> Nobody wants to try, try my duck curry. Want to know why? You've never made duck I curry. Never named, You've made, never cooked duck. Never have cooked you? duck before. Yeah. <laughs> I think I got four toys. Yeah, that was my first. I've also only had two toxic wastelings out yeah. of all the what? Put essence on. Why? I don't need this it. It's really good. I don't care. You can push it in AFK for ten seconds. That's not long enough. The other ones require constant pushing. Fair. Um. There's so, even a talent that lets you push it in AFK for 20 seconds. <laughs> One thing that has been annoying me. What is the sparkles on the table in the dungeon that looks like loot? Oh, um, so, potions. yeah, there are potions. There's green ones and there are purple ones. If you take a green potion, if you drink one of the green potions from the table, the green patches on the ground do no damage to you and the purple ones do reduce damage. And if you take a purple potion, the purple patches do no damage and the green ones do reduce damage. No one gives a flying fuck. They just kill the bosses. <laughs> once upon a time, it was useful. Yeah, once upon a time, it was, like, necessary to use them. Not anymore. Uh, potion thing. Yes. Gunk protection. Absolutely correct. Uh, essence font sucks for dungeons. Back in a bit. Taking my little human to school. Enjoy! Oh, yeah, that takes time to do too. Exactly. I mean, you only have to click it. That's it. But, like, it's still... It's still... Oh, my God! Draz! Oh, yeah, Holy Draz. shit! Draz with the five gifted subs! Good job, Draz. Thank you so much! Thank you very, very much for the birthday wishes. Oh, done well. Aww. Oh, dear. Do I want lemon iced tea or do I want, like, passion fruit underberg? By the sun well. I'm having duck curry, guys. What, what kind of drink do I want? <laughs> I feel like passion fruit had cut through like the creaminess a bit. Oh, that like lemon well. tea is delicious. Dodged again, Ruffle. Oh dear. Hi, oh, the sun well. Ah, oh, you're a ninja, Apathy. What can we say? You're a ninja. I saw the fourth one down and saw Jas, and I'm like, oh, it's Jason, okay. <laughs> I'm like, Jas has a sub. The fuck? Do I want lemon ice tea or passion fruit? Good question. Let chat. Well, I asked and no one answered. I'm gonna put up a poll. Oh, I'm yeah. Oh yeah, let's do a poll. New poll. What should beer drink? Lemon. Whoa. Lemon iced tea. Passion fruit. Fizzy. You get one minute because I want to make an order. <laughs> uh, cool. So that one's done. Onwards. Tea, always tea. Beer? Nah. No thanks. Finally home from the studio. Rush time Oh, Axiom, I hope you were safe. Welcome home. I hope the studio was fun. Oh my god, all the hydrates. Mm. 
And a couple of seconds left to vote. God, it keeps trading places, it keeps bouncing back and forth. <gasps> Goodness. Another hydrate. Lemon iced tea takes it home. Add one to cart. Okay. Boop. 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 You're gonna tie it? <laughs> hey, a nurse. Give me boop. <laughs> ah, pizza. Ugh. Oh boy, runs are taking a little while today. That slow start really fucked me over. There was a queue that took six minutes. And then another one that took four. Yeah, it was not ideal. Yeah, apparently. Now I'm in a queue as a healer. And I'm in queue for a minute thirty. Very unusual. Looks like it's tank queues at the moment. Oh, it's just me. Uh, you can. Do you? You're good? No. Pop it. Oh. That's the thing! Sarsaparilla? Yes. You actually like sarsaparilla? No, I don't know. I'm gonna give it a try. Mmm, okay. What's the worst that happens? Tastes like earwax. I give it to you? Nope. <laughs> Do you think I would be questioning you so intensely if I liked sarsaparilla? <laughs> it has been like over a decade since I've tried it, so maybe my tastes have changed. Uh, okay. Ooh, you can get free edamame. Go to check out. I, no thanks. I've got everything in the basket that I wanted. Oh yeah. Gosh, I'm tired. I'm sauce for that. I like root beer. Yum sauce. It's very much like root beer. We don't really get root beer in thank you very much. Closest we like we have ginger beer, but that's like because ginger is a root, but that's about it. I I personally have never seen a bottle of root beer in my now 32 years of life, so um Yeah. Fun times. Uh no heartbreaky yet, no right. nurse. We have ordered the food, I'm out of here. No, we haven't. Ah, okay. oh, they're, they're not letting us pay to speed it up this time. I get all the fizzy drinks like we do in America. Uh, I've been disconnected from stream. And this is the second time during stream I've been DC'd. Yep. Yeah, I reckon. Uh, well, let me check out on. Th oh, there we go. I've connected there. So let's try.
Right, OBS says uh, reconnection successful, so I reckon this is where we are. Uh, but yeah, no, we don't really get root beer. Um, we don't get all the fizzy drinks like you do in America. Ease. Yeah, the manager seems to have crashed as well. Um, yeah, that's the second time today the stream has crashed. That the internet has totally cut out. Um, where the fuck am I? Oh, it hearthed me. <laughs> oh, good fucking god. Well, it already crossed me off, so I'm gonna log out. No, I'm not. Fuck, I need to log back to PlayStation. Um, ugh. Do the emotes no longer bounce on stream? Uh, no, they do. It's just that chat hasn't reconnected properly. Like, Streamlabs hasn't figured out that I'm live again yet, so it can't. Um, yeah. Solar flare, blue screen equals not you for anyone wondering. Yes. Your name is on the Blizzard app. Yes, it is. It has been on and off for over a year now, which is pretty awesome. Hope you're doing well, Ben. Hope you're doing well. But yeah, I've had, that's the second time tonight that the stream is cut out entirely. My router is quite old. Um, I've had it for three for seven-ish years um and my dad has sent me his old one that is that is awesome like that is a really good router um to see if that helps or to see like maybe it's an actual internet thing but um so yeah we're gonna we're gonna switch that um i've just i've been putting it off because i've been doing stuff all the time i've been so busy but i think we're gonna have to switch them over because twice during one stream is um fucking shit so, yeah, uh, majority of it this time for me. So if you're looking over at a spinning circle, oh no. Oh no, yeah, it was tempted to reconnect twice and then the third time it was successful. So, yeah. Uh, but I have joined the queue, if anyone would like to join me. I've got five more alliance to do. Okay, okay bye. Hey Pickle, thank you. Much appreciated. And yes, Koalachon. Very work, very good way to support Fear. Interact with her on all the social medias. All the things and stuff. Oh man, I am. I am zonked. There we go. Let's let's hop on in, shall we? Yeah, my, uh, maybe I'd need to try refreshing chat in, uh, OBS, because it's, um, it has not reconnected yet. I need some happy brain juice noise. Yeah, look, maybe. I'm just, I'm just really tired, like, I'm just so zonked. Oh, there we go. There we go, looks like chat is potentially working again. Yes it is, awesome. Awesome news. Ah, uh, thank you, Tread. Thank you very much. Oh dear. I really hope I don't fall asleep on my keyboard. Mmm. <laughs> In this economy, okay, we kind of we kind of need that, especially in this economy. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Four more alliance tunes. Ah, oh, tried. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Looks like the alert box isn't working at all either. Give me just a second. Let's refresh that. Oh, excuse me. Uh, is this actually? It looks like Streamlabs is. This can, it might not be the alert box. It might be Streamlabs in general. 
birthday thank you. So I'm happy birthday thank you, yo. Thank you, Luna. Ah, is is birthday is day of birth. Yeah, okay, so that's Streamlabs not picking up on the gifted subs. That's odd. That's odd. I'm just wondering if maybe I got disconnected from it somehow. Nice birthday. So far, so good. So far, so good. I'm just waiting for the heartbreaker to drop now. Yeah, even on the website, Streamlabs is not showing that sub. That, the, the gift subs. That is so fucking odd. Maybe something really royally went kablang. It's really upsetting. Because even, like, if it missed it, I could still hit the button to, like, replay the alerts and stuff, but apparently not. I'm very sorry about that for, for not giving you the appropriate recognition, but, um... And now it what? That's weird! Also, Hype Train. Thank you so much, Ali, for the cheer. My gosh. Thank you. Choo-choo time indeed! It is a choo-choo time. Who will end up with the golden trains this time? Out we get. To the next one! <sighs> this one. All of the hype. Yeah, the emotes are working now. Thank you, Countess, for the cheer! And thank you, Raven, also for the cheer! Aw, so sweet of you guys. Thank you! We are now back in business, thank god. Because you can you imagine if it dropped and the emotes didn't bounce all over the screen, all the hypes and stuff? That'd just be sad. By the sun. Oh, fairy! Thank you so much for the gifted subs. Oh my god. Oh my god. By the sun. Went. Oh, far out. All of the hype. Boom, let's go indeed. Indeed. Level two complete. By the sun. Birthday went. choo choo. Aww. Shit, we're on level four. Fucking hell. Level four hype train. Good lord. There is much hype, many hypes. By the sun well. Ducking and dodging, apparently, Apathy. Um, just double check, Apathy, that you actually have, there's a setting on your dashboard where you can not be gifted subs. But I suggest you have well. a look at that one. Uh, <laughs> holy fucking Jesus. Jesus Christ, Ali with the 5,000 bits. Oh. Fucking hell. And Dan with five gifted subs? Oh my god. And Kim with the five gifted subs? Oh, sun well. Holy shit. Musk, thank you very much for the well wishes. Oh my fucking god. Good lord. Oh look, it's a, it's a Q. Oh, the sun uh, well. I need to switch to Guardian. Oh my god. You lot. Thank you so much. <laughs> 264% of tier 5, of level 5. Holy shit. Cinders! By the sun well. With the five gifted subs. And Lissy with another gifted... Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. 364%. Well. Good fucking god. All the hypes, my lord. Jesus Christ. By the sun well. Somebody say hype train. Apparently so. No followers, only subs. This is the rule. 
Oh shit. Hi, the sun well. Oh my god, it's too dodging. Can't touch this. Ah! <laughs> Jack with the gifted sub. The appropriately gifted sub. Hi, the sun well. My god. <laughs> Draz! With the five gifted subs. Jesus Christ. 464%. They make a dodgeball team. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. All aboard, indeed. Hang on. I had a. Where was. There was. I had a thing. That was like the highest hype train we've ever gotten. Where is it? This one. It was on the 13th of August last year. Where's the. It was 880%. Okay. Brilliant. Oh my god. <laughs> it's your birthday. It is my birthday. Sunwell. You guys are so generous. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I made me pass out for a bit, but I'm back. Welcome back. I hope you're going okay, Jason. This is a birthday juju. It sunwell. is. It is. You could. You could absolutely target apathy. That is the thing you can do is specifically gifted subs as opposed to random bombs. Oh my god. Hi, the Sunwell. Thank you, Waldron. Much appreciated. Thank you. Good lord, you guys. Oh, far out. Oh my- By the sun well. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ali with 12 gifted subs. By the sun well. Uh, I, I, Thank you so much. Jesus Christ. Great day. Thank you, nurse. Oh, I am. I'm having a wonderful day. Thank you. Clear with the 12. I think we can beat 880. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Thank you, Ali. By the oh, thank you, Axiom. By all the Sunwells. Are they 2% away? Enjoy a wonderful day. I will and I am, nurse. Absolutely. By the what? Sun you actually makes it a lot. Thank you, Kim. I wish I had the money to give 32 subs. <laughs> oh, Shiva. That's very kind of you. Hi, the sun well. Oh, dear. It's great to hear it. Dodgeball team, go. <laughs> Almost a race to see who gets bombed first, Apathy or Thor. Oh, Hi, my goodness. Oh, no. Actually... There was the, this was are either of you on iOS? There was a thing in Discord about it today. Synth with the resub. All of the hype. Thank you. Oh, oh Trud. Trud with the five gifted subs. My god. Oh my god. Seven hundred sixty-four percent. Hi, the sun Guys, Android and PC, PC at the moment. Okay, all right. Because there was an issue where um, there was one particular person who was talking about a member of their community who people couldn't even Hi, directly gift a person. There, there was one person who wasn't getting caught in any bombs, and then even when they actually clicked their name and tried to directly gift them a, subscri a subscription, it wouldn't Hi, let them. Uh, and they realized it was because they had a sub that was going through iOS, and... Um, even when they cancelled it, it didn't actually cancel properly. And so it needed to like they, they needed to actually go into the into the app store and cancel it cancel the subscription shoot through there before because it's thought they were flagged as still having a sub, even though it was inactive. Um so maybe maybe through either of the apps it has done like a, a thing or something. I don't know. Oh my fucking god. Goodbye. Hi, the sun. My god. Trud with the five gifted subs. Meta with the five gifted subs. Thank you, Jesse. All of you. Good Hi, lord. Sunwell. I got hype evil appropriate. Ah, choo choo indeed. Look at you all. Yeah, weird bugs are weird. Agreed. Definitely outside is very cold. Oh Hi, no. Sunwell. Oh no. But yeah, so just if I actually. Hi, the Sunwell. All right, well, the buttons are there, so it looks like... I, I don't know, like, I'm not going to try clicking them because I don't have the money to be able to do that. Ha! But the button is there for both of you to actually do the gift, but I don't know. Did we beat 880? It looked like it... Like, the last time I saw it, it said 848. But I didn't manage to get a clip of it because I was in the middle of combat, unfortunately. 
Hi, the Sunwell. Good fucking god, you guys. <laughs> you guys. You're amazing. Hi, the Sunwell. So fucking generous. I I am so lucky that you guys found me. So lucky that you lot Hi, are the, the ones Sunwell. that have discovered me and stuck around. I swear to God, like oh. So eight forty eight. Yeah, so did I. Fucking close though. Good lord. Good lord. Hi, the Sunwell. Holy shit. Amazing chat. No, you. <laughs> Oh, good lord. Uh, I'm gonna need to plug my phone in, I think. Hi, There's a battle. Sunwell. I'm gonna plug my phone into charge. This is me, not you. That was me, not you. Hi, the Sunwell. <sighs> ah, <laughs> with the gifted sub to apathy. My goodness. You are to winner. Hi, the Sunwell. I return with jam donuts, delicious nutty. I hope you enjoy them. Oh, and Draz again with the gifted sub to Thor. So generous. It's not you, it's me, me triggered. <laughs> Fianati Fiamali is present and hyped. Let's get this I damn mount. Yas, Meaty, Faden, Koala, Max, and Fairy. All of you. Bonus shit. Yas. Congratulations. Hi, the Sunwell. Who's keen for cat of time walking when I'm done with this shit? Dodge that, yeah. <laughs> oh Hi, fuck, the Sunwell. You guys. You guys. Can I place my mage yet? No. Hi, the Sunwell. Now if I'm to imagine you could doing Cat of Time working on Alliance. Uh, no. It'll be Hi, Horde. Um, because Horde side is where I'm trying to build up the Time Warp badges. It's where I've got most of my badges. Uh, and I'm trying to get two of them to 5k Hi, for the, the, the two mounts that I still don't have. Um, yeah. So that's all my Alliance tunes done for the Heartbreaker, though. I've got ten more to do on Horde. Still think it's hilarious that all the bombs Hi, misses. The it is a little bit funny. It is a little bit funny. You're gonna have to wait half an hour. <laughs> Fair. Although, no, as long as I'm sitting on like 16 dungeons entered at the moment, not 20. So unless these queues on Horde go fucking quick, I doubt it. Um, right, so I was, Renard is the 20th that I've done, so I need to jump onto Yaka. Da -dum. I still have 10 heal tanks. <laughs> so are mine. Mine are all healers or tanks or both. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Um. Food? Yeah. I'm sitting at, I'm at, I'm at 15 now, basically. Yeah. So I'm, I'm behind. Let's see if we can catch up. That's okay, we can sit here and, and just chat for a, for a hot second. Actually, no, I do have, um, I do have dailies to do on both Fia and Phelan for the tokens. So I can do that before we start doing the cat of time walking. That should get the timer. That should run the timer down. Uh, help you time walking if you need another body. I've already done a bunch of groups tonight. Don't want to take someone else's spot? Of course. Absolutely. Um... Yeah, I've got a so I've got two characters to do dailies on, so maybe I'll do that first, Jack. Maybe that might be good to run both of our timers down. Because I'm assuming that you'd like to come along to time walking. Get yourself some badges. And I am more than happy to have you along. Uh Where did all my buttons go? Here we go. Doing it hardcore mode. Clicking from the spell book.
perfect. Mm, let's wait for the win. A, the OG way to play WoW spell book clicking. Yep, I'm very skilled and talented. Just ask me. Hey, Gabri, how you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. I'm overwhelmed with generosity and all of the, all of the, oh my god, I'm just, I'm, I'm in a state of disbelief. My community is incredible. How are you, Gabri? Ah, buttons, plural, you only push one right. No, two, swipe and thrash. There's a guardian druid. <laughs> I got my memory mouse. I was indeed a clicker. Nah, I, I pressed keyboard buttons, but um, it just, they weren't on my bars and I didn't realize until I was in combat. And when you're in combat, um, I can't drag GSE macros onto my bars. I drew tank three buttons for Are we taking one of those as iron fur? Oh, Lord. Oh, crunch. Hell. Yeah, so we're gonna head. No worries, Jesse. Good luck. Good luck. Enjoy your luck. And thank you, boyfriend. Whoever is neck pain. Oh no. Worried, but okay. Yeah, he, it'll be okay. It'll be alright. Calling it. You'll get the mount tonight. Look, I bloody well hope so. This is we've had we've had this discussion that the universe and are in Jesus have to have had a conversation about the fact that it's my birthday and that I've put in all of this effort with leveling all these fucking tunes. Like, come on. Birthday present, Kago. Uh, so much I love the main druids. Also need Mangle and Moonfire procs and AOE to keep rage generation up. Not not when it's an event dungeon, they don't. <laughs> not when it's an event dungeon, they don't. <laughs> oh dear. Um, be confident they get a bit too much core. My mouth is a freak. Oh no! At least Jared will be happy. Oh no. Targets. When I first started playing, well, I had no idea what keywines were. I was like, bro, why are you not doing damage or hitting your cooldowns promptly? Don't think that fast. Ridiculed and boom, keywines were made and life was changed. Yeah, people were, um, people were touchy about, like, clickers and stuff. Like, I don't care, you know? If, if you can play effectively, then it shouldn't matter how you're playing. But people have opinions. And they are strong. And that's fine. Eight more attempts for the day. So DPS, you don't really need the rage from info for tanking properly. Person, I guess you get more DPS threat with AOE spam. Like having more iron first rolling. There you go. There you go. And it'll also be up to your individual group as well. Like if you're running with people who are like super awesome at healing, then you'll be able to run a little more risky and do more damage. And if they're, you know, not so experienced healers, then you might need to run a more defensive build to protect yourself more and not just rely on them and all that kind of like there's a whole lot of a ton of variables. Lots of variables. What is with this queue? 
Must be helicues. Cannot shake the feeling like I'm about to fall asleep. Like it just. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. Maybe I'm just a bit overwhelmed with all the cheers and sub bombs and donations and presents and. <sighs> overwhelmed is definitely a thing. Ah. Oh, there we go. Oh, DPS! Shit! Okay, I'm just gonna run his tank anyway. <laughs> so I have to change back eventually. Oh man. Chat is debating DPS versus ration. Fear isn't even playing the right spec. Yep. Correct. I'll have to change back tomorrow. Why the fuck? Like, this is fine. <laughs> Look, I honestly, all the arguments about like how to effectively play your class, none of them matter in, in like event dungeons. No one gives a flying fuck. Like no one's going to do it anyway. So yeah. I mean, outside of that, absolutely. Totally fine. Here? Nah. <laughs> That's right, Fairy. You, you're fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. You like, you're okay. It's all good. Everything's fine. Am I upsetting you? I'm sorry. I don't mean to upset you. Oh dear. Yes, comfy undies. Step one. Grab your comfy underpants. I'm wearing white ones. White ones. I'm wearing the white ones today. And I discovered, did you see my photos in Discord? I'd found the fucking size label on the fucking underpants. I am in fact wearing smalls. Uh, which number are we up to at the moment? Um, 43 done. So this is number 44 out of 50. The chances of it dropping today are getting slimmer and slimmer. Is fear small? Does fear wear so small? Sometimes. Oh god, when I was I was doing window shopping on Yes Style, looking for a few bits and pieces, like my wardrobe needs help. I need I need more stuff in my wardrobe because most of what I have has holes in it and shit, as you guys know. Um so I was having a look on Yes Style because I love a lot of their clothes, and um well. Uh, I took my measurements and like jotted them down. I'm like, okay, cool. So now I don't have to measure myself constantly. I can just check out, like I can open a bunch of tabs and then look at them and check the sizing to see if they'll have a size of that one that will fit me. And I was particularly looking at shorts because turns out it's hot here and I'd like to, I'd like to uh, not overheat in jeans. <laughs> um, so I opened up, I think it was like, 10 tabs, 10 different pairs of shorts that I thought were really cute to have a look at their sizing and color options and stuff like that. And um, eight out of the 10 I had to close because none of the sizes that they made would fit me. I am, I, I look, Usually, like, I'm pretty okay. Like, I'm fairly comfortable in my body. Like, I'm, I'm alright with that. Um, 
But this is this is an Asian website. This is a Korean website. And so a lot of their sizes are a lot smaller. So I'm wearing size small from step one, which is an Australian brand, right? So like, whereas the stuff I'm ordering from Yes Style, the only stuff that will fit me is when they have a pair of shorts that runs to a 2XL. I have three words for you. Fuck women's clothing. Maybe a fourth, sizes. Uh, <laughs> I like I'm a small from one brand, a 2XL from another, an L from another. I <laughs> Way to give me a complex. Like yeah, it's it's a fucking mess. It's a fucking mess. Um you see progress on the Rody Barbara stream as you can, yes, when I'm not in a load screen. Uh so yeah, just here. I laughed when I saw the pick. Oh, which pick was that? Hang on. Oh, the pictures of the size label. Good. I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uh, Jas, apparently our food is arriving at 718. Uh, no, I've done this one. Um, uh, they just read the title. Yes, it's my birthday, Red. Hello. Thank you. Hello, fairies. Why don't shop online for clothes? Yeah, but if I go to an actual store, there are people there and people have COVID. Plus these kind of clothes you can't really get here. Yeah. Uh, in Brisbane. Like, there just isn't, it's not a style that is a thing in Brisbane. So, if I want this style of clothing, I have to get it from Korea, basically. Um, but that's okay. It just, like, at least it actually has sizing information, so I can know that I'm ordering the right size and stuff. Everybody's really watching for this. Oh, ah, fantastic! Wonderful. I think I've bought clothes for myself online. Oh, yeah, fuck that. No wonder it's so hard. Yeah, this is why, like, I have a, um, there's a tape measure in my, in my desk drawer. So that if I am, I can just, like, I can literally stand up and take my measurements right in there and then and make sure that what I'm ordering, like, to make sure that I'm, like, it's available in their size. What is really annoying is when you take, like, a waist measurement and a hip measurement and a thigh measurement. And in the waist, I'm, uh, in the, in the waist, I'm a medium. In the hips, I'm a large. And in the thighs, I'm a small. It's like... Fuck. Uh, <laughs> but usually I tend to go for like, I, I like, if it's, if it's something where like the hips, um, it, like the hips are a larger size, um, and the, the waist is a smaller size or something like that, like I'll have a look and figure, okay, well the hips, where, where the clothing wraps around the hips, it's not very stretchy, but the waist is elasticized. So that can stretch, but the hip measurement can't. So I like, I, I, yeah, figure that kind of shit out. Honestly, it's worked pretty well for me. I very, very rarely do I end up with clothing that doesn't fit me. Very rarely. Um, uh, I don't know why it's so hard besides much, I suppose. Plus sizing is even worse. It's all bad. It's sort of sliding into men's, get a 2XL t-shirt and it barely fits. Jesus. Uh, best advice I was given is go by actual measurements, not sizes. Oh yeah, no, that's that's why I always measure my one hundred percent. Always measure yourself, like, and don't just be like, oh yeah, that should be the right place to measure. No, go and actually look at the specific website you're on. Should have a sizing guide somewhere, and it will tell you where to take each measurement, like exactly, like, you know, some people say a chest measurement is the widest part. Other people say a chest measurement is bang on at your nipples, regardless of whether that is the widest part or not. Like, the, do you know what I mean? And then same thing with waist. Is it like natural waist? Is it at your belly button? Um, hips, is it around the widest part or is it around the bony bit? Like, yeah, read the fucking sizing guides and do it properly. If you do not put the effort in, it is your fault that you got the wrong size clothing. If you put all the effort in and it's still wrong, then that's on them. But if you didn't put the effort in, then it's your fault. Like, <laughs> uh, roll d10 to determine your clothing size. What's fitted at? Tie. Thank you, skill. Thank you, boot. If it isn't that bad, I've had it and I was sick two days. Cool, well, I have an autoimmune condition, so don't assume. <laughs> Everyone is gonna experience different shit. Um, when I have two XL shirts brought years ago that are baggy, they do, like, fabric does stretch over time as well, keeping that in mind. But yeah, like, and sizing has changed over the years as well. Like, whatever you were then doesn't necessarily mean what you are now and all that kind of, like, it's, yeah. Always best to, uh, to actually take your measurements when you're buying something new online. 
People, it was also COVID. Yep, COVID or not, shops have people. Online doesn't have people. I went to Spotlight, got fabric, and mum made it. That's very convenient. I'm very glad you have that option available to you, Barry. That's awesome. No restrictions here anymore from COVID. Good for you. We do. Not heaps, but we have some. You know, wearing masks in places where vaccinated and unvaccinated people mix and things like that. But yeah, I have an autoimmune condition. So it like if I get it, there is a very good chance that it will actually legitimately fuck me up. Um, as opposed to just being a cold for a couple days. Yeah. Uh, COVID booster today. Not enjoying it. Hopefully it's the last vaccination for a while. For sure. For sure. Um, yeah, luckily I was able to get double vaxxed. But um, my medical situation has changed since then. So I, I don't actually know if I can be boosted or not. I don't know if I can get a booster or not. Um, considering my, uh, my current circumstances and situation. Uh, but, uh, well, hopefully I'll get some answers soon. Fingers crossed. Uh, I often have one of those handy because Mrs. Helix does sewings. Nice. Oh, it sounds like the plan should be to win the lottery then have custom made clothes made to measure. Yeah, look, I tried yesterday. Um, the universe didn't get the message that I was meant to win for my birthday. Uh, and, um, look, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not salty at all. I had zero issues for my boost. I'm not sure I got lucky. I've having four teeth pulled same day, overruled everything. Or it might have just been a mix. Maybe they both gave you like similar feelings. Um, is Jess? I don't know. Hopefully they'll uh, hopefully they'll ping the apartment and Jess will hear it. Um, hey Visor, how you doing? Welcome back. For me, shopping online is near impossible. I'm a ten bottom, anywhere from a twelve to a sixteen top. Yeah, a lot of places are getting, especially with COVID and stuff, like, taking returns and shit costs them money. Uh, a lot of them I found, a lot of companies that I couldn't really trust before have gone out of their way to make sure that they've got accurate sizing data on their websites and stuff now so that you can order online and get the appropriate sizes, um, having, like, all the measurements. But um, it really still does depend on the company, obviously. Like, not everyone's going to be as good as the next one. Uh, each person has a different body, man here and man is it difficult uh, to get the proper size. They should be standardized at some point. Look, they should be. They should be. Uh, but we we will see. There we go. That's the door. Um, I was really bad with COVID for about a week. I still have some issues close to two weeks later. Oh, Jesus. That's not good, Red. I hope you feel better soon. Ah, uh, feels like they use less fabric in clothes. Fee, did you know your donor link is still streaming this one? Yep, I did. Um, immunity compromise and I've had four jabs. Good job. Awesome, David. I'm really, really glad that even, like, your particular medical condition still allowed you to get the jabs. That's really good news. Really good news. Gotta protect yourself as much as you can, especially when you're vulnerable, hey. Cousin's family all got COVID, not too severe. It dragged on for a couple months. Oof, yikes. Um... Super tiny, live in stretchy bottoms and shorts, because struggle to find stuff that fits, even with taking measurements. Fair. Fair. Um, super tiny, uh, definitely look at um, some of the Asian stores. Like, for example, Yes Style. I'm not just saying that because I'm an affiliate. Like, any of the any of the uh, Korean-based clothing stores and stuff, their styles are a little bit interesting. So, like, I mean, you may or may not find something that's to your taste. But if you do, a lot of their shit runs quite small. Um... Like 80% of their clothes I, I can't order because they're just too small for me. Uh, and I'm not I'm not big, but I'm I'm not teeny tiny either. So I can't, yeah. Um it is a jazz. There's a whole other matter then can understand you doing as you are then. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you hear about the universe, and I was pretty good at that sort of thing. Look, sometimes, sometimes. I didn't win the lottery because I wasn't meant to, and that's okay. It's okay. Didn't get that because there's something bigger and better coming down the line. Or it didn't want me to spend my luck on that and then not get the Heartbreaker. Although 60 million would probably make it a lot easier to get the Heartbreaker later, but that's fine. <laughs> mm, friend with all my issues from 10 day hospital staff getting COVID, gross. Not as it like, that came across sounding really offensive. I didn't mean it like that, it was more like that sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> ah, 
just evolved. I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased to hear that. And I'm really pleased that I got to name one of your Pokemon Berry. It makes me feel like involved and nice. So thank you for saying thank you for doing that. And it, it is Chas's favorite Pokemon too. I, oh, I lucked out with that. Holy shit. Ah, dad life, I'm working hard, missing a heap of the streaming world. Of course, of course. Ah, oh, well, hopefully you're having a, a great time anyway, Pfizer. I'm accidentally in Resto, aren't I? Delivery. Sorry? Delivery. Hello. I'll be out after I've done this run, yeah? Is that okay? Oh. Delivery. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were asking me to come grab my stuff. Hang on a second. I'm trying really hard to help. I'm I'm DPSing, but I'm in resto spec, so I'm not doing a whole lot. Um there we go. Oh. Next one. Um should I do this? Nope, okay. Even though it was on my account, Jess is the one interacting with the delivery driver, so I wanted to know to give him the thumbs up or not. Here you go. Here you go. That's my lemon iced tea. Thank you, guys. Here you go. Thank you. Can we maybe... Take that. Thank you. This is Duck. Duck. No, it doesn't say my name, which is my oh, because we didn't split the order like we usually do. Because when you do a split order through Orba, when you do a split order through Uber Eats, it, like they usually write the names of everyone on all the different. So I just needed to make sure that I was going to dox myself. And mummy, they were free. Okay, bye. Bye. Enjoy. Oh, I will. That sounds like a threat. Duck curry! Uh-oh. Fucking love me some duck curry. It's so good. Um. Mmm. Baby. Thank you for mentioning donuts. They're so tasty. I'm so happy for you, Nutty. That is awesome. That is so awesome. Uh, so I did that, didn't I? Yeah, good. Ow. Standardizing is hard. Uh, what is S in and L is XL in Japan? Yeah, a lot of it is because it's like international stuff and, and that kind of thing. Like, because a lot of the brands I'm ordering from are Korean. Yeah. But like, if I've got an 80 waist, right? And then a large on yes style for a particular brand is a 68 waist. I'm like... And, and that's it. It's a small, medium, large, and the bigger size is 12 centimeters tighter <laughs> than I. And I'm like, I'm not going to fit that. <laughs> that's not going to fit. That's going to be very uncomfortable if I eat two grains of rice. Uh, so <laughs> I mean, like, because of the nature of one's waist, things can shift and move and you can wear things that are much tighter than you'd think around your waistline, but they can be quite uncomfortable. And then if you eat or you have a mouthful of water, you're in agony. So, so no, I'm, no, not happening. Um, I guess if you, most clothes should fit. Well, that's the thing, they do fit the people in the country where the company is based. And I think that's kind of, sorry, Jack. I think that's sort of like, these clothes weren't made for me. And that's something that I need to understand. It's uh, or something that we as people need to understand that like, n not you know how not every game is made for us. You know, it's like, oh, there's this new game coming out. Are you excited? Well, no, because it's not the kind of game that I enjoy playing. It's just not for me. That's all right. These clothes are not made with me in mind either. Um, they, you know, live in a country where that is, that is what sells. And so that is what they make. Um... Bit sucky when it's really fucking cute, but that's okay. I will, I will survive. <laughs> but out of the ten pairs of shorts that I was looking at, I did find two, two out of the ten, uh, that did have uh, one of the sizes that would fit me, uh, and one of them it wasn't even the largest size. 
one of them, uh, I'm an L, and they make an XL and a 2XL, which is awesome. And they would be too big on me, and that's fantastic. Um, so... And one of them came in four different colors and one of them came in two different colors. So I've got three from the four one and, and both of the both of the two and they're all on my wish list because they're super fucking cute. But yeah, it's um Yeah. I just want brands and stores to carry the same clothing in plus size as they do in smaller sizes, please and thanks. I'm tired of cold shoulder shirts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I do wonder about that. Like is it is it just that if they try to scale it up it doesn't, like, the pattern doesn't work or something? Like, what is the deal? I don't understand why they don't do that. Is it, is, is it a societal thing where it's, oh, this is a smaller size? Cut it in half, turn it into a crop top. Oh, this is a larger size? Oh, no one wants to see that, which is just rude, obviously. Like, is that what they're thinking about? Or is it genuinely, like, the large stuff doesn't look good when it's smaller and the small stuff doesn't look good when it's larger? Neither of us got heel cue. That's, yeah, look, that's a bit interesting. Mm, love cold shorts, just but honestly, how many do they think we can own? Clearly they're trying to get you, trying to convince you to get shoulder tattoos. Uh, Matt needs to drop on the last tune of the last day for maximum emotional impact. No, because that means I have to stay up until 4 a.m. on the 23rd, and I don't want to do that because I have to work the 23rd. I don't want that. I don't want to have to do that last day. Oh, uh, love involving our friends. We do. We do. If he is working it with a big stick. Can I just say it's awesome you're not only doing all these runs in February every day, but that you're sharing them with us. If it dropped off stream, I would be furious. <laughs> and so to not have it drop off stream, I stream all the attempts. Ah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, it, this is good fun. This is good fun. Um, even though I'm heckin' tired and I just wanna go to bed, um, it's fine. Oh, that was a fair bit of rice. I was not expecting that. Oh, they packed it in. It's come out like, like an entire sort of like brick of coconut rice because of how much that, ooh. My god, so they've got toasted coconut in here. The whole fucking tub smells like popcorn, like buttered popcorn. Oh, that smells amazing. Mm, yum. Man said delivery fear, he did. He did. It's nice and all, but you voted saying the mount wasn't dropping. Yeah, because because Dupe wants the coins. The the embers. <laughs> Selling all the stuff in my bags make has been profitable already. Fantastic news. Dunno, V, Z, Axiom, Kludgy, Zam, Red, Fairy, and Boy. Congratulations on all of your bonus shit. Why does it have me in for two minutes in queue as a DPS when I queued also as a tank and there's zero tank in this group? What the fuck is the queue doing? Like, what is it actually doing? Who got skins? Who got skins? Mm -hmm. You got on channel points of the way someone will be happy. Hello, Keggy. Thank you. Thank you. You got a gift to the sub. We got an 848% hype train earlier. There were many gifted subs. So congratulations on getting struck by a bomb. Yeah, hype train went a little bit bonkers. <laughs> Birthday hype! Yas. Yeah, it's gonna be pinched by the French. As long as it's not the English that happens. <laughs> England's been taken over by the Norse, Welsh, Anglo-Saxons at this point. Is this actually a people in my game? Shit's fucked. Could you imagine having lovers in the air, Lunar Festival, and Dark Mifra at the same time? Going nuts about efficiency. Yeah, I, I tend to try to focus on one thing at a time because I'm one of those people who will panic if I can't get everything done. And so I try to focus on like, you know, doing what I can. So yeah, um, I, we did all the Lunar Festival stuff really early on. Um, 
like, you know, first few days, I went through and, like, got everything that I needed from Lunar Festival and then just stopped. Uh, and then, but then obviously, Lita, I need a bit more. Does this Q know I'm a tank? What the hell is going on? Four minutes in queue. What the shit? It's really upsetting me. I'm gonna have leftover duck curry for breakfast. Do -do 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 -do. Also gonna pick out all of the fucking capsicum. Damn straight. <laughs> and I'm DPS, good lord. Oh, half the time they don't make the larger sizes because the brand doesn't want to associate with those body types. Yeah, well, that's how you lose customers. They can make that choice. That is a valid choice for them. As long as they know that they would be like, you know, the fewer people you cater to, the less money you can possibly make. Like, literally. Obviously, you're never going to be able to cater to everybody because not everybody is going to like your kind of style and stuff. But if you cater to everyone who likes your style, but you know, whatevs, that's their call. Um, I don't mean this month's Lunar Festival things before leaders started for this reason. Yep, would be furious too. Exactly, exactly. I'm struggling right here. I'm pretty sure that's accurate. Uh, Fia, I would take that three hour flight to you and wait to you myself if it dropped off stream. <laughs> so you mean I get to meet you if it dropped off stream. Good, canceling everything else, canceling all the other streams just so that I can meet Shiba. <laughs> I suggest re only as tank. It's probably not a bad idea. Well, see, that one did the thing. I fucking put it as DPS sometimes. <laughs> Actually, that being said, when I hovered over it, it might have only had the damage icon. I'll have to check it each time. Maybe there's a little, maybe the, the Tomcat add-on is a little bit buggy with that. If that does happen, if we notice it happen again, um, we can grab a clip for Tom. Because Tom is fucking awesome with this shit. Um. <clears throat> oh, Lost Ark. What's going on? Same few problems in EU servers. No one's here today. Oh, no, just tell the game if it doesn't behave, you're going to delete it. That's what I do to Final Fantasy. It's like hitting the computer. Like, violence solves everything. Bell pepper. Yes, capsicum bell pepper. That's what I'm referring to. You, get over here. My Thai plays amazing muscle and lamb is even better as breakfast. It does get spicier overnight because of the spices like developing and stuff, but it's fucking awesome in the morning. Really good, especially if you mix your leftover rice into the leftover curry sauce and then refrigerate it because then the rice gets all like gloopy and soaks up all that beautiful sauce and oh yum. Uh, Duke of Jillich is 75, he just won't die. What was the- what was that tune that I had, Jas, who lived to really- like that- the queen that I had who was really fucking old? I seem to remember having a really, really old, um, queen. I could be wrong. <laughs> What is the dinner choice tonight? Uh, I ended up having, we ended up having Thai and I have a duck curry. 
Uh, I believe it's a red curry. It could be a yellow curry. I... I don't know, but it has, um, it has pineapple in it, which makes my heart happy because mum used to always put pineapple in uh, her Thai green chicken curry, and it was just, it really reminds me of home. Uh, but yeah, duck curry from our favorite Thai joint um, with coconut rice. <clears throat> this is the last tune of the day, and I'm sitting on exactly 27% chance that it would have dropped already. And is she unit the West? The Unite? Is that Unite rather than Unit? The West Slavs downside is I have a kingdom with like 16 to your touches. Hello, Ruff. Doing well. How are you? <clears throat> uh, Australia, Australia, Thai, I think she has a duck curry. I do. I do. Don't twist my words around. I didn't twist them. I just abided by them. Any if you should get the love rocket off stream, I was so disappointed. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, I just like... It is such a rare, like, I would love to have that moment captured forever, and if I don't do it on stream, then it won't, it won't be, you know? Like, that's the kind of thing that I would absolutely hold on to for fucking forever. Um, yeah, so that's, that is kind of what's driving me to, to, like, I'd be doing the runs anyway, but that's what's driving me to actually stream them. No birthday heartbreaker. 1,050 attempts total. 50 tunes done today. No birthday heartbreaker. Spin the wheel. Okay, this tank has been happening with me. Ah, oh, interesting. Yeah, I'll fly what well, might not fly the other direction. It's because it's not smart with roll location. Sees me cures everything, puts me in first randomly. So I get picked for tank, you get slim as GPS, even when I pick heals as an option. Yeah, that is a bit strange. Thank you, Templar. Thank you. 110-ish year old female Viking Empress. Yeah, that was awesome. I was like, I was petrified the whole time though. I'm like, can I do this? Can I declare war or is she gonna die? Can I do this or is she gonna die? It was just, it was terrifying. It was, it was terrifying. Um, I've never tried mixing the rice in before putting it in the fridge. Do it. It does, it does make the rice dodgy. So if you are, a, if you are a person who really likes your rice a particular texture then maybe test with just a little bit beforehand um just to see if you're okay with the texture but um yeah no it is it is really fucking good if you're okay with like sloppy rice <laughs> like rice soup um sounds like fear yes fuck off <laughs> that was the last one yeah say so, same so birthday drop come on i know right oh, oh well it's okay. Tomorrow! Running a strongly worded letter to Blizzard now to get you them out, lol. Do it on Twitter and tag me. To Blizzard ANZ and then like, no. <laughs> yeah, my, my rep will find that very hilarious. Uh, mm. Mm. Birthday heartbreaker, just not the man. Actually, speaking of birthdays. Um, so I opened the presents from my mum. Um, if you're not in the Discord, firstly, why um but i think my mom is trying to tell me something because she sent me a pair of socks and an oven mitt the pair of socks says cute but psycho but cute <laughs> and the oven mitt says i've got a knife so <laughs> what is she trying to say <laughs> yeah i um i love my mom she's fucking amazing uh, she also sent me, um, I'm gonna see if I can actually get you to see these because it's gonna be a, a little bit tricky because they're fucking tiny. So I don't know if the camera's gonna, um, focus or be able to focus properly. Um, if I, like, lock my face. There you go. Look at that. They're earrings. They're little teeny tiny bees. Buzz buzz. Aren't they fucking gorgeous? Yeah, I'm very happy. 
very happy. Um, oh, Jess, did you check the lobby when you went down for the food? Like you said you were gonna. Uh, alrighty, so. Where is that prediction? <laughs> mm. So. I'm gonna grind up some uh, some lovely charms, <clears throat> and I think I might actually grind up enough lovely charms to last me the rest of the dailies I have to do, because uh, why not? Let's <clears throat> come at me, bro! Happy birthday! Thank you, tube. Oh dear, that done deal. Awesome. Sushi sitting in my fridge for lunch tomorrow. Hey, very excited. We ordered too much sushi for dinner. So woo leftovers. Yay. Oh, that's awesome. Just make sure that you like keep them from, because fridges are fucking dry. Like, I don't know, keep some like, a little tray of water in, like in a little sealed container with a thing of water or something to try to keep them moist so they don't get like the crunchy edges. Because crunchy sushi is the fucking worst. <clears throat> in my honest opinion. Um, so I need, I've got six bracelets in the guild bank already. Uh, and I need 20 bracelets to last me the rest of all the dailies I need to do across two tunes. I need to do one set on Phelan and four sets on Fear. So that's five sets of dailies total. You need four bracelets for one set of dailies. So four by five is 20. Um, so I need, but I've already got six, so I need 14 which is 140 charms. <clears throat> so I think that's going to take me only like one and a half rounds of this, considering I got like a hundred last time I did a round in here. So it shouldn't take too long. 20 minutes or so. And then I'll whip around and do the, do the two, do the sets of dailies on Fear and Phelan. Uh, and then we'll do kind of time walking. Because I already went and spent all my love tokens on lovely dinner boxes, uh, sorry, dinner suit boxes and lovely dress boxes. And I got all of them. I definitely got a handful of duplicates. Um. But. I got. I got. I got them all. And that's <laughs> what matters. So that's fine. Um. Birthday, thank you, Darkened. Much appreciated. Oh, yeah, what'd she get you? Yeah! Tiny blades. Little bees! I know, aren't they the cutest? No package? That's okay, Jess. Maybe they'll deliver it tomorrow. We have been getting some Saturday deliveries, weirdly. Or maybe it'll come with all the other shit that I'm having arriving on Monday. Um, you did put your name on the box, yeah? Not, um, not mine. Because if you've put my name on the delivery box, then I will just open it, not knowing what it is. Um, whereas I, I assume that you're probably going to want to open it first and whatever. Uh, are they cool? Can you find out where she got the sucks moment? I absolutely can. I absolutely can. Uh, I would imagine that they were probably from a store local and like close to her that has like sets of gifts and stuff. But the other thing is what I can do, they've still, I haven't taken the labels off them. So even, even not telling you where she got them from, what I might be able to do is pop photos of the labels, like the card, you know, the hanging cards and stuff in Discord. That way you can find a supplier near you maybe or reach out to the, the brand on the socials and, and track them down. Um... Would that, that might actually be better than potentially doxing my mother uh, <laughs> if she got them real close to home, you know. Um, but yeah, I can absolutely do that. Uh, I'm not sure where she got the earrings, though. They didn't come with like a, they were just, they were in a little, like, you know, those little organza mesh bags with the ribbon closure type deals um, in a little white paper bag with a, like a happy smiley face sticker on the thing, kind of, yeah, there was no no branding associated with those ones, so I wouldn't be able to help with those. Um, but I'm assuming that Googling tiny silver bee earrings uh, would probably help with those. 
Um, so my Dimmicks, there you go. Perfection. That is too many numbers to be an actual phone number. Let's see. <laughs> Deadline for five seconds and then disconnect. I wonder if there's actually any danger in picking up those calls. I imagine that as soon as it actually rings, they know it's a valid number. I don't, maybe they don't need you to actually say, because I, when, when I'm suspicious of the number, I don't say anything. Because, um, you know, I heard the, like, 10, 15 years ago, there used to be scams where if you said, like, hello, and then, like, hello, is anyone there? They would grab, like, they would record your voice and be able to twist it into other words to get access to your accounts and bullshit. Like, this was, this was a long, like, many years ago, there was, like, a thing that went around that people could do that. And I don't, I, that sounds pretty bullshit honestly, but, um, also, I don't have to say anything, right? Um, hey, is there in custom middle of business meeting? You just want to say, oh, <laughs> thank you for the wishes and thank you for the songs, Erin. I hope your business meeting is going smoothly. Okay, hey, day, thank you. You having a good day? I am. I'm having a wonderfully good day. Thanks in no small part to this ridiculous community. <laughs> uh, thanks to the 84k embers. Jesus Christ. Back where I was in the height of the bean boozled gambling schmuzzle. <laughs> that was fun though, wasn't it? Uh, hello Yaza, doing well thank you. How are you today? Welcome on in. Hope you're having a fantastic day. How did it launch it? Did you know? I do know. I do know. It is pretty awesome. It's been an unbelievable journey and I, I love working with them. They've been so awesome. So freaking awesome. The ANZ team is just mint. <laughs> Ah, uh, this looks like a blue queue. They have a website. Ah, oh, awesome! Nutty, look at you go. That thank you so much for helping out there. My island have make you been trapped. Man, I should have oh no. Oh my god, Shiba. Well actually hang on. Hang on, keeping track of like when you started. Give me if you click your own name, can you see your own chat messages? Like if you click your name in chat. If not, I can do it and click it and see when you said you're like scroll back and see when you told us that you were starting it. It won't be like super, super accurate, but it might be, it'd be more accurate than having no idea. That's for sure. <clears throat> I mean, like how many times? Oh, how many times you've, okay, gotcha. I'm going to be starting for like three hours now. Why does it take so long to? Or are you are you re-rolling it? Are you, is like there's like a soft reset type deal to try to get the the villages or whatever you're after. So no matter, you got the heartbreaker. Oh, that's awesome, Day. Congrats to them. That's wonderful news. So jelly. Ah, it's fine. There's enough for everybody. It just proves it exists. It's a good thing. <clears throat> I'm going in, doing the intro, see movement, just going out, deleting data, rinse and repeat. Oh wow, okay, yeah, fair. Fair. Emma Christmas says choose your style instead of choose your gender though. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I did notice that um like the the newer Pokemon games say what do you look like? Um 
instead of picking a gender as well, which is kind of fun. <clears throat> oh, wonderful! Everything works. Um, and I'm crossing New Horizons. Um, this one little mount is gonna be the death of me. Ahem. <clears throat> Thank you, dupe. <laughs> Would you like to see the number of attempts I had to do for the fucking pond nettle? <laughs> Um, well, the rocker. Yeah, Jas knows that this is WoW. Jas plays WoW as well. Um, he was more talking to Sheba when Sheba was talking about doing all the restarting and stuff. Um, oh, happy birthday. Thank you, Elg. Much appreciated. Nintendo's pretty inclusive when it comes to it, which is really nice. Yeah, it's also sort of, I don't know, like, maybe it's a preconceived thing that I have in my brain that is absolutely, totally wrong. But it's kind of surprising to me, especially coming from a country that I thought was quite conservative. Like, um, maybe Japan has made, like, hugely massive strides more recently. But as far as I could remember, Japan was quite conservative when it came to, um, like, gender identity and, and sexual orientation, all that kind of stuff. Um, so, like, recognizing that they're approaching, like, recognizing that they're a global brand rather than just a Japanese country and making those adjustments for the social world that they live in is is really cool you know seeing a company be able to step above whatever societal norms they may have birthed in um you know as in the company being born in japan um that's it's really good to see really good to see <clears throat> new world also has that type of choose your body type instead of the gender thing cool interesting Ah, uh, whatever style you choose doesn't even matter. You can use any hairstyle and clothes. That wasn't in in Pokemon. That wasn't the case, which I I think because Jas has a male character in in Pokemon Legends Arceus, and then I've got a female character, um, and he was complaining that he didn't have any cool hairstyles, and then I showed him the hairstyles I had available to me. And he was like, "What the fuck? How do you have all these really cool hairstyles available to you?" And I I wasn't sure if it was like storyline based or whether it was because like as in I'd gotten further in the story than he had or if it was because my character was like I mean although it's like it you know Pokemon still says what do you look like but they are you know they have quite clearly like male presenting and then female presenting um character like images to choose from so that was kind of interesting to me are you Australian yes I am from Melbourne originally uh but I live in Brisbane now Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I appreciate it. Okay, it's not that bad yet. <laughs> Wife got me a kitty. Aww. Uh, with all these Pokemon games, do you ever play as a Pokemon on FPS style? Um, no, not FPS, I don't think. Not first person. But there are there are absolutely a handful of games where you play as a Pokemon, as rather than a, a person who trains Pokemon or raises Pokemon. Yeah, there are. Not many, but there are a couple. They're like side games as opposed to like the main uh, thing of thingies. Yeah. If you're, are you happy with the Logitech G733? I absolutely am. Yeah, I, I really am. I um, I don't have. I don't usually like headsets. Um, I have quite a small head. Um, I'm I'm short. I'm five three, and everything's kind of appropriately sized for the size of body that I have. And so my head is quite small. Um, and. So other headsets would have cups that were too large and would sit down on like the squishy part of my neck here um, and be really uncomfortable. Or they'd like sit really low because I couldn't adjust the top part properly. And the cups would like crush the top of my ears because again, they, they sat too low on my head, stuff like that. Um, so I, for about five years, refused to use a headset because none of them were comfortable. They all actually physically hurt me, especially when I was streaming. Back then I was only streaming for three hours at a time. Or two or three hours but even after a two hour stream my, my ears or and or my head would just fucking hurt uh now i'm up you know six hour streams uh and when i started working with logitech they offered me a head they you know said I, I we noticed that you don't use a headset if you'd like to try one here's an option uh to their credit they also said that if you're not comfortable using a headset 
uh, here are some earbuds you can have a look at as well, which was really generous of them. Um, unfortunately, the earbuds were inner ear earbuds and my ear canals are too narrow. <laughs> they don't fit. They hurt like a lot. Uh, but yeah, so I, had a, I did a bit of research and um, noticed that the G733 specifically mentioned like like super adjustable so that it was appropriate for, you know, you could use it for a smaller head. Uh, and so I said, hey, yeah, like this one actually looks quite good. Would I, would I be able to give it a try? And they said, yeah, absolutely. Sent it to me. Uh, and I love it. It's super light. It's hella adjustable. There's, um, when I run out of this timer, I can actually show you more appropriately, but there are like several points at which you can adjust it. And it's not just like big or small. It's like there are, there are steps to the adjustment as well, which is really good. Um, you know, the more people it suits, the better, right? More people who can use your product, the more money you're going to make. Uh, so, where's, do I have headset hair? I absolutely do. Um, if you can see the little, so there's this, this bit here at the top, that's the notch, that's the lumpy bit on the headset. And then there's this other bit underneath, that's a second hole. So when you get the headset, it's sitting on the lower holes on both sides of the strap. So you can move one down to make it tighter, or you can move both down to make it even tighter like I have so that it sits higher up on your head. And then the cups have a little bit of movement to them as well. So it really, I have them all the way up to the top and I have the strap as tight as it can go. And, uh, and that's where it's most comfortable for me. Um, if your head is even smaller um, and this is, this is still a bit large for you, uh, they've also got the G435. Um, and this one is designed specifically for children or for people with smaller heads. Um, there is no adjustment across the top, but this, these here adjust like a lot, like from all the way up the top, all the way down the side, like it's a huge adjustment. Uh, and they are, they're lighter than this one as well. They are so comfortable. Um, but yeah, I, I chop and change between the both of them, depending on what I'm in the mood for that day, really, <laughs> which is a privilege. I recognize it's a privilege and I'm very pleased to have that. Um, but yeah, that's a, uh, yes, sorry, that was a bit of a rant, but I mean, what, that's what you're going to get from a Logitech affiliate, hey? Uh, <laughs> uh. Mm. Mm. No lock on any of the hairstyles, I feel like is the best way to do it. Like who the fuck cares how you want to style your hair? Like. <laughs> doesn't matter what your gender is like gender identity aside hair is fucking hair you can do what the fuck you want with it remember this pokemon fighting game incis limit oh zam mm. total opposite problem my head is massive fair fair um look with the adjustments you might find that the g733 still fits otherwise um Jas's head is quite tall and he uses the, I want to say it's the Pro, maybe the Pro X. Jas might be able to tell you in chat which headset he uses, but it's definitely a Logitech one because I went and picked it up for him and there's no way in fuck I'd be picking up a headset for him that wasn't a Logitech one. <laughs> so there you go. Um, I do as well, I was worried because the model looks similar to the Arctic 7, the fit is what it made me want to switch. Ah, right. There you go. Stick that man on there. The, the, you want the gingerbread, yeah? The little mini gingerbread man. All right. Um. Hmm. Do you fancy battle pets? Yes. I, I do. I'm I'm known to take part in the pet of the battling. Um, yes, absolutely. I basically anything involving collecting, I'm like there. Um, yes, yes. We're in only Logitech got so scarred, but the good old Logitech G930 it replaced every almost every two months. Faulty software after sales pitch. There's some more. Oh, you're very welcome, Dave. Very welcome. Look, if you do have issues with a headset or so, or any product from Logitech that you pick up, um, definitely reach out to them directly. I've had nothing but great experiences with a customer service team. Even if they haven't been able to fix a problem, they have worked their asses off to find some way to help me. Um, G Pro, thank you, Jess. Appreciate it. Um, 
yeah, so it's uh I would I would highly recommend letting them know. Like reaching out via they've got like a support website where there's like a place where you can open a ticket specifically. Uh, and I've done that a bunch of times for a bunch of different things. They've always been super helpful. Hmm. That looks like a football. Um. They did do a marketing campaign with the G435 with a bunch of computer generated characters that all had different head shapes and sizes. But they were, I think, supposed to be like teens. Uh, so it is still designed for smaller heads, but smaller of all shapes and sizes. But look, they definitely do have some larger headsets as well. Like with the big squishy cushiony cups and stuff that I just don't like. <laughs> just not for me. I usually have the opposite issue with my head too. I have massive head, men's size hats, but tiny ears have problems with big headset. Ear bits are off size and smaller headsets don't fit. Ah, oh, bugger. Interesting. I love them. Yes. Yes. Uh, if ATT number goes up, then yes. Logitech software is so much better than Razer or Corsair, and yet people still bitch about Logitech software being trash. It's funny. Okay, so when you said SARS isn't half bad, Jas, you know that SARS is the name of, like, the last coronavirus that went batshit? No, not the last one. I think there was, like, this, the one before that or something. What Jas is talking about is sarsaparilla, for those of you who weren't here when we placed our dinner order. He ordered sarsaparilla and he hasn't had it before. He's not talking about a virus. Uh, Dunno, Ali, Raven, Spam, Red, Martin, Fade, and Imp, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit! Well done. Sars is not, yeah, he's talking about sarsaparilla. <laughs> um, off to bed, migraine will be finding off and on. Last time for hours, I decided to raise. Oh, koala, I hope you get some, like, I hope you get some real rest and recover soon, yeah? Thank you very much for the well wishes. Go get some rest. We'll see you next time. Oh, excuse me. We'll see you next time. Um, is this, are we at, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything. It's fine. Um, that's really, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I went go-karting, they couldn't find a helmet big enough to fit me. Oh, wow. My kid found it hilarious, I'm sure. Kids are, um, yep. Yeah. They're, they're interesting little creatures, aren't they? Um, I don't have any of my own, but that's, um, yes. Kids are interesting. Sars isn't half bad jazz. <laughs> yeah! Perfect quote. Perfect example of something that should definitely be added to the quote system. Uh, <laughs> that's fantastic. Ah, oh, dear. Place your units, friends. Do the thing. Join the Patel. Hello, we go. <clears throat> We're gonna farm 40 more... 40 more charms. <laughs> Definitely sounds like something I would have said. A DK method of thinking. How many love tokens can you get in a day? Um, so from the dailies, you get 33. From the dungeon, uh, you get five to 10, anywhere between five and 10 from the heart shape box. And then when you get these charms, lovely charms have a chance to insert themselves into your bags anytime you kill a mob that is challenging to you. What that means is that their level is yellow, red, or green. Um, if it's a gray, like if their level is gray in color, then you're not gonna get, there's no chance of a lovely charm. Uh, and the lovely charms are only a chance, they're not guaranteed. That's what I'm in here farming. 
Um, those, you can turn 10 lovely charms into a lovely charm bracelet. That is needed to turn in for four of the daily quests to the uh, each capital city of your faction. Uh, and you get five love tokens from each of that dailies. But you can also, because you can farm them endlessly, um, you can also turn them in one lovely charm bracelet for one love token. So they are technically endlessly farmable. But if you can be patient and just do your runs every day, it is more time efficient to just do the dailies each day. Um, it's just if you need more than what the dailies are going to be able to give you over the whole period, then you can go and farm up the extras kind of thing. <clears throat> so that's what I'm in here doing, because Deaths of Kurumi shuffles you down to level 47. But these here spawn really quickly, and um, they don't really hurt you much because <laughs> they're not part of the... I mean, they are obviously part of the the whole event, the whole scenario, but... Uh, excuse me, they're not um, not supposed to be challenging. Uh, does Australia have its own servers or do you play on Asian servers? Uh, North America and Oceanic are the same region. Um in at the start of burning crusade i think it was there were a handful of servers that they decided to designate as oceanic servers they were still located physically in the united states but the server time was what the time was locally in sydney which is one of australia's capital cities um and then in warlords of draenor at the start of warlords of draenor they actually turned on physical servers in sydney in Australia, so all those oceanic servers that have been oceanic since BC were no longer physically located in America, they were all now physically located in Australia. So our pings went from like 250 to 400 down to like 10 to 20, which was pretty spectacular. <laughs> it was a really good, the first couple of months it was, it was an adjustment and it was pretty awesome. Uh, but yeah, so we do, we are part of the same region as North America, so we can play with our American friends. Um, Korea, Taiwan, China, uh, and Europe are all separate regions to NA slash OCA. Um, yes, I think that's right. Jack of your pros, you're right. Can you survive surviving cat form? Fine. Uh, let's find out. I can't cast moon thingy in um in cat form, and the bear form was to prevent me from getting dazed all the time. Ah, uh, they don't even hit her. Oh no, they are they are trying to hit me. Um I think. But it was more that um I couldn't get dazed when they did. Cause I was getting I was having issues with getting dazed when I was in Boomy Fawn. It wasn't when I was in um balance spec. Yeah. Hey Chrissy, thank you so much for the well wishes. Welcome on into chat. It's Friday now in Holland. There you go. So it's officially my birthday in Holland. Fantastic. Hey, does this mean that I'm allowed to celebrate my birthday until like 5 p.m. or something tomorrow? Until like the last people tick over into Saturday? Is this a thing? Uh, I wish they would merge NA and EU. It sucks we can't play with Americans or Australians. It does suck. It does suck. I would very much love to. And I'm. this is why I'm really happy that they're doing the cross-faction instanced content uh, soon, TM. Uh, because it means that I can play with more of my viewers. Not all of my viewers, but more of my viewers. And that always makes me, like, the more people I can get involved in my content, the more engaging it's going to be and the more fun we're going to have, you know? So I'm really looking forward to that. There are, we were actually talking about this only a couple of hours ago. There are, there are so many issues. There are so many issues around... Um, EU people playing on NA servers, like technical restrictions and potential data law shit and all this kind of like it's a whole bit it's a it's a whole thing. Um, so I am given that we have now got cross faction play announced, I firmly believe, firmly believe that we have that they are working on trying to figure out cross region play. And if, if it's even possible. So that they can give people a definitive answer. Either yes, we're working on it and it's coming, or nope, we tried and we cannot figure it out. Or it's just not technically possible. Um, but yeah. 
Cross faction, I imagine, because they already had mercenary mode, cross faction is a hell of a lot easier than cross region. Uh, and so this would be like, if they can figure this out well and get it done right, I think the next step will be them moving on to um, to just even even playing with the idea of cross region. But that's like cross faction isn't even good. like it's going to be not it's in not in nine two. It's like they're saying nine two five, which is probably going to be six months from now. Let's be honest. Um, so they've got let let's let them sort that out first and get that right and fixed because no doubt there'll be bugs. That's okay. Shit happens. They're only human. They'll figure that out. Then they can start working on region. <clears throat> um, UK here. Ah, fantastic. Absolutely does. Brilliant day. I like the way you think. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Yes, time is relative. Good. Celebrate your birthdays for as long as you want to. So I'm having a marathon stream on the 26th of February because it's my six year anniversary of streaming on Twitch. Six fucking years. What the hell? So that's kind of like, I mean, this, yes, this is my birthday, but we're not doing like a big event for my birthday because I'm kind of like merging it with the six year thing. Yeah, but I, there's gonna be giveaways. I've got a ton of stuff to give away and I'm really excited for you to find out what we're actually gonna be giving away. It's gonna be a 12 hour stream. It's gonna, look, I'm looking forward to it and I think all of you should put it in your diaries, calendars, whatever you use. Why the sun well. Ah, amazing. Yeah, so thank you so much for the prime sub. Thank you and welcome to the Fianati. Um, renting being days is just a tank thing, not a form thing. Uh, oh, okay. Gotcha. Oh my god, did you get it? No. No. <laughs> no, we've got 1,050 attempts. Not yet, Gita, sorry. What's that? Cross Faction Dungeons? What the hell? First I've heard of it. Oh, yeah, they announced it, what, a week? Week and a half ago now? There was a Blizzard post. If you, like, there was an official Blizzard post on the website, like, in the development blog kind of thing about it. It's something that they are working on. And they very specifically said it will not be ready for 9.2, uh, but we're working on it for, for later on down the track. Um, but it'll be available on the PTR shortly after Eternity's End launches. So probably like start of March ish. Thanks a lot for the sub. Yay, Daz! Congrats! Mine's all cross faction instance content coming up. Patch after this one around six months. Yep. Holy shit. I know. How cool is it? How cool? And cross faction will definitely pave the way for cross region. I, look, I don't think paving the way is maybe the approach. Did I just poke a hole in my sock? I fucking did. Oh, good lord. I'm an idiot. I was playing. You know when you have like the little pointy bits on the side of your socks next to the ends of your toes? I was playing with it. And of course, my nails are pointy and I just shoved it straight through the fucking sock. God, I'm an idiot. This is why all my hot clothes have holes. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's not. It's because they're all old, but they're, I'm just an idiot. Um... I don't think it'll pave the way. Like, I don't think it will guarantee leading to that. But I think that this is a really good place for them to start. Uh, and maybe it will open up some ideas of how cross... On how cross region could potentially work. Hmm. Only on content that makes sense to be non-faction locked. Yep. So you can't go do ICC cross faction, for example. Yeah, so because you've got loot ship, right? There was an alliance encounter and a horde encounter, um, like battle for Desara Law. You had different routes, and you were converted into a horde person or an alliance person for different parts of it. Those are very different faction experiences. So those dungeons and raids won't be able to be cross factioned. But anything else, if you're in a group with somebody, uh, you can group up with some. So I could group up with an alliance person. If we're out in the world, we'll still be hostile to each other. If we're in war mode, we can be in a party and still kill each other. Uh, we can still communicate via party chat, though, only via party chat. If you put in, like, says or yells, it's not going to work, but party chat works. But then once you zone into an instance, everyone is friendly. And you can all interact and, and do the content together. <clears throat> we're coming to the end of First Era. Wow, I'm curious what will come after we defeat the Jailer. Maybe the cross region could be on the horizon. Hopefully, hopefully. I mean, look, I all I want for them to do is to look at it. Just to even like 
commit some manpower to it because manpower costs money. Keep this in mind. It's This is research and development. I would like for them to commit some R&D time to seeing if it's possible to just playing with some ideas, like, you know, have a, have a meeting and generate a bunch of like, maybe we could do it this way, maybe we could do it that way. And then taking those ideas out to the respective teams who would actually action it see if it might be possible and then kind of, you know, get rid of the ones that wouldn't be, table the ones that might be, have a bit of a play. And then as they find out like, okay, this could work and this could work and that could work, bring more people onto the team to actually make it happen. Like I would like for them to just look into it, but not until after they get this right. Do the PTR testing for cross-faction, get that live spend a good few months after it's live working through bugs hot fixing shit patching stuff if it needs to be done really working through any issues that arise because all that work any issues that arise there those learnings could be applied to cross region and i'd love for them to get the learning before they start trying like i think that would be a, a more efficient way of doing it but that's just my opinion and i'm not a developer i don't work for blizzard i've done a couple of sponsored streams but that's not working for them that's being a contractor I, I, yeah, so that's, yeah. Ah, uh, cross-region would be almost impossible to get working quickly. Correct. Correct. It would not be a six-month thing. It would be a several years thing, I honestly think. Um, did you start February 2016? Uh, I must have. I must have. I know it's a six-year, because I've been counting. <laughs> oh, no worries. Yay, Yaza. Uh, do we hear any more about the thing they did to get different type of players together to discuss things? Re wow, I can't remember what they called it. Um, yeah, the like the committee. Yeah, there's there's a whole. They've been doing it for ages. There's like there's a whole um, forum that we can read but can't post to and all that kind of stuff. Have a look on the. It's all on the official website. They don't like make constant announcements about it, but no, it's it's absolutely a thing that's there. Yeah, for sure. The community committee. What's it? Yeah. I agree, but with time, I'm sure they'll be successful. Look at how successful Final Fantasy is. Yeah, but that that's not necessarily just because of having cross-region play available. Um, uh, I played Bar since Vanilla took a break about five months ago. Just coming back now, trying to grind to catch up, but so long. It does take a little while, but you'll get there. You'll get there. And February 22nd. Nine two. And I have no doubt that with the new zone will come new catch up mechanics because there always does so even if you are still a little bit behind spending some time in the new zone will get you caught up fairly quickly chat for your sock oh thank you too thank you i am four minutes behind War mode dungeon sounds like fun. No, war mode is di like if you're both in war mode and you zone into a dungeon, you're no longer hostile. Um, uh, that's what I was talking about. Yeah. Uh, how do you do resets, vaults, different rotations, different mythic plus affixes? The entire data structure is designed over sending between servers in the same region. Sending data cross region without straight combining the regions might be impossible. Yeah, true. And like even you know fucking squirt day is different depending on what region you're on. So does it mean that if you have a friend in EU and you get into their, like if you get them to invite you to group and you port to their garrison, even if it's not squirt day for you, you can use squirt in their garrison? Like it doesn't, yeah, there's there's a lot more to it than just let's play together. There's a lot more to it. Um, <clears throat> also different reset days, like entirely different reset days. Hmm. Hmm. Tell me you work in IT without telling me you work in IT. <laughs> Cross faction works fine in Ascension private server, so it can't be that hard. Given that it's taken them 17 years to figure it out, Yaza, maybe it is. Two entirely different games are going to have entirely separate sets of code. And we do not know how all that works. There's a there's a, a thing that we always reference um, that I can I can never remember the name of the game but there is a, there is a game that has like a picture of a fucking avocado or something in the code a fucking picture of an avocado in the code they're like what the fuck is this it's been there since day dot and they're like what the fuck every time they try to delete it the entire game crashes the entire game goes down and it does it, they cannot fix it until they put the avocado back. 
who the fuck knows what making cross read uh, cross faction play will break. We, we don't know. The code is spaghetti. It is 17 years worth of coding. Hundreds and hundreds of thousands of lines of code written by people who haven't worked for the company in over a decade. And they've got to figure out how to make all that. Yeah, nah. Everything is harder than you think it is, especially with this kind of game. <clears throat> Do for software dev degree. There you go. Private servers are all reverse engineered at the time. Aha, uh -huh. cross region would be awesome if I said to have Raid World release at the same time. That too. Thank you. Thank you, Murray. Much appreciated. Thank you. I am now infirm. Death awaits me. You are referencing CK3. I've had that happen several times. <laughs> it's well past time for cross region. Or at least make uh, let us make characters in other regions. Well, you can. You can just have a, you're going to need a new account for that. There's like, yeah, all the stuff that we were talking about previously. There's a lot more difficult shit than just. Hmm. Massive difference from 15 year old code base that needs to be maintained and large redesigns will break everything. Yep. You'd essentially have to recode the game from the ground up. And I wouldn't want to do that. You've got 17 years worth of content. How long do you think it's going to take them to actually recode that from the ground up? No thanks. <laughs> Not much interest in retail play. I watched a number of streams that discussed it a lot. Oh, cool. There you go. Sounds like something. I do avocado is life. Yas. Oh, Legend Jesus King drowned at 15. Oh, hell, my Lulish freeze. Oh, no apathy. Oh, no. Honestly, I just need them to up the character limit. No, 50 is enough. Fuck off. I don't want more tunes. I have enough tunes. I don't want to have to do more runs. I don't. I have enough tunes. Stop it. <laughs> okay. Um, I need to turn Zygor back on. So I can easily do the, um, the quests. I fear I need it. I disagree. I disagree. I think you mean Hass? Yeah! <laughs> 150's like, no. That has zero ring to it. Dislike. You don't want 100 characters? No, because that means I'd have to have 100 characters, not it? Because I'm that bitch. <laughs> I'm, I'm, the, I'm a completionist. I can't. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Hello, Dwarven! I uh, know it is still my birthday. Definitely still my birthday. Thank you so much. I think you missed a zero there. <laughs> no. 50 more 50, 50, 50 more 50 50s. No. No. <clears throat> what happened to you guys wanting me to do 50 60s? That sounds far more achievable. One twenty-seven or two fifty-five? <laughs> You're not fucking wrong, Jack. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh Lord. So when you thought it was safe to level another tune? No. Uh uh, wrong. Uh, thank you, channel. Thank you so much for the birthday wishes. I have a thousand characters per shard in City of Heroes Homecoming. So well, I don't hey, I want that at all. It. That sounds like shit. <laughs> that sounds like entirely too many. <clears throat> Absolutely not. Oh god. Is there anyone I can put a perfume on? Like, good lord. Oh, that's a druid that doesn't have one. There's a pity you can't put it on yourself and then like... Oh no, I did. Did I just put it on myself? No, this person put it on me. How- why are there some people you can't apply it to? Is it like you can't do it to shapeshifted people or something? Is that the.
strength and honor. Ah, uh, no shapeshift yet. Yeah. Ugh. I'm gonna do them all at once. My war mode. Those words as a shapeshift. Yeah, it seems to be people who are like shapeshifted. I can't put it on. In shamaners walls, yeah. I may have the D, but no, because they don't have a heart over them. That's that's the whole point. It's like, hey, I can click you because you don't have a heart. Wait, why can't I use this item? Yeah. I don't know why you can't apply it to some players either. It's so annoying. I think it's shapeshift. Like, if they're in a shapeshifted form, then you can't apply it to them. So druids in their forms or a shaman in wolf form. Yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. <laughs> Spoils words. Okay, so let me uh, do some crafting. Ghost Wolf doesn't prevent shapeshift. Yeah, but you still can't. <laughs> Oops. <clears throat> Wait. Oh, they're coming from the first stack. Got it. Try two different shaman and ghost wolf. Well, yeah, no, I'm I'm the same. Um, I don't think it's about preventing shapeshift. I think it's just that they are in a shapeshift form, and so the perfume doesn't want to stick or something. Or maybe they're just too stinky, and um, the perfume can't be smelled over the the natural animal scent. Chocolate samples and you don't give chocolate to animals. That also, but my one's a perfume one, and the perfume didn't work either. So that should be. Enough. For. The rest of the event that I actually need to do dailies. Brilliant. <clears throat> there goes that idea. Well, I mean, it could be a combination of you can't give chocolate to animals and then also animals are too smelly and you can't smell perfume on animals. And so like, that's why both of them don't work. Probably shouldn't put perfume on animals either. You're probably right. Talk to me. Keep it real. What? Oh, I've got to do the first bit first. Oops, I always forget about that. <clears throat> Oof, don't like being washed, so they shake it off. Fear, are you in the WoW Oceanic Facebook group? I think I am. I think I am. Why do you ask? You can test your animals. Is it no-go? Mm-hmm. Also a good reason. Yep, absolutely. This is testing perfumes and animals. Not the best ethical thing ever. Yep. Making up this explanation from scratch. Oh, no. I. This is, this is what we all do, Gab. This is what we all do. We just, like throw things at a wall and see what sticks. It's great. <laughs> it's good fun. Ugh. Ooh. Snap, crackle, pop. Yeah. No reason I shouldn't mention anything. Uh, if I am, I'm in there as my page rather than as a human. Like, it won't have my actual name in there, I don't think. Why? So the whole, like, shouldn't have mentioned anything makes me concerned. Makes me think that something is wrong or that there's some kind of drama in there that I should probably know about because it involves me or, or something like that. So I'm, I'm now quite concerned.
So is there something I need to be concerned about? Like, if it's something as simple as don't go in there because people are posting spoilers, then that's fine. But if if I need to know, like, being evasive with answers like that is cause for concern. Uh, and this is a business. Like, what I'm running here is a business, so I need to know if there is something going on that's going to affect my income. Like, that's, that's really important. Something I mentioned you would rather tell you about it. Didn't stumble across it. Okay, so more information, please. What's what's going on? Yeah, or you can send a suggest. That's yeah. It's the group I'm thinking of, I'm also friendly with the owner of it, so if I know about shit that's going down, I can fucking handle it, but if no one tells me, I can't do anything about it. Wonderful day. Oh shit, I haven't actually collected the thing yet. Oops. Her best, alright, absolutely. For goodness sake. This drummer is annoying. Yeah, look, I... Especially if it's someone who's butthurt over being banned or something like that, like... Whatever, I'll figure it out.
yeah, I don't know how to respond to that. I, I am actually in that group. Uh, I just had to change accounts to see it. Sorry guys, I'll be with you in a second.
All right. Hi. Oh, there's an ad in progress. Of course there is. Sorry, guys. Um... What are we up to? Uh, it's basically somebody in the WoW Oceanic group. Um, not necessarily a complaint, um, but more just raising, like, why am I on the launcher every day? Uh, and why have I been there for so long? And why are not other, like, why are other content creators not being given a chance? Um, which is a valid question. I honestly didn't realize I was the only one on the launcher. I 100% I thought there were other... I mean, Dark Mech was on there last night. I'm not sure if you guys saw him there, but that was awesome. So, like... There, I, I honestly thought there was more than me being featured because there was always been more than one person being featured just on rotation and stuff. So it's surprising that no one has been seeing other uh, other content creators. So that's new information to me. Um, there are a whole bunch of comments saying that it was because I'm sponsored. I'm not. Um, I, in fact, the the sponsored stream. I have had three sponsored streams with Blizzard so far, and I made that clear in my response that um, I had uh, BlizzCon line. Um, the launch of Burning Crusade Classic and the 9-1 launch, patch launch, had a sponsored stream for each of those. And I had sponsored by Blizzard Entertainment across the top of the, the stream because my contract for each of those very specifically and clearly stated that it must be very blatantly fucking obvious that the stream is sponsored. Um, that's in line with a whole lot of advertising laws and things like that. So if I were sponsored, I would legally have to tell you that is that is fact. Uh, so I'm not hiding that. I'm definitely not sponsored by Blizzard. I'm not a Blizzard employee. There's none of that kind of stuff going on. Um, so I, I made all that clear in there. Uh, I also gave the recommendation that I like most of my com contact has been via the Blizzard ANZ uh, Twitter account. And so if they had questions about the feature, if they had other people to recommend and stuff like that, then I would recommend reaching out to them there, either by a tweet tagging them or DMing them or something like that. Um, and yeah, uh, there were a lot of other comments that were just disgusting and gross, um, talking about how I banged half of Blizzard or that it's because I have tits and I'm a redhead or um, yeah, just that kind of stuff. And I mean, honestly, like it's kind of disappointing that I expected that because I shouldn't have to expect that because it's just like video game culture, you know, it's all boys. And every time there's a girl in chat, everyone tries to bang them and or hit on them or whatever. And it like, I thought we were past that, but obviously not. That's fine. Um, you know, each their own, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's what has happened. Um, and they've posted it in a group that I'm in. I'm not sure if they knew I was in the group. Uh, I'm not sure if they like, I, I don't know, I'm not active in there. Uh, I'm not very active at all in there. I used to be a little bit. Um, uh, there are a few things talking about how my, my content is quite draining um, because like I just do old raids and stuff like that. And that's fair. Like, as I always say, like not every part of the game is for everyone. Uh, and my streams are not for everyone, uh, but they were the people who were talking about that kind of stuff were being very respectful about it. Just saying, you know, it's not my kind of content, not hacking, you know, not attacking her personally, but I just, my, the, the stream is not for them. And I'm okay with that. That's a hundred percent okay. Um, and I'm, you know, grateful that, why? I shouldn't be grateful. I shouldn't be grateful that people discussed not enjoying my stream without bringing my gender or my looks into it. That's not something that I should be grateful about, but here I am. Um, so yeah, it was just, it was a genuine question from a person and um, there were a whole lot of comments of people just being a bit gross. Um, so I wrote a wall of text, <laughs> as you heard, because I can't just be like, hey, yeah, not sponsored. Um, yeah, I just, put forth my, my perspective, uh, that this is, this is how long it's been going on for. This is how it happened. No, I didn't explain the entire story of how it happened. I just said that this is how long it's been happening for that. I genuinely thought, uh, that I was not the only person, uh, and that, that, that surprise just thought that maybe other people were on it like during the day when they were streaming and that I just didn't get to see it because I wasn't on the launcher at that time. Um, put forward the suggestion that they talked to Blizz ANZ about it. Um, and, uh, yeah. That's, um, yeah, but shit like that, I feel like, is probably best to be addressed, like, as soon as possible, rather than letting it sit there, because I feel like, um, the rest of stream, I would have been, like, I am absolutely having a mild anxiety response to that. Of course I am. Like, who wouldn't, being spoken about 
in a potentially negative manner um, by someone on the internet. Like, I've been streaming for nearly six years. I've never had any fucking involvement in drama. This is the first thing I've got anything close to fucking drama. Uh, but look, it's fine. It's, it is what it is. Um, people have questions. And so they ask, and that's that's reasonable. That is, it's a very reasonable question. Why am I on the launcher every day? Can't tell you. I can't tell you. I don't know that I don't make that decision. All I do is send my schedule to my rep and they decide what they want to do with it. And it is 100% up to them. Uh, and so the only person who could tell you why I'm on the launcher every day uh, is them. And they are the Blizzard ANZ Twitter account. So highly recommend talking to them. Uh, but yeah, so that was fun. No lottery win, no heartbreak amount, drama for my birthday. Good. It's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> uh, and then the second thing I did was just um, grab the link of it and give a heads up to to the Blizzard ANZ account, just in case uh, they want to like like jump on that, or if they you know just so they know that there might be messages coming or, or something like that. You know, it's it's only fair to give them a heads up that I evoked their their Twitter account uh, in a comment on on the thing. Wait, that was Dreamwalk. That's the one I want. There we go. Right. Uh, any weekend plans? Yes. Um, tomorrow I'm doing Heartbreaker Runs and I'm doing a, uh, like a private birthday dinner. Um, cause obviously this is my birthday, but I'm streaming. So going out for dinner, um, to celebrate, which will be really, really good. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, and then Sunday, more stream, like regular stream. I don't know what I'm doing in the morning, probably food prep and stuff. Uh, look at Facebook for the marketplace and that's it. Uh, at this point, I feel like there are lots of places online that are horrible these days. Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, YouTube comments, etc., etc. It really depends on whereabouts on those platforms you are, I think. Um, like Facebook and Twitter and, uh, well, Facebook not so much because they have fucking ads everywhere, but uh, Twitter and YouTube in particular, it really depends on like who you're following and what kind of videos you watch. Um, if you're only ever watching happy shit, or only in subs that are full of happy shit, then you'll only ever get happy shit uh, and in Reddit. And then like Twitter, you can absolutely curate your feed. Like if there are assholes and you unfollow them, you won't get kind of crappy content. But yeah, it's, um, you do definitely have to like manage your social media stuff these days. Uh, Cause it's not just your friends you're following anymore, right? It's, um, uh, and even if it is just your friends, you, you may realize that your friends have uh, Yo, conflicting conflicting uh, opinions potentially money, sorry for being cryptic is one of those moments where i say something and then second guess myself about whether i should have brought it to your attention at all no it's fine um look what i would advise though is once you mention it too late to go back all you're gonna do is make my make a person's anxiety go higher because they're like what tell me what is going on and you're like no no it's it's fine don't worry about it okay i'm fucking worried like fucking tell me it's um once you once you've said something commit just, just keep going. <laughs> Best advice. Um, oh, I just handed one in, so that's why I got three. Good. Fear. Fear. Oh, Fear. shit. Right, I forgot about that. Um, uh, yeah, look, I got a bit distracted. I think it's probably reasonable that I got a bit distracted, let's be honest. Um, one of those things are fear where 4chan became 50 times more disgusting than it started out. Poison just spiraled out to everything else from there. Fucking 4chan. Uh, haters on a lot of sites, you just have to try and remember they really are in the minority and the majority of people aren't jerks. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's all about, like, surrounding yourself with people who you can trust and, and all that kind of stuff as well. Like, there are absolutely jerks out there, but you don't have to, in like, you don't have to engage with them, you don't have to interact with them. Which is why, in my response, I didn't even bother addressing any of the gross comments. Like, there's no point. Like, <laughs> there is literally no point. If they want to engage with me, they're going to reply to my comment and, and call me a cam girl or whatever they want to do. Like, you know, it's, uh, mm. and I'll just ignore them. Or, uh, you know, report their comments to the page admin who I am personal friends with. <laughs> you know, it's like, don't, don't be gross, guys. Don't be gross. Uh... It's just hate or jealousy. I really don't. Yeah, well, there you go. That's what it was. Uh, genuine question that got some really gross responses. Uh, fun fact, still resetting the villager I want what I miss. Hello, Nab. No, no mount yet. I'm sorry, I am a bit, a bit behind, uh, like quite a bit behind because of um, things and stuff. But if you were there at 8.36, you would have heard me explain that. So I'll catch up. 
Ah, uh, as long as you avoid interaction with random people, social media isn't that bad, I'm absolutely. Not today. I always have some crazy words per minute by the sounds of that keyboard. I actually don't know what my words per minute is. Um, but it's not it's not too bad. I do make a fair few mistakes though, so um that I know that definitely lowers your your accurate words per minute, so yeah. Turn that off. Um three three three. Madam, I need to ask her a question later. What? Ah, uh, except duration, common sound from five majors in combust. This is for your true combust window. <laughs> oh dear. I can type infinite words per minute if I'm allowed to use copy and paste. Well, it's still not infinite. There's how many times you can actually, like, paste a thing. Like, computers have reaction the rates and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. King of the Dream, imbecile, and negative eight on all stats. Jesus. Aggressive typing. Hello, Aaron. Indeed. Referring need to East Frank here. No spirits related. Emote only. We can do that. Um, he also has like five sons and he's in a succession crisis. Oh no. Um. German coaches. Your outfit. Uh, yeah, it's a Sylvanas dress. Um, it's designed after her armor. It's kind of cool. I like it a lot. Uh, have you seen this YouTuber, Uncle Roger? Oh my god, he's so funny. No, sorry, I don't spend a whole lot of time on YouTube. Apologies. Um, dramatic typing. I've seen Panda on there, yeah. Someone else was on yesterday? Yeah, Dark Mech. Dark is awesome. Uh, not the only one, Dark features quite often. Horty appears to have been dropped due to dropping WoW for the time being. Yeah. I did see Horty on there recently, as like last week or so, I think it was. Um, but yeah, uh, well, I mean, you know, why, why is Blizzard going to put somebody on the launcher that isn't playing well? But yeah, it's, uh, I'm, yeah, look, they make, the, they make their decisions and that's, you know, I, I, all I do is give them the information that, like, what, what I'm doing and if it's up to them what they want to do with that. I was actually on for EU now as well. Yeah, I've not seen anyone else but you until now. The black dress dropped. Yay, Yuri! I wonder if it's because you're streaming so- Yeah, well, I mean, for the last, uh, like, you know, up until from Sunday, I've been on, on there, like, pretty much every day for an entire week. Um, but a lot of the comments were like, it's been almost a year now. And they're right, like, it's been over a year. Uh, and so I said that it was, you know, first time was February 1st. Um, and that's, you know, what's what's going on. Um, but I did specifically say if they had be I think I did, I was meant to. Now I'm doubting whether or not I actually said it. Um, that if they had recommendations for people to to send them through to Blizzard ANZ, so that because I mean, obviously Blizzard need to check out the people. They may not want like there might be someone who's a great streamer, but they're not a good brand fit or something. I, I can't imagine why, but they might be. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's just their their business, their launcher, their call. Um, I'm grateful to be on there for sure, but it's yeah. Um, who knows? I, I don't know. I mean, crypto I was dumb. No, it's it's all good. Uh, we've hey, we've both learned something, right? Like <laughs> that's that's what's important, Lucky. All good. Hello, Tham. How are you going? Welcome back. Ah, uh, oh, tunnel. Gotcha. Uh, hey, Lareth. Just curious about the process. My dad got some too. Yeah, I haven't seen him. It's great to see diversity and growth. All the oh, best. Oh, you're so welcome, Lara. No, no problem at all. I'm assuming it was either you who posted it or what you're one of the people who have been commenting. I, I took no disrespect. None at all. I mean, not from your comment. Uh, <laughs> there was certainly some fucking disrespectful comments, but I mean, what are you going to do talking about a female streamer on the internet these days? Apparently, that's a thing. What was that? There was a sound. Chicken, thank you for the sub. Much appreciated. Welcome to the Fianati. Hope you're having a fantastic day. But yeah, no, look, Larith, I'm not, I didn't take any disrespect from your comments whatsoever. It is a valid question. And I genuinely had no idea that I was the only person that some people were seeing. Um, I do know that Dark was on there last night because I saw him personally. I know that Horty was up last week-ish sometime. And I know that before I was being featured, I did see Panda on there a few times as well, but I'm not sure. Um, 
when they so now that I'm not you know you've got the word of word of wall of thing there you're f- so free to ask me questions by the way I'm 100% open about this kind of shit because it is important for me to like know that people know the path I took because if it's a path if they want to get to where I am maybe my path can help them you know like I, w- I want to help I want to help so um I I start when I like when I was going live I started tagging Blizzard ANZ uh and then they retweeted a couple of my tweets they um uh, eventually started hosting me a couple of times and then they eventually followed me back and then reached out and said, Hey, we like your content. Would you like to be on the launcher? Um, so if you've got mates who have been streaming, wow, who want and to keep in mind being on the launcher does a few things. Um, obviously it gives you exposure. Um, a certain percentage of Twitch is trolls. So the more people you have, like if there's, if 1% of Twitch is trolls being conservative, if you've got 20 viewers versus if you've got, 100 viewers, you're far more likely to encounter the trolls. Yep. So as long as they've got a really strong mod team, definitely recommend a strong mod team. Um, and they want, they, they reckon that they can handle dealing with all that kind of shit. Absolutely fine. Uh, that's what I would recommend they do. Start tagging them, make themselves known, be like, hello, it me. I am, I am, I'm streaming your game. Come say hi. Uh, and then, you know, hopefully, fingers crossed, um, they'll be able to drop by and say hi. Um, but yeah, it's like, I give them my schedule and then they make the call on what they want to do. Um, the opportunity wasn't like, there, there was no kind of posting about whether or like, you know, does anyone want, it was, it was not about that kind of thing. It was literally just, I started kind of, not, not pestering them. I didn't DM them. I never messaged them once. They were the first ones to message me once they followed me back. And I remember I was lying in bed, just woken up scrolling through Twitter because that's what you do. And I saw the the thing drop down at the top of the screen that said Blizzard ANZ has followed you back. And I shat my pants, took a screenshot, sent it to a group chat with my friends and said, what do I do? Do I DM them and say, thank you for the support? They've, is that unprofessional? Like, what the heck do I do? Before I figured out what to say, they had DM'd me and said, we like your content. Would you like to be on the launcher? It started off as two days a week. I stream four days a week normally. Started off as two days a week. It was supposed to be for three months, but they said that it went really well and they was like, do you want to extend it? I'm like, yeah, sure. Like, how how long for? And they're like, oh, let's just see how we go. Yep. Um, and they bumped it up for four times a week. So like every stream I was on the launcher and this, like these couple of weeks, because I'm doing heartbreaker runs, like the, the old love rocket, um, because I'm streaming every day, I think they might be putting me there every day, which is why it feels kind of spammy. Um, but I promise you, I have no say. Like, I mean, I can say I don't want to be there. I can absolutely opt out. But given how many opportunities it's granted me, I don't want to opt out. However, if they came to me and said, hey, we're going to knock you down to once a fortnight because we're going to feature some other people. Fuck yeah. Let's do it. Absolutely. Who are they? Let me follow them. I want to see who they are. Like, yeah. I mean, if they're going to offer me the opportunity, I'm going to take it. But if they're going to take it back, I'm not going to like... I'm not going to get salty. That's not what I'm about. But I'm, yeah, definitely 100% unequivocally not sponsored. Except for the three streams that I directly mentioned. Because I'm under contract and obligated legally to tell you that those streams were sponsored. Everything else is not sponsored. Um, I feel like I've over-explained that. <laughs> this is what happens when I'm nervous. I, like, try to explain everything, like, over the top and then everyone's just like... Are you okay? And I'm like, no. So <laughs> everything is fine. Everything is fine. Mm. Not the launch for me. Dark Mech is perfect. They go. They go. Low hanging fruit. Where people suck. The mods should have done something. The post went up 33 minutes ago. Uh, the mods might be like sleeping or busy or, you know, like it's fine. It's fine. There are, there are some pretty gross comments on there, but um, for the most part, like there, there is some really great, discourse there as well like talking about you know how things work and blah 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 but there there are some things there that are not so nice um right what am i doing logging out i'm changing to fear <clears throat> uh hello osiri how you doing dark was on eu launcher this week first time i've seen in there fantastic oh, i'm so glad that's i mean not glad that that's the first time i mean i'm glad that you've seen him that's like 
that's yeah it's dark is fantastic honestly he is just such a genuinely cool dude like uh i've i've reached out to him for advice before uh and and he has given it openly like and stuff that he didn't have to share with me as well in terms of like the business end of this shit uh he is genuinely a fantastically lovely human uh and i mean we rate him regularly and he's always just ah Hello! I'm so grateful that I got to like connect with him through the Clash of the Creator shit with Logitech. So grateful. He's, yeah, really great guy. Highly recommend his very different kind of content to me. He does like the competitive side of stuff. I am grateful. And the. Oh! Elg! Thank you so much for the donation. That is so kind of you. Thank you. Oh my god. Much appreciated. Um, right, yeah, he does, like, he does uh, Mythic Plus, mostly. I mean, he does a few other bits and pieces, but, um, yeah, definitely mostly Mythic Plus. So he's, like, the, the high-end, pushing, competitive side of stuff, and I'm more the chill, collections, like, casual-as-fuck side of things. Uh, <laughs> very different types of content, but uh, he's, yeah, he's fucking awesome. Fucking awesome. Um, I was going to feel death if rules mean anything to them. Yeah, well... Fantastic. There's a supporting stream, to be honest. People need to be less salty. Uh, it's, it's, I, I understand the frustration, especially like if it's like, oh, well, I can't get a break because this person's taking all the spotlight. Like, I, I get that frustration. Uh, and I've felt that myself in the past when, when I've seen other people get opportunities. It does, it does suck because you feel like, well, I'm doing all this work and they're just getting shit handed to them. I promise you, I did not get shit handed to me. Um, I absolutely, oh, fucking, fuck. I absolutely worked my ass off to get myself to the point where, like, that was a thing that could happen. Um, but no, you're not going to see that, especially if you're, you know, a, a streamer who, had, like, has never watched me before and doesn't know my kind of shit and, and doesn't know me from a bar of soap. Um, not understanding the path I've taken. I, I do wish, like, I mean, we've had a few people who have come in and said like, oh, you know, you're on, you're on launcher. How did that happen? And I've explained it and they've been really open to talking and they've, you know, asked questions and stuff. And I really hope that that has helped people kind of plot their own course, if it were. Like, I mean, I still don't think I'm anything to aspire. Like, I, I, it really doesn't, like, I'm trying to think of how to word this. My brain doesn't recognize that I am something, like, that I am in a position that is aspired to by some. It does, like, I recognize that I'm, you know, I'm featured on the Battle.net launcher and that's a fucking privilege. Uh, and that was, like, holy shit. But it still, like, it still kind of blows my mind that there are people who look up to me, their words, and that kind of, yeah, it, it breaks my brain a little bit. But I, yeah... Yeah, <laughs> it's it's a whole thing. Um, but I do my best to share as much information as I can. There there are things I can't share. There are details of contracts and things like that that are under NDA, and that's like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna break that shit. But anything I can share, I absolutely will, as long as obviously I'm comfortable with doing so. If someone's making me feel really uncomfortable, then I'm not gonna tell them shit. Like personally, if they're making me feel really uncomfortable personally. Um, but, like, yeah, I, uh... Yeah. My well, players are part of a community. I'm a part of that community. And it's, it's nice. It's nice. And you feel the need to just go through the entire thing replying with admin. No, don't reply with admin. There's the little three little dots to the right. If you click that, there's report to group admin. You can do that instead. That's um the more appropriate way to do it. Because that doesn't alert the people that they've been um uh reported either, and it doesn't get you into an altercation with them replying back like, oh, just because you're a suck up. Yeah, it's um you're better off doing it like privately, making using uh, using the tools you have available to you. Wait, you're a woman? In fact, I am. I am cisgender female. There are women on the internet, apparently. So, so eighties. Hey, mama. Yeah, yeah. Fuck! I just realized the eighties was like forty years ago. Jesus Christ. Fuck God. Okay, now I'm good. Whew, everything is fine. I didn't just break my brain. It's okay. 
Uh, rumor has it they exist on the internet and in real life. Oh my god. <laughs> Streaming WoW almost every day for Feb. Why wouldn't Lizay and Zed take advantage of that? Look, there are other people out there. Um, there, there are other people out there who are also streaming WoW, like a shitload, and some of them do it every day. If Blizzard doesn't know they exist, they're not going to be able to to offer them the opportunities. And then even if they do know that they exist, I, again, I'm not an employee of Blizzard, but I have worked with other brands who have been very clear with me that I am not suited to their brand. Like they've said, hey, we really like your content, all that kind of stuff. Like I personally like your content, but we don't feel that you're a good fit for our brand. And you got to not take that personally. It's like, no worries. That's fine. Um, so there are a huge range of reasons why somebody might not be on the launcher. But if there are people out there who are a good fit for the company, then yeah, fuck an oath. Get them to tag Blizz A and Z when they go live. Every time they go live, every time they post a going live tweet, fucking tag them. Hashtag Warcraft at Blizzard underscore ANZ. I think it's underscore. My brain is, look, I just type at Blizz and it pops up as the first suggestion. I don't have to type the whole thing anymore. Uh, so <laughs> but like, fucking oath, like do the thing. Let them know that we are out here existing and streaming their game and uh, and they will find the time to go and explore. They, they do, that's it's their job. <laughs> It's their job to find people to engage with, to grow their brand. Um, you seem lovely following you, even though I'm a dirty ESO player. No, definitely not dirty. Definitely not dirty. We are accepting of all MMOs here. I just tend to play this one mostly all the time. So. <laughs> I'm really glad that you enjoy ESO though. It's so good when you find something that you just click with, right? That's awesome. And thank you for the follow. Thank you, Exo. Thank you for the birthday wishes. I am so far behind on chat. Like, 20 minutes. Uh, for many months, I've only seen PR on the launcher until yesterday where I saw Dark Mech. He's now on the launcher. I wasn't sure why it was only one person. I don't seem to promote any other streamers at later times of the day either. I honestly didn't know about that much. Like, I, I genuinely didn't know. Um, I don't tend to see the launcher much unless I'm, like, jumping into the game to go live. Or it's like the crack of dawn, like, in the morning morning. Not the crack of dawn. I do not get up with the crack of dawn. That is a lie. Um, but like, uh, like 10 a.m. ish. Um, and yeah, I haven't seen any on the launcher at like 10 a.m. ish. But I just figured it was because the the people who they had in their rotation weren't online at that time, and that's why I wasn't seeing them. Um, so yeah, if I like, and I know now that I'm not the only one because I saw Horty last week and I saw Dark yesterday. Um, but if I have been the only person on the launcher for for months prior to that. Um, I, I don't know what to tell you. I, that's, that is a surprise to me. I, I did not know that I was the only one. Um, that's, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, Facebook is specifically designed to be uncurable. Ah, uh, yeah, it is going to take me so long to get 80 Renown. Oh, you'll get there. I have faith. You'll get there. Unless you're, to, unless you're Europe who plan to curate it by telling them to fuck off. Yeah, that's that's hilarious. Surprised Pikachu face, eh? Oh, excuse me. It was really fast these days. I want to be back in the EU. How do I activate the catch-up? Oh, there's no activation for it. It's just that um, Renown can drop from a whole bunch of different sources, not just the, the two each week that you usually get from the quests. Um, no, no, it's very anxious. I got anxious. Anxious for everyone! Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. Um, let us skip that bit. Uh, okay. So where do I have to go next? It's Orgrimmar. Okay, so I'll go to... Oh. Why am I in combat? Um, I need to drop chances for hiring to hit cap. Take the villager, yay! Loudest of people on the internet do tend to be jerks. Tell gas layer nine, campaigns give guaranteed renown, world bosses give three to sub 50 and guaranteed renown above. Nice, thanks guys. I think that was an accidental redemption. Um, so I will refund that. Um, <laughs> uh, people are assholes, period. Accurate, don't leave the house. There's all the emotes. Good. Good, good. Many streamers who probably would have been on the launcher might have been asked to be taken off with everything that happened as well. Also valid. Yep, absolutely. Love Silvermoon. Me too. It's just beautiful and the music is awesome. Uh, did Blizzard have stats on click-throughs to your stream? They should be able to capture that, right? They do. I don't. 
<laughs> is the, the short answer of Fia trying to catch up on chat. They do have click through stats. I don't. Um, oh, I come back to the stream immediately. You see, you shout your pants. Good. Wonderful. Uh, it was my post. Yes, it was a message of apology. Oh, you don't need to apologize at all. There was no, like, you caused me no offense. What's, you don't need to, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm sorry that I made you feel like you needed to apologize. You don't have to. Not at all. Um, the people who brought out, no, fuck them. That was their choice. That's got nothing to do with you. Their choice to be an asshole and to be a disgusting, misogynistic fuckwit has nothing to do with you. Nothing at all. That is on them and them alone. Please don't ever feel like you need to apologize for people who are completely unrelated to you. You don't need to, I promise. So you guys just curious about the process. Keep doing you to see even more. Yes, absolutely. But yeah, definitely send them, like send Blizzard, talk to Blizzard. And if you've got some good recommendations for them, send them through and tell the, the recommendations, like the, the streamers you love, tell them to tag them. Because yeah, if they don't know them, it's like the whole, if, 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 it, if they don't know what's broken, they can't fix it. If they don't know they exist, they can't connect with them. Like it's, it's the same thing. So yeah, absolutely. Do the thing. Yes. No need to apologize. Stream City rating myself. Ah, fantastic. Yeah, tag them when you go live. Every fucking time you go live. At Blizzard ANZ, hashtag Warcraft. Every fucking time. Put in your blurb of what you're doing, put in your link, and put in the, the taggy bits. Do it, do the thing. Um fuck, tag me. Let me come see. <laughs> Uh, do you think you should talk about does it a bit? I've sent them. Yeah, I have. I have. I've sent them the thing. I didn't know I was the only person on the launcher for X amount of time. I had no idea. I assumed that it was already diversified. Um, so now that I know that it's not, I have already reached out to them to send them the link to the Facebook post to just say like, this is a thing that exists. Uh, I am live right now. So I'm not going to be messaging, like I'm not going to message back and forward with them while I'm trying to create content. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, absolutely. Now that I know that it's not, but now that I know that it was just me for a while, yeah, for sure. Uh, gross comments removed. Perfect. Fucking Ash. High five for Ash. Um, do you realize? It? Yeah, it was like right then. Your disgusting commentary have left the genuine discussion threads. Woo! Go mods. We love mods. Effective mods for the win. Thank you, Dory, for their birthday wishes. Thank you. Oh, there's a pretty professional candid with reason you are. Thank you, Landa. I try. I do try. Sometimes I probably miss the mark, but I, I do the best that I can. I am only human. I am only human. Uh, <laughs> top five. Yes. Love Dark. Always direct people to him for tanking purposes. His videos are amazing. Yes. I am not a tank. <laughs> but he is fantastic. Like, as a person, so fucking awesome. And he's very, very skilled. Like, BDGG would not have picked him up if he was not skilled. Let us be honest. Like, for realsies. Trying to donate as being a Oh, it's okay, channel. Don't stress. Don't worry about it. Think you're resubbing. What do you think about the current raid tier? Is it worth gearing up for? <laughs> um, so the next raid tier is releasing on February 22nd. So probs not for this raid tier. But now is a great time. Like, if you're looking to raid, now is a great time to resub to start getting your tunes to the place where they can launch straight into the new zone and get all the catch up gear, like lickety split, and then launch yourself straight into that new raid as soon as it launches. Like, now's a great time to start getting all that prep together, like grinding up your uh, renown and all that kind of shit. Um, no tier comes out in four weeks. Targets on premiering the next patch. Next raid looks fun as hell. Good. Need to pick a plaza to play. Stream metal is a big thing. Aww. That's sweet of you, Landa. Thank you. 133 currently. No, watching is not looking up to. Um, you also know often you stream five nights a week. Four, usually, but at the moment it's seven because I hate myself. Um, Croak's small head is making getting to a chest difficult. <laughs> Every time you stream, you go, but yeah, but I did like, I assumed that if they had somebody else to stick on the launcher, they just would put them there instead of me. Like me giving them my schedule is not, I expect to be on the, on the launcher for all of these dates at all of the, no, no. I give them my, my schedule and they do with it what they wish. Um, so yeah, no, if, if they have other people to put there, then fuck an oath, do the, like, <laughs> like go, do, make. Uh, this what I'm doing chat is my top left. <laughs> I admire you streaming is hard. I find it hard. You've got to where you are with hard work. You've given me more success for your knowledge than power. Thank you, Elg. It, it is, some days it's harder than others. Um, some days it's easy and it's great fun and it's wonderful. And then there are some days that are a little, a little, a little tough. Um, but it is, yeah, lots of hard work, but it's worth it. It's worth it. Doesn't suffice like at least two. 
Please don't see the dots. He has reported to Facebook when you use that report and can will eventually get that group archived. Not if you're reporting to admins. You can report to Facebook, but you can also report it just to the group admins. Right now, both you and Duck. Both of us? No way, really? I've never seen two at once. Oh, my laundry's broken. <laughs> <laughs> I think, oh no, there we go, it reloaded. I closed it before because I was, you remember when I was having those issues with the connection in OBS? So I closed the launch, I closed down everything I didn't need. It's taking its sweet ass time to load. But um, I've never seen two of us on there. I'm so excited. Oh no, okay, what's it doing? It's thinking. It's thinking. It's a thinking. Ah, uh, right now both you and I don't like that. Why? It is only 20 years ago. No, I know, right? My image. Uh, what is the cisgender female? Uh, so cis is spelt with a C. So C-I-S. And it means it's somebody who is... I just... Oh my God. We are both on there. Holy shit. Um, so it's somebody who was born as that... Or was assigned that gender at birth. So I was born double X chromosomes. I was assigned the gender of female and I am female. Uh, as in, like, as opposed to somebody who is transgender male or transgender female, um, I am cisgender female, or you could be cisgender male if you were assigned male at birth and you are male, that kind of thing. Yep. Yeah. Um, welcome on in, Josh. I hope you're having a lovely day. The crack of noon. <laughs> yes, it means she was born female. Can't you identify as such? Yes, correct. <gasps> Channel! Hi, the sun. Oh my god, Channel! Thank you for the 20 motherfuck. Jesus Christ. 20 gifted subs. Good lord. Fucking oh, thank you. Oh my god. What are you Stop meddling in Europe. Let's get you in promoted on the launch, though. It'd be nice at later times. It's 11 a.m. for me down in the UK. They promoted oh, other times on streamers. So because you're more active with tagging, then maybe it's the key to it. More visible. Exactly. What I would love to see is having, like, someone on the launcher, like, round the clock would be fucking oh, cool. I'm not sure that they have people who like, like the, the big tricky thing with being on the launcher is you can't, you need to stream to a schedule. And there are a lot of people who stream oh, who because of their jobs or because of their, um, like their family life or whatever else happens to be going on in their situation, they find it difficult to stick to a specific schedule. So if they're going to say to Blizz, oh, I'm going to be live oh, at 10 AM on Tuesday, because of course that'll be a different time for you in the, in the UK, just had to share it was, was UK, right? Yes. Um, like, so during the day for us would be later in the afternoon for you, I think, oh, like the sunlight. prior day. But if they can't reliably go live at that time, it's hard because the the, the schedule stuff, the schedule stuff, the launcher stuff is scheduled. I give them my schedule ahead oh, of time well. and they go in and they plug in my slots ahead of time and then it just runs automatically. None of it's manual unless I have to cut something off early because something goes kablam and I send them oh, a message and say, sunlight. hey, problem and they go okay cool thanks for letting us know we'll go fix that that's the only time it's done manually um so if you're unable like if we've got streamers who are fucking I awesome but for whatever valid reason they're find it a bit tricky to stick to a schedule it can be a little bit harder to do that kind of thing um but fingers crossed <laughs> fingers crossed we'll find some awesome new talent right um, but yeah, definitely tag them. Definitely tag them. Hashtag Warcraft at Blizzard ANZ. Oh, specifically so Blizzard ANZ and obviously if you're an Australian New Zealand streamer. That is that is what we're going for here. If you are a European streamer or something like that, um, I, I think... Hi, oh, the sun. Is there a Blizzard UK account? I don't know. I know that ANZ stuff has been featured in the EU recently. I don't... I know why that is. I don't have that information for you. If I had it, I would give it. I don't. Sorry. I don't have all the answers, unfortunately. Um, but sunlight. yeah, if there are European streamers, then that... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, good. Hi, the sun. As I've been talking non-stop for half an hour. Fantastic. Um... <laughs> Uh, Jigga Troops, Allies, 4K, just heeshing down the aggressors. Never seen anyone other than you on the launcher. Oh, sun well. Right, okay. More and more people are saying that, so obviously that's a thing. Um, he's tranky just so never <laughs> miss you on my launcher. I always see my boyfriend's launcher. <laughs> oh, sun well. Um, so important question for your birthday. What kind of cake? I don't know, but it's in the fridge. Jas got me cake, and I don't know what kind of cake it is. Do you have to be 80 renowned to fly? Not 80. There is a number. 
I don't remember what it is. Give me a second. While that's happening, let me, uh... I <laughs> uh, was it not 70. It was like 50, wasn't it? It was like 55, maybe. I don't remember where it was. Ah, 45. Because that was when we got the sinful grave wing. I'm Venthyr. Um, so I think it's 45. I think it was 45. There's no achievement for it, so I can't check the things either. I think it was, yeah, I think it was 45. Someone in chat will have told you, I'm sure. Um, I'm jumping out of a good stream. Very sorry, I came from the socialists. Thank you. Not a problem. Uh, maybe we'll see you next time. Maybe not. That's okay. I hope you have a fantastic night. No, I already have that. Don't give it to me again. Okay, here we go. We need we need more friends. We need more units. Uh, 44. Can we come in in chapter 4 of the show? Ah, fantastic. Thank you, Jack. I knew someone would have responded. Oh my god. All the hype. Give sub train got tired to use the wrong zip code. I'm so- Oh, channel. Oh, no. Can you, like, challenge that? I don't even know. That sucks. That sucks. Um, hello, Maridi. Welcome in. No mount yet. No, unfortunately not, Nab. Gifted sub. Yay, Musk. It's an EU account. Shit the cake. Ah! <laughs> 45. Yes, the third part of Chains. Birthday. Have a birthday. Thank you, Ben. Much appreciated. Cake is alive. 44 renown and complete the Covenant campaign as well. Gives you the fourth chapter, which gives you a 45th, which unlocks the. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, it is 45. Oh, awesome. Thank you guys. In the UK, weirdly, I've played US server for 17 years. I watch Hazel. Yeah, Hazel Nutty. She's awesome. It's kind of much like your very regular schedule. Shame they didn't promote her too. Maybe lack of tagging social media on her part. Not sure. Uh, farming random achievement. Um, Hazel Nutty isn't. She. I'm thought. She, Hazel Nutty is like European, right? Um. So. It. It might be. It might also be that European Blizzard didn't do people on their launcher. And then Australia has somehow, like ANZ has somehow kind of gotten on there. I, I, do, I, I don't know. Um, but, uh, oh shit, I was supposed to grab these. Okay, good. Yeah, unsure about that one, sorry. Totally unsure. But yeah, definitely, like, if if you have streamers that you really love watching who have regular schedules and all that kind of stuff, getting them to tag their local faction of Blizzard, like their local office or whatever, for sure, 100%. Um, no biggie, it's just more, two more subs. I could have given, oh no. Okay, bet they fear us from the rude wankers on Facebook. Any goodies yet? Um, presents, yes. Uh, my mum sent me an oven mitt that says, I've got a knife. Oh shit, I just smacked the microphone, sorry about that. It says, I've got a knife, which is adorable and cute. I love to bake. This isn't my mother being weird. Like, I, I love baking. Um, so, <laughs> that is very useful. Um, and socks that say, cute but psycho, but cute. <laughs> uh, and I got some, let me just position these so that you're actually gonna be able to fucking see them. Cause they are teeny tiny. They're little, they're earrings, but they're little bitty tiny bees. They are super cute. Oh no, don't focus on me. There we go. Little tiny baby bees. They're absolutely adorable. Uh, my day job sent me a bunch of flowers and some chocolate. And I got some more flowers. And, and yeah, it's been really nice. It's been really nice. And we had an 848% hype train earlier. Um, and I had, and I had, and I had, and I had. 
a pair of leggings, and a lip liner bought off Throne as well, which I am so grateful for. So grateful. And, and donations? Excuse me. A couple of donations for, like, sizable amounts that are unlike what um so yeah look it's all the love and a shitty facebook post but um <laughs> not okay again the facebook post was not shitty it was the comments the misogynistic fuckwits who are commenting on the facebook which have all been deleted now which is great um part of me hopes that the people who were reporting the, who were saying those kind of things also got removed from the group for breaking the rules instead of just having their comments deleted but you know that's uh we can only hope. <laughs> it is part of their rules to not be like that. So there is there is every chance that they've been removed, but who, so who knows? Um, Hazel is already quite well known on both YouTube and Twitch, indeed. I think people find her anyway. Yeah, but it's nice to have that kind of connection, especially, especially when you're doing, like, really great, like, wholesome, helpful content. For sure. Canadian, I think. Ah, okay. There you go. Yeah, maybe reaching out to, like the blizzard <laughs> it's like it's not even blizzard anz or blizzard us it's just blizzard because that's where they live um i don't think blizzard i don't think canada is a separate it might be it might be um hazel na canadian on any server this US server is canadian i wonder if yeah it's look i am my brain is tired <laughs> i i my sincere apologies um if there is a canadian account Otherwise, it'd be, like, US. But, yeah, absolutely. Like, tagging every time you go live. If you post a new YouTube video, tag there as well. Like, do the thing. Like, fucking hammer that shit home. If you spam them enough, they can't ignore you for that long. Like, seriously. <laughs> Time is money, friend. They'll at least get a little bit curious. They have to, right? They have to. Where am I up to? I'm only four minutes behind now, guys. I'm catching up. Catch and catch in bedtime. Wonderful birthday dinner. I will, Ellie. Thank you so much. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow afternoon, though. I'm going to be live at 12, like, midday, my time. Um, the schedule underneath. Click Fiamma, click schedule. You'll see it in your time zone because that's useful. So I am actually going live earlier tomorrow than usual. Like, 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 four hours earlier than usual tomorrow. Um, so, like, if that's a more appropriate time for some of you, hey! If it's not, soz. Uh, but we're just, we're just going to do the heartbreaker runs and then I'm going to fuck off and we're going to go, yeah, have, have birthday dinner. I'm looking forward to it. We're going to a, a, an Italian joint. It's going to be delightful. Uh, hello, birthday streams girl. Hello, Kay. There, there was some drama, but we're good. We're good. So much for, uh, kind of time walking today. Ah, uh, this looks amazing. He's like your spirit animal, right? It's, yep, yeah, they're adorable. Mum is fantastic at finding little cute things that suit me really well. Uh, one of my favorite things about you and your stream is that you read the comments you're replying to so one can fully be AFK but still included with wireless headset, which I'm guilty of a lot of the time. I try to. Sometimes I kind of skim through them and just kind of, nah, 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 nah. yes, but I try not to. It just, it does result in me being a bit behind in chat more often than not uh, is the only issue. But look, we we'll get there. We we'll get there. Just happy to have another year and internet intentional occasion to cheer on you for these years enjoying what you do here have brought my life missions of joy. Aw, that's it's so kind of you to say, Lander. I'm glad I've been able to provide entertainment. Question is, how many toxic wastelings did you get so far? Two. Two hundred attempts, and so far I have two toxic wastelings. And I've only had one heartbreaker toy which was today, and I, I, Jas was here, th we were thinking about what we wanted for dinner, and I just said, I got the heartbreaker. And he looked at me, he's gone, what? I said, yeah, it was a toy. <laughs> and I gave a few people who were wearing headphones or alt-tabbed or whatever, fucking heart attacks, because they weren't looking at the screen, they didn't see it was the toy. Yep. <laughs> no, not Tol Barrage, you fuckwit, this one. Um, we see come across, wow, Grandma78 on Twitch, she's adorable. Yeah, I follow, I think I follow her on Twitter. I don't think I've been able to catch a stream of hers just yet because times are fucking, look, times are weird. But yeah, I need to, so one of my things on my to-do list at the moment is to go through my entire Twitter following list and all the people who I'm following who have Twitch accounts go and follow their Twitch account and then 
jump on my Twitch and go through everyone I'm following on Twitch and follow all of their social media accounts so that I can, like, see everyone and, like, yeah, it's, it's a, it's a fucking mess. <sighs> Running a business is fucking hard work and it's, uh, it's, uh, it takes a lot of time. Uh, right, so I'm finally done with Lovers in the Air bullshit. Do we have time for a singular cat at time walking dungeon? Is that a thing? Not yet. Not yet? Why not yet? <laughs> food, I've got food. Oh, cake. He means cake. Are you gonna burn my computer down? Please try very hard not to. Good fucking God. I do remember seeing candles in the kitchen earlier. Um, uh, let me catch up on chat. Uh, just sorry being absent. Community council need through Oh, totally fine, Gab. No need to apologize. Catching up as quick. Spare more. No, don't. Don't. Loving the makeup. Thank you, Kay. Is the enchanted shade leaf rune stag. Uh, four hours earlier, so like three or four a.m. for me. Oof. Rough. Uh, hard stopped. Yes. It's a waste thing. I want in a hundred. I have no idea. I don't know. I've had one for years, um, but I'm I'm not sure. Uh, watching my grandma the other day. Oh man, I'm glad I missed that. I would've been doing a celebration dance for you just to realize it was the toy instead and that no. No, it's fine. Yay, cake. I mean, he isn't wrong. Cake is food. Cake is food. Cake is food. I, mean, I just noticed your gingerbread mic puff. I know, it's so easy adorable. Um, it's a redemption we have um, because I've got a couple kits that I got where we sent from Logitech um, that are like, they're mic covers. They act kind of like pop filters for the mic when you're using the mic, but I, I use the studio mic instead. Um, but they're also just adorable. Um, cake is life. Burn all the things. No, do not. I need the computer. Uh, the wasteling's 5%. Uh, just, we don't need you recreating the ragey boat. Not my gumdrop buttons. Oh, dear. Deary, deary me. Thank you for putting up with the my rant before, by the way, guys. Ever. Don't burn the carpet. I'm doing really well not to. I've knocked out all of the you ones. You didn't push them in properly. That's that. I'm it's because they're in cream. Them. Blow them out. Happy birthday. Thank you. Hurry up and blow them out. They're dripping everywhere. Can people see on camera? Let me just double check. Yes, they can. Okay, good. They're dripping. Come on. Ta-da. Yay! Fire. Gone. Oh, I love the smell of candles. Like, is that... Does that make me weird? I suck at candles. <laughs> you're, oh, shit, you burnt yourself. I'll get over it. I no. suck at candles. Oh my god, you've got wax on your skin. Give me this. It's not the kind of wax that's meant to go on your skin. It's alright, I'll teach you how to candle later. Oh my god, you really do do so. <laughs> that's fine. Totally fine. Oh, they're all glittery. They're so pretty. Is it really birthday cake if there isn't wax in it? So, it's, that's deliciousness. Raspberry. Ooh, cherry. Cherry. <laughs> I think it's Black Forest. Yay, got it. It's Black Forest cake. Look at that, baby. And then it's got, it's got layers. Ah, so who wants some? Can't guarantee it won't be moldy by the time it gets to you. Who wants some cake? <laughs> Tattoo of the cake-o. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I've got a knife. <laughs> oh, what's this on that? That's a bit of sponge. Oh, no. The knife has got a little thingy in it. No, it's okay. It's fine. It's just, um, you know when it gets a little, like, a notch in it and stuff gets caught? Okay, so you want a piece. I take it. This is for you. I'm gonna take the rest of the cake back out into the kitchen because you got nowhere to store it. Or I give you a slice and I keep the rest. That's not how this works. <laughs> no, we need cake for breakfast. Where did you get this? Am I allowed to ask that, or is that a secret? I got it from a shop. It's okay if it's a secret. Am I actually getting to the... Yes, I am. Um... I 
I will catch up again on chat in a moment. <laughs> wiggle, 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 wiggle. Oh shit, okay, I broke the cake in half. Can you bring the plate here? Here you go. Stop. I need the top bit because that's got all the gooey tasties on it. Cake successfully delivered. A treasure. <laughs> what, how else was I going to pass you that? <laughs> oh no, what was that? Oh, it was my phone. Do? It's fine. Don't care. <sighs> Everyone sing to fear. You need to sing in your own homes. I won't be able to hear you, but I'll know that you've done it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Cake, thank you, Maj. <laughs> He's so cute. Jas is wonderful. He is such a genuinely awesome human. It's beautiful, Jas. Yeah, it's um. I mean, I made a bit of a mess of it, but um, like, fucking gain, kick. Um, all together now. Get you all in fucking Discord. Uh, <laughs> yay fire! You know, weird candle smell is nice. Yeah, like once you've blown it out, it's just. I think it's because it's associated with like happy parties and spending time with family and all that kind of like my family is pretty awesome i i know that that's not a, a like an everyone experience uh but i'm i'm incredibly grateful and i know it's a privilege to have a family who's quite close um like my extended family like so my like my mum's siblings and all of their spouses and kids and things like that um so i got to see my cousins like a lot before i moved into state uh, and yeah every birthday it'd be the entire catholic family um, not many practicing, but like, you know, four kids, all had spouses, all had children. It was, a, it was a big time. Uh, so, uh, yeah, big family, lots of, lots of cake, big cake, lots of candles. So the smell is kind of just evokes those kind of memories, which are happy memories for me. I know they're not happy for everybody and I, I respect that and it's valid. Um, but yeah, for me, very happy memories. Ah, uh, thank you, Lion. Thank you, Cinders. No, accident, Jess. Accident prone, Jess, Erin. Jess firing candles are hot. They are. Not sure the cake is big enough. Never. Never going to get a sheet cake. No, I'm kidding. Oh, and a lot of us get in Discord to sing. Oh, Sophia took candle. I did take candle. I did take candle. Thank you, Dunno. Huh? Wax on your shirt. That does not surprise me. It's <laughs> a nice looking cake. I can tell you in just a second. Mm. It's also a really nice tasting cake. Black Forest. Mm hmm. Really good. Give me a slice. And now I'm hungry. I'm sorry, Jack. Well, it pairs wonderfully with wax. Indeed. Indeed. I just know I did get a knife. If you just had on birthday dinner. Oh, um, Thai, Thai food. I got a duck curry with uh with coconut rice and chat voted for lemon iced tea over passion fruit fizzy. Um What do you have there, meme, please? Uh I might order myself a special birthday cake this year. Got myself a butter beer. Harry Potter one for 30th. It's four years ago. Now. Yeah, look, getting a knife it's once a year. It's once a year. You might as well get something. That even like even if it's a fucking frozen cheesecake from your local grocery store, it's still, like, they can be fucking tasty. They can be really nice. It's like what, um, what we did for Jas's birthday because he wanted a caramel cheesecake and I couldn't find anywhere, um, especially considering, like, I don't drive, so it was difficult for me to, like, go out and find one. So I ended up getting, like, a French cheesecake and a bottle of, a squeezy bottle of caramel sauce and just sort of <laughs> put it all over the fucking cheesecake. And then covered like gold candles, a little gold happy birthday plaque. And yeah, it was fucking tasty. Fucking tasty. Oh, no, just don't give her the knife. Oh, I don't think I said it yet, but happy birthday. Thank you, more. Thank you so much. Yeah, safe Jess would be with it either. Less safe than with fear. Um, so a good point. Happy birthday. Thank you, Creely. Thank you. Thanks, Yaza. Black Rose Cake if it doesn't become a mess. Correct. Correct. Yummy, very yummy, Zoo. Very yummy. Thank you, Majesty. Hello! 
I hope you're well. You're surviving another rotation around our star. Thank you, Draz. It has been a year. It has been one hell of a fucking year. One hell of a fucking year. Three sponsor streams with Blizzard. Connecting with Logitech. Connecting with Blue Microphones. Making partner. Um, doing a handful of sponsored bits and pieces for the first time here and there. Like the UD had two streams with the UD. Um, uh, actually learned how to kind of sort of maybe do some social media bullshit. Uh, really actually chased like business, like made this a fucking business as opposed to just like for shits and gigs. Um, uh, earned enough that the ATO yelled at me and now make me pay my tax quarterly instead of every year. <laughs> That's fun. Uh, every time I get a letter from them saying $500, please, I'm like, um, like it's good, but it's also not good. <laughs> Um, yeah, look, it's, it's been a hell of a year. Hell of a year. Just under good with the cake. Oh, fuck yeah, he did. Black Forest is delicious. Mm, adult life begins when you realize you can eat birthday cake literally anytime you want. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I made my bed today. I'm gonna light some candles. I made a Fredo ice cream cake from wanting tea at work. One of the account ladies 60th last month. It was amazing. I used to work at a, um... I used to work at a place, uh, like a time zone, like arcade kind of thing that had a, um, like a laser tag dealie, uh, connected to it. And we did kids' birthday parties. And I kind of ran the kids' birthday parties. And we did Freddo cakes. It was a, it was a Freddo cake that was, why am I being invited to a group? What is the group for? Oh, we're going to do time walking. Okay. Um, we're going to do a singular time walking <laughs> because it's quarter to 10 and I'm tired. Uh, although the sugar from this cake might give me a bit of a boost. Uh, but yeah, so we, and we used those Fredo cakes. That was what was included in the birthday package. So every week I had to go through and like, I worked Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, um, and Tuesday was like the prep day. And I'd write this big shopping list of everything, like check how many care, cause we needed like a week's notice to do a birthday party. So by Tuesday, notice was closed. So I'd go through and count how many parties there were, see how many it was booked for, and say how many pizzas we needed, how much soft drink we needed, how many cakes we needed, all that kind of stuff, and leave the shopping list for my boss on the Tuesday. And then on the Saturday, I would get in, nothing had been bought. So I'd take the big trailer and, and cash out of the till and go down to the local and buy everything and then just wheel it out on this giant trolley and then run the parties. Um, <laughs> but those, and I mean, yeah, those cakes are awesome. Those cakes are awesome. Um, just really wanted to come see if your birthday's so proud. Oh, thank you, Majesty. Thank you so much. It's it's been a thing. It's been a thing. We made it, and I'm I'm glad that we did. I'm glad that we did. I'm predicting 75 to 100 percent growth of your channel before your next birth. <laughs> oh, look. I don't know. I don't know about that. Um, what I would love to grow is my Instagram. Last time I checked, I was at 895, which. Um, is, hey, that's not bad. Like, that's hell of a lot better than when I started actually posting consistently. Um, I would like to hit 1k. Yep, 8.95. I would like, like, 1k is like the first big, um, milestone when I can start like legit working and and potentially getting brand deals and stuff like that. 3k is when most like 1k is when you're like, you know, that's your your micro influencer, but people see you've put some kind of effort in and so they're more likely to like look at you and talk to you and stuff like that and not just send you scam links like, "Hey, we're going to give you a discount code to give to your followers for 80% off," which means that the stuff is shit anyway. Excuse me. Um but then 3k is when you start getting potential for sponsored posts rather than like free stuff in exchange for posting about it. It's money in exchange for posting about it. Um, so yeah, that's kind of, but 1k is the first one. One, like baby steps, one at a time. It's got 105 to go. 105 to go. Um, 
Do you know the two tier wedding cake that feeds 38 people with only 24 guests? I think I win. Yes, correct. Correct. Don't, aren't you supposed to like save the top tier in the freezer or some stupid thing anyway? I mean, I don't know why you would freeze a cake. It'd just turn to shit. If you're supposed to, you're supposed to eat it on an anniversary or something, but it'd just be gross and the like icky texture and all just sit, bleh, nah. It may not be moldy, but it doesn't mean it's good. Just eat the whole fucking thing. <laughs> Have it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner the next day. You're good. You'll be fine. Assume time walking dungeon. Yeah, I know. Is anyone coming? Uh, single time walking on all 50. No. Wrong. <laughs> Ouch. For a while, I've wanted to try red velvet. Oh, you should, Daz. It's quite tasty. Like, traditionally, I think red velvet was made with beetroot because it was like a, when it was in, was it the war and there was a cocoa shortage? And so they made, they stretched the cocoa using beetroot because it gave it that darker, shade, the darker color. Um, and then, but now I think people just use red food coloring and a whole bunch of chocolate. But uh, no, red velvet's really tasty with like the cream cheese icing. I'm back, welcome back, Len. How's your birthday going? I'm doing pretty well. A little bit of a hiccup, but we're, we're, we're good. We're good. My personal Insta has 200, music Insta has 50. Don't ever post those, so for, yeah. People can't find you if you don't post. That's the, that's the problem. If it's fruitcake, ah, uh, that's wedding cake. Yeah, but that's what Majesty was talking about. Two tier wedding cake. Top tier is vanilla, what the bottom tier, it's muddy. Yeah, delightful. Friend of mine has made red velvet cupcakes the beetroot wear with the cream cheese frosting. Heck, they were delicious. If you can get your hands on like proper red velvet that's made with beetroot instead of just with like cocoa and red food dye, yeah, give them a try. Like, but especially with the cream cheese. Unless, uh, unless of course, you have allergies to anything that goes in. Like, if you've got a beetroot allergy, if you have a cheese, dairy allergy, like, don't, obviously. <laughs> but if you don't have allergies, yeah, they're, they're, it's really, really good. Really, really good. Made of mine, uh, oh, food theme seems to get a lot of instant engagement. I'm thinking about making something for dinner. Give it rara led away, abortion court tears of Sylvanas or something like that. Have to get a decent camera first. If you've got a decent phone, you've got a decent camera. Just, uh, by the way, um, it is surprising just how much camera they can pack into a phone. Um, but then even if it's not a super great camera, like even if it's not a super great phone, like if, it, if it's like four or five years old, um, I mean, mine is three? Four. My camera, my, my camera, my phone is four years old now. It's an iPhone 8. I think it's just a regular, I don't think it's ever, it's definitely not like an extra or a max or anything like that because I, I'm small. I don't want a fucking tablet to hold up in my face. Um, but yeah, the, uh, like an iPhone 8, if you see, there's a bunch of photos on my Instagram that have been taken. Like, in fact, most of the photos on my Instagram, almost all of them have been taken with my phone. Front camera and back camera. Um, and that's not, like, that's a four-year-old phone with a half-decent camera in it. You would be surprised. Um, and I, very few of my photos are filtered. Um, I know there's a filter on the, like, I took a photo of the heart lights. Um, I know there's a filter on that one because I had to, like, it just wouldn't show the lights properly. So I had to, like, tilt down this setting and bump up that setting and stuff just to try to get them so that you could actually see what the fuck was going on properly. A bit clearer. Um, but like all the photos of like my face, like the selfies and stuff, they're all, none of them are filtered. Um, yeah, so it's actually a decent camera. Uh, my first red velvet to be triple layered. Oof. Red velvet brownie before it was quite yummy. Ah, oh, awesome, Dono. Um, time to spend some of that Twitch money on a new phone. Uh, it is, it's on my wish list. That's what I, one of the things that I will be saving up for, but unfortunately I have $23,000 worth of dental work to get done first. Uh, slightly higher priority. Health over wanting of a new phone, unfortunately. Uh, 
But yeah, I'll get them. I'll get them. <laughs> right, to be clear, just because the, there is a couple of expensive things on there, just because they're there doesn't mean that I'm expecting people to buy them. It's more so that I don't have to go and remind, like, every time I've thought, right, what new phone do I want to get when I can afford one? I've had to go and do all the research all over again. And so I put, once I did, I was like, fuck this. I did all the research, found the exact model that I wanted and put it on the wish list so that when I have the money for it, I can just, I know which one it is and I don't have to do the research again. That's why that's there. But, um, yeah. Um, same thing with the Fitbit. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what I wanted and then I found it and I'm like, okay, done. But yeah, it's, um, Gotta get my teeth fixed first. But I have my surgery date for number two. Surgery number two. March 21st. I think it's a Monday. Go get the implant screwed into my jaw. Indonesia for cheap dental work. That's what my brother from Queensland does. Um, yeah, COVID's a thing. Nope. Hmm. Addendum to that. I know some people don't care about it anymore. But I have an autoimmune condition. So I kind of have to care about it. I am a vulnerable person. Oh, I'm assuming it's people who pay towards the largest ticket. It's on there. Um, so they have like a, if, uh, like a place where you can like make suggestions and people can vote on them and stuff. And there is a suggestion on there about that. And there's it's got a lot of votes. Um in terms of an improvement that can be made. So look, it looks like they're trying to work towards it, at least, so. Mm. But yeah, that would be, that would be kind of cool. Yeah, absolutely. Some of those bigger ticket items are not exactly um, within budget for a lot of people, but hey, chipping something in towards them. Oh, girlfriend's the same. She's lupus. Has to be careful. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, lupus is a... Uh, that's a fun one. Um, I had drug-induced lupus for a while there. Um, thankfully, it was one that, like, it with drug-induced lupus, it has, like, you, you get all the stuff. Like, it, it is, it's lupus, but then when you remove the drug that's causing it, if you stop taking the drug, it stops happening like the lupus goes away so thankfully um it doesn't always i don't think i think there are some cases when it sticks around but um yeah for me thankfully um i was on my old medication for my autoimmune condition and uh all of a sudden my my blood started looking a little bit funny and so they did some looking into the rest of me and yeah they were unhappy with what they found um and so they took me off the meds and saw what happened and yeah did lots of bloods but yeah um autoimmune is fun and stupid and like why are our bodies idiots uh fairy synth and kludgy congratulations on your bonus shit we finally defeated it we got it down uh that will be the last battle for today um we're gonna finish this dungeon and i'm gonna go eat my cake uh because i am I was, uh, I was tired when I started, and this has been, um, just a little bit exhausting. Um, me first try? Yay! Just use as well as, oof, yeah. Yeah, autoimmune conditions never seem to, like, you never seem to have what just one, hey? Like, it, there's something weird about them, where if you have one, chances are you have another one or two as well. Um... It's really interesting. Like, so I have a science degree. Um, and so that side of it really fascinates me and interests me. But it also makes me sound really cold when I'm talking about conditions because it's like, that's so interesting. When in actual fact, it's, oh my God, I'm so sorry to hear that. Like, yeah, it's, uh, but like learning about my own condition and stuff just fascinated the fuck out of me. Uh, and learning why my body does this and does that and all this kind of shit. Um, it also helped me be a better patient, you know? I could recognize symptoms and report them rather than just writing them off and being, oh no, I must just be sick. 
I must have just picked something up somewhere. No, no, that's a symptom and you need to let your doctor know, kind of. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been useful. Sticky blood, yeah. Ugh. Why can't our bodies just, like, do what they're supposed to do? You know, is, is it really that hard? I, I know, I know it's that hard, but it's, yeah. We can dream. We can dream. Sun has, like, I'm in celiac disease. Yeah. Fun times. Fun times. I had a couple of friends who um, had cousins who had really severe celiacs, like super severe, um, to the point that all of their family had like two tubs of butter and two separate drawers for cutlery and and all this kind of stuff so that it, like any cutlery, any utensil that had touched gluten had to go through like an industrial, like a cafe or a restaurant style washing. You know, the dishwashers, like they go for like 20 seconds, but they're like burning hot and you can't touch the metal for like a good minute or so after they come out. Um, one of those, un unless like, but if they, if yeah, if they had a utensil that hadn't gone through one of those and it had touched gluten, it'd just fuck them up, like send them to hospital. It was like a full on problematic dealy. Uh, and I remember that blowing my mind. But hey, it's the reality of some how some people have to live, and that's good on him for managing to keep all that shit straight, because God. I mean, I'm sure if I had to, I probably would find a way to do it, but my brain. God, my brain sucks. I have to get off here and finish up work. No worries, Cinders. All good. Thank you. Happy to be along for the journey. Me too. Thank you so much for being here. We'll see you next time. Always come in two autoimmune conditions, I mean. Yeah, I've got, so I have psoriatic, uh, bleh, psoriatic arthritis. Um, I don't, haven't, I haven't been diagnosed with anything else, but like, there's, yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff that happens with my body that my doctors are kind of like, yeah, it's probably something, but like, it's not, none of it is serious enough that it affects my ability to live day to day. So they don't really want to fuck with stuff because if they start messing with that, what if it messes with the arthritis and then like it just you know what I mean? So they don't they don't wanna they don't wanna fuck me over and I understand that, but at the same time, like I'm always sick and I'm always tired and I'd really like to not be. That is so freaking hot. Yeah. Gotta be his gluten he swells up like he's pregnant. Oh, good lord. That doesn't sound pleasant at all. Hi, Crixie! Thank you! Thank you so much for the birthday wishes. Much appreciated. Yes, a lot of them don't show up until later on in life. Yep. Yep, well, I got- I was diagnosed with, uh, the arthritis, like, six, seven, maybe eight months after I started streaming. So, like, I started streaming end of February. Um... And then, I think it was, like, September that my knee first swelled up. So I stood up after a stream, like it wasn't a long stream, it was, you know, maybe four, five hours long. And I stood up and went to exit the room. And as I stood on my, my right leg, it felt like, you know, when you stand and you twist your ankle and it's like, ooh, and it's not, it doesn't hurt, but it feels almost kind of like you're standing on a bruised joint and it feels a little bit wobbly and not quite strong. It felt like that, except in my knee. And I was like, this is odd. This is really weird. Um, and I thought, oh, I'll probably just twist it or something. It'll be fine. And then over the next couple of days, it swelled up. Um, the the circumference, like the tape measure around the knee, the circumference of the swollen knee was twice the circumference of the non-swollen knee, to give you an idea of how big it was. Yeah. Um, and I was like, oh, you know, it's just, it's a bit swollen, but it'll, like, I'm sure it's just aggravated. Um, it'll go down. It'll be fine. Um, what the fuck? Zarin? What the fuck? The sky Jesus Christ! Okay, let me start again. Thank you. <laughs> but holy fuck. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my God. Uh, n n nope. I'm gonna not do that. Fucking Jesus. Saren, thank you so much. Holy fuck. 
I'm kind of a little bit breathless. I don't know what to say. What? Uh, Zeran bought me a Fitbit. <laughs> Crixie, Zeran bought me a fucking Fitbit. Um. I feel like this is another one of those situations where thank you doesn't really cut it. Thank you so much. I'm gonna say it again. I really hope you're like, I really hope you're okay that you're taking care of yourself first. Like, as always, I am so appreciative of your generosity. Thank you so much. I can give Jess back his now. <laughs> I've, been, I've been using his for fucking, for, for a month, so, like for months and, oh my God. Holy shit. Holy shit, thank you. Thank you, Zarin. God damn. Uh, all right, what was I, fuck, what was I saying? Um. What was I talking about? Uh, I was lunching maybe four or five hours. <laughs> no, I mean, it wasn't like I was, and I, I'd been getting, I'd gotten up a couple times, so it's not like I was sitting and not putting any pressure on my leg for like a 24 hour stream is what I was trying to get, like, it wasn't like one of those ridiculous, it was just, you know, it was a regular size stream. Um, three years of medical school due to injury never went back. But like you, I find it all fascinating. Yeah, it it really is. But yeah, so it swelled up three times. Oh, to to like it was double its size circumference wise. I uh, I referred to it as my clown knee because you know how you like you have clown shoes and they're massive. So it was my clown knee. Yep. Um, and I kept walking on it for two full weeks, just being like, oh, it'll go down. It'll be fine. Nothing. It's fine. It's whatever. It didn't. Uh, so I finally went to the doctor and he said, how long has it been like this? I said, two weeks. He's gone, what? <laughs> I said, yeah, two weeks. He's like, why? So I thought it'd go down. He's like, look. So um, he drained it. He put a numbing needle into my knee joint and then he put a needle in and drained the fluid. He took a whole specimen jar full of fluid out of the knee joint, uh, like the actual inside of the knee, and then put in steroids to keep the to, to reduce the inflammation and keep it down um for a week it lasted 36 hours before it puffed back up again so i went in again he drained it again and he put enough in for two weeks it lasted for 48 hours and that's when he filled out a referral to the hospital um because at that like at the time they also did uh testing for rheum uh, rheumatoid markers you know um rheumatoid arthritis I didn't have any of those, uh, and they called it reactive arthritis. So, like, um, basically, your body starts to kill, like, it tries to attack something like a like a flu or a stomach bug or something, and then once that's dealt with, your immune system doesn't turn off again. It just goes after something. Um, it's like about eight to ten percent of the population. It's genetic. Eight to ten percent of the population have the gene for it, but only like one to two percent of the people who have the gene ever have it triggered. Um, and so, yeah, I went through a bunch of different medications, had some fucking terrible reactions, like massive allergic reactions to some, hugely terrible side effects to others. Um, and so I went, but I had to try, I had to tick the box that I tried like three out of six or three out of five medications that could treat it before I could apply to get a subsidized medication from the government. Um, and so I tried those, none of them worked, and then we put it off the thing, and I was on Humira. Uh, I was approved to go on Humira. Um, it's like EpiPen style, ka-ching, stab in your thigh once every fortnight, and uh, it hurts like fuck. Um, but it allows you to walk, uh, and that worked. And then I started getting sensory patches, uh, where I've and I still have them. Um, there are patches of my skin where I have no sensation. Um, so I can feel like if I press on, if I, if I press on them, I can feel because there are nerves under the skin that can feel the pressure, but like on the surface level, uh, no sensation. I can't feel hot. I can't feel cold on those, but there's not one on my arm, but like there are a couple of them over my body. Um, they're all about like this sort of size and I can't feel anything on those patches. Uh, and they started popping up one at a time or like it was, I think they were in twos now that I think about it, but like I'd do the shot and then two days later, two would pop up. And then I, two weeks later, I'd do my, another shot and then another two would pop up. Um, and they're like, so uh, they sent me to neuro and I have a lesion in my brain, but it's teeny tiny and it shouldn't be doing anything. It's just there chilling. 
um, like a two millimeter lesion, like a teeny baby tiny thing. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be doing anything, but maybe it is. They don't, they can't really tell because it's too small uh, and it's not worth going in there to find it because it's only two fucking mils. Um, and, uh, and then, uh, my, my liver, my liver shut down. Um, I was itchy all the time head to toe, everywhere, random places, just itchy, always. I had been taking a Telfast a day for a couple of weeks just to try to get through the day because I was insanely itchy. And mum calls one day and she's like, how are you going? I'm like, yeah, I'm all right, but I'm fucking itchy all the time. Oh, where? Everywhere. Okay, I need you to go to your, I need you to call your specialist and I need you to ask for a liver function test. I'm like, why? My mum's a registered nurse. She said, itchiness everywhere is a sign of liver failure. I was like, oh, good. So, so I, I called my specialist and I said, I'm itchy everywhere. And my mother, a registered nurse says, I should get a liver function test. And my specialist said, yes, you should. <laughs> so she sent me a thing and I went and got it done. And turns out I had no liver. Um, it had, it had pretty much completely shut down. Uh, so they pulled me off and that was, and they also like the, the lupus and all that kind of stuff as well. Um, so they pulled me off that, but my knee didn't swell back up when they pulled me off it because of all the bits and pieces. It didn't swell back up. They're like, oh good, maybe we'll just stay off it for a bit. Then it did. Um, and the, the stuff that I was experiencing with Humira, the, uh, the sensory patches and all that kind of stuff, they called them MS-like symptoms. So multiple, multiple sclerosis type symptoms, uh, not MS, but MS-like. Um, and they are a one in 200,000 chance of happening when you're on Humira. I, have you noticed a pattern? I keep winning the wrong lotteries. This is why I don't have a heartbreaker. Um, and then, so then they put me on Cosentix instead because it, it functions, it's a different drug. It functions in a similar way, but not the same way. Uh, and Cosentix worked with no side effects, except for the fact that I really didn't like doing it because it was two EpiPen style things, one in each thigh once a month. Yep, that was great. <laughs> Thank you, Len. Happy birthday. Indeed. Fucking happy birthday. Thank you so much, Zerans. Thank you. Fucking Jesus. Oh, happy birthday stream is good. Indeed. What is a Fitbit? It's kind of like, think like an Apple Watch or like a smartwatch type thing, but it's specifically designed to track uh, fitness things. So you can use it to track your exercise, your steps each day. Uh, it logs your heart rate during the day. Uh, it can track your sleep and you can plug things into it like your weight and your food in terms of like caloric intake and all that kind of stuff like it there's a whole lot of bits and pieces it does there is also like a premium subscription where it can do a whole bunch of other stuff but um i was fine without that part uh when i was using jazz's so just like, oh thank you tay you're welcome jazz yeah <laughs> okay clean this is what did i miss zaren bought me a fitbit um funny thing is literally something like before you ask i'm good in the gift message oh <laughs> Look, you know me well, you know me well, but that's like, yeah, it, it is really important to me that you guys take care of yourselves before you take care of fear, always and forever, like seriously. It would, like as much as getting a donation or a gift really makes me excited and happy and stuff, if I ever were to find out that I got that and it resulted in someone not being able to eat properly for however long, it would destroy me. Um, so, please no. Please no. Ah, uh, my MRI results back. I have S1 joint institution with desiccation. Never heard that one. Just waiting to get back in Tuesday with Nero to see what we do about it. Oh, Crixie. Hey, you've got a, you've got part one of the answer. That's something, right? Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Ah, oh, I did the same thing when I lost feeling. My foot went on for two months thinking it was just to sleep. It'd wake up eventually. Three years later, both feet are fucked. Doctor's basically exhausted every option. No idea what's wrong. Jesus. Excuse me. That's so... Oh, yeah. One of the things when I had my sensory patches, um, they did nerve conduction test. A nerve conduction test is when they fire a small amount of electricity down a nerve to see if it cuts off anywhere, to see if it actually like travels down the length of your limb properly and there's no like damage to the nerve somewhere along the way. It is as painful as you think it is. I was sc screaming, screaming in agony. It was horrific and horrendous and I... I mean, like they said it would, they, they said it would hurt a bit. Like they said, like, we're not going to lie. It, it's painful. I was not prepared for the amount of pain that it caused. Oh, holy fuck. It was, that's probably the worst pain I have ever felt. Um, fun facts with fear. <laughs> yeah, that's savage. 
Um, do you have to pay for healthcare in Australia? I don't know how it works out there. Um, we have, we do have health insurance that you can pay for. Health insurance enables you to like choose your, your specialist sometimes and you can get to see them faster and stuff because they have like, they don't take public. We call it like this private health cover, like private health insurance and then public health. Um, so we have public hospitals and private hospitals. Private hospitals you have to pay to go to or you have like your private health insurance that covers most of it and you just pay like an excess. Uh, like you pay a token amount, which is a couple of hundred bucks or several hundred dollars, depending on your level of cover. And then the rest of it's sort of covered. Um, and then you get like money back on certain things and all this kind of shit. Uh, but then we also have the public healthcare system where most shit is free or heavily subsidized. But um, you could just kind of have to wait until they have an availability. Um, and you'll be allocated, like, it'll be, if you're high priority or low priority, if you're low priority, it could be years before you get seen. I was luckily and kind of unluckily uh, designated a high priority, and so I got in, like, three or four, maybe five months. Um, it was it was pretty quick. Um, but, you know, high priority is great because you get seen quickly, but it also means that they think you're an urgent case. <laughs> so, yeah, I think it might have had something to do with my age because I was, like, 26 at that point. Um and, you know, a 26-year-old probably shouldn't have arthritis. Uh, and I kept being told that, you're too young to have arthritis. I'm like, well, I'm fucking clearly not, am I? Because I fucking got it, don't I? <sighs> Look, I had some rough days. <laughs> but yeah, we we got there. I was on crutches for three months um, while I was while we were trying to figure out a medication that would actually bring my knee level, like the, the uh, swelling down. Um, but yeah, so all of the stuff that I've done, I do have to pay for my meds. I have to pay for like the Humira when I was on that and the Cosentix when I was on that. I have to pay for that. Um, but it was like 45 bucks for a month's worth. Um, and But the, the meds themselves cost like 55 grand or something. I, I don't know the exact number, but they're like 55 grand a year to be on the medication, but it's subsidized by the government. That's Medicare. That's our um, public health, our... our um, Universal healthcare type dealy. Um, if you may describe to people as if you're wearing a leather shoe. Uh, some things, yeah, dentistry most people have to pay for, which is why I have 23 grand worth of dental. <laughs> Private health pays for some. Doctors, a lot of bulk build, meaning it's free, unless a specialist, which often comes with a fee. Um, there are other doctors that you can see, uh, they're not bulk build, but you do get Medicare back. Like you, I might pay 120 and then get 80 bucks, 80 bucks back from Medicare. Uh, so I only end up paying 40 in total. Uh, kind of liver day symptoms, yeah. Free at the time, I should say. We pay for it in taxes, technically. Yeah, so they, they have, like, a Medicare levy that they take out of our taxes, and that covers bits and pieces. Uh, Duke is now possessed. Good. Bestie has MS. Those symptoms are not fun. No, no. It was kind of fucking terrifying when that's what they said to me, and I was like, what? Um, but, yeah, they took me off the meds, and nothing, yeah. One in 200,000 worse than the heartbreaker. Exactly, right? Exactly. The grand prize of the community lottery, I did. I have the most amazing community. Fitbits track the most complex. Tamagotchi, yourself. Indeed. Indeed. I've been through a really bad act. I've watched my girlfriend suffer so much with autoimmune over the last 10 years. At one point, her immunity was so low, she ended up getting TB in her bowel. Holy shit. Yeah, that is, um, oh my god. I'm so sorry that she went through that. Fucking hell. It makes for a good story, doesn't it? Like, once you've survived, once you've healed, and once you're okay out the other end, like, you know, I've had, uh, I've been seeing a psychologist for fucking years, uh, and, like, it really has helped me kind of work through the whole why me, what the fuck is going on, being angry at my body for not doing what it used to be able to do, and blah, blah, all that kind of shit. Like, I've worked through most of that, so I'm okay talking about most of it fairly openly, but, um, for, mm, yeah. Mm. Uh, is it fun getting the needles in? No. Wrong. Needles are bad. I know it was sarcasm. It's okay. You're the worst. Thank you, Ellie. Thank you so much. Oh, I've had the mere function test watching. It was seriously. Oh, yeah. It's, um, and you can't, like, hold the hand because you fucking get electrocuted. It's, yeah, no, it's, um, oof. It was horrible. Horrible. Maybe you called it, uh, no, no, the terms in Swedish. Um, so it's a nerve conduction test. So they're looking to see if the nerve can conduct the electricity appropriately. But because they can't detect the super low levels of electricity that nerves usually conduct, they have to use more. So it's literally electrocuting a specific nerve. Uh, it's great. Thank you, Street. I was just going to be a friend about what Sims 4 packs I was going to buy and what sale next minute. I'm receiving an email for 
Jesus Christ, Nutty. Oh my God, that's amazing. Thank you, Fall. Thank you, Shopa. Thank you, Zam. What's I hate hearing you're too young for this? Yeah, it's like, fuck off. Clearly I'm not. Because I fucking have it, don't I? Oh well, that's fine. Uh, I, I understand that it comes from a good place, but no. <laughs> Literally thinking for... Silly, because it's not that bad. Yeah, how about we strap you down and do it to you then, mate? Yeah. Okay, he's trying to figure out what's wrong. Like, yeah, to the doctor, not to you, obviously, Day. But yeah, like, that's... Yeah, no. Nah. I remember you combo too young and too healthy, e.g. skinny. Ah, uh, skinny has its own set of complications, doesn't it? Ah, uh, possessed and dead within a year. You're very nice to have regular IVG. IVIG, yeah. So expensive, the treatment. If you're really lucky to live in the UK... Oh, hell yeah, I feel so lucky to live in Australia. Like, the only thing I've had to pay for this whole thing. I had physio appointments, I had, like, neurology, I had CT scans, MRIs, all the fucking barrage of tests. So many bloods over the years. So many blood tests. There was a point I was getting stabbed three times a fucking month for blood tests. Um, and, and none of it was paid. I didn't pay any of it. All I paid for was my meds. Like, so grateful. So grateful. Uh, EMG tests and kick rocks and fall off a cliff. Three of them, all three happy in tears. Yeah, I, I was screaming and bawling my eyes out and just not, not fun. I feel like I've had his change practice or retired. Right, as we're getting to a good place. Oh, it's so very fun. Which the process 10 times in six years and I just don't care anymore. Oh, channel, I'm so sorry to hear that. That sucks. That sucks. Discouraging. No, please strap me down. No, no. No, not you, Day, not you. We'll strap the doctor down and show them just how not that bad it is. Too young for this. Okay, I agree. Take it away then. Yep. Production test suck. Had one. Got told they don't hurt. Yeah, bullshit. Yeah. They're, no, mine Mine told me that it does hurt. Like, they said, we're going to be honest with you. It does hurt a bit. But when they said a bit, I'm like, oh, okay. Like, I mean, I have a, I have a fairly high pain tolerance. Um, you know, I'd been doing these fucking shots in my thighs myself for however long it had been at that point. No, nah, I was not prepared. Not prepared. Yeah. Aussie, Aussie healthcare pog. Exactly right, Alenia. Exactly right. Too young to have X issue. Pretty sure I have Ellis Dun uh, Ellis Dunlop syndrome. My doctor said you would have been diagnosed as a kid if you did. I say, geez, when during the two times I saw a doctor as a kid, yeah. Yep, you need to doctor. Don't believe me. Set up a referral. Oh, that's awesome, Crixie. That's such good news. That's such good news. I need to go to bed. I am. I am exhausted. Today has been so freaking awesome. Um. Really, truly awesome. Uh, the the whole like finding about the Facebook post thing. The Facebook post was fine. It was like you know genuinely honest, reasonable, valid question. Uh, it was the other comments that have now been deleted that were on the Facebook post that were a little uncomfortable. It's not like I haven't seen anything worse in chat. Uh, I have not like I haven't seen anything yeah like that in in chat or whatever. But um, responding, not I obviously wasn't responding to the individuals who were being misogynistic, but. Um, just responding did make me really nervous and my anxiety went pa-ching! Um, but it happens, you know, when you put yourself out there in public like this, um, uh, what do they say? It's like in a video game, you know you're on the right track when you encounter enemies. <laughs> like, in a video game, if you're wandering down a hallway and there's nothing there to kill, like there's no enemies there, nothing trying to hurt you, this is probably not the correct direction to be furthering the story, right? So you know you're going in the right direction when you encounter enemies. Uh, so that's kind of what I remind myself. Not that we should have to deal with it, but that sometimes it's inevitable. Um, so people who don't know me talking about how I fucked half the people at Blizzard to get on the launcher. Uh, well, I hope they sleep wonderfully tonight. I hope they are proud of the information that they've put out on the internet and their assumption that I am uh, an idiot or that I don't work hard for what I have or whatever. That's fine. They can, they can have their beliefs. Uh, and we, in the meantime, will continue to have an awesome time here in the community, streaming as frequently as my body can handle, uh, and just having a lovely time. Thank you all so much for being here, and thank you so much for the well wishes, for the gifts, for the donations, for the fucking 848% hype train, for, like, and thank you for the support that you always manage to just... Thank you, all of you. Thank you, all of you. I should probably find somebody to raid. Oh, I have a lot of redemptions and I'm gonna probably refund most of them because today has just been a shit fight. Um, 
Yeah, that is your age until we have RA. A few years ago, telling me I was too young despite the medical evidence. Mm. Mm. Obviously not too young because I fucking have it. Um, you know, it, it is what it is. And that's fine. Um... Uh, and that's fine. Today has been great. I want 84k embers. Yas, dupe. Did my resolve and you have a great attitude towards it all much better than just feeling sorry. Thank you, Yaza. It definitely it it took therapy for me personally. Like I know some people don't need that. Some people don't like that. Whatever. That's that's their journey. And that's I'm not going to, you know, ain't going to fuck with that. Uh, but yeah, for me, therapy has certainly helped. Um, it's just helped me to kind of reframe stuff and to get things off my chest, even things that I've felt guilty about feeling. Like, you know, I, I hated that my body couldn't do what it used to be able to do, but at the same time, I recognized that some people who experience this are never able to walk again, and I can, so shouldn't I be grateful? And you, so working through all that kind of stuff with a therapist was really, really helpful to me personally. Um, and so it, I definitely feel like I'm in a better place for it and am able to share my story more comfortably without, without like, harming myself because of that uh yeah thank you thank you uh yeah it does my psychiatrist who manages my meds isn't covered by new insurance i get to pay 250 dollars for 15 minutes so i can get my meds filled that's wonderful thanks america good lord good lord you really truly oh awesome. thank you landa for the path you want to be on gladly continue supporting and cheering for you thank you thank you and there are lots of people who work at Blizzard. I know, right? I know. Enjoy the rest of your birthday. I will. I'm going to finish my cake. And then I'm probably going to curl up in bed uh, with Pokemon. Uh, where are we? Continue to have continued wonderful day. Keeping your lovely tree. Oh, thank you, day. Thank you. The therapy didn't work for me at all. Different strokes for different folks. Absolutely. And look, it, sometimes it can be that the therapist didn't You like, there are so many different therapy techniques and maybe they used one that wasn't going to be appropriate to you and the way that you think and act and, and all that kind of stuff in your life. Uh, or it might be that like talk therapy as a whole isn't for you. Um, there's also things like art therapy and music therapy and even fucking like movement, like sports therapy and, so, and not, not just physical therapy, but actually sports as mental therapy and shit. Like there's... God, there's so much out there these days. It's fucking magnificent. I love how the the um, industry feels like the wrong word, but we're going to go with it. I love how the industry is adapting to realize that not only is mental health so fucking diverse, but the ways to treat mental health need to be as diverse as the conditions and as diverse as the people suffering from them or, or you know, dealing with them depending on the situation. So, yeah, it's um absolutely different strokes for different folks. Uh, Scotland needs to invade everyone and share our health key. Yes! Also your kilts, because I like pleated tartan. Uh, <laughs> we got Tibbs on New Zealand coming for us first. Fruit birthday cake is also red velvet or German chocolate. I'm jealous. This one, uh, this one's a black forest cake. Um, and I'm very excited to finish off the rest of my birthday cake. And I'm not just talking about this slice. I'm talking about the rest of it as well. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of late there now, right? It is 10.26 p.m. Lunchtime there. Yeah, definitely not lunchtime here. Little thousands of dollars of group therapy of different varieties just end up running the group <laughs> channel. Look at you go. Leadership qualities. All right. We're going to do a raid. We're going to send some love. Uh, oh, okay. This one. This one. Um, Murray is a wonderful, lovely human. Genuinely. Uh, so I hope that you'll join me in sharing the love with her. I'm going to see you tomorrow for Heartbreaker Runs and that's it. So I'm going to start at midday my time. You can click Fiyama under the, uh, like scroll down, click Fiyama, click schedule, convert to your time zone. And, um, yeah, it'll convert it to your time zone and I'll see, fuck, my brain just went, Cusp. did you guys see? It is like loading, 404, brain not found. Uh, <laughs> I need to sleep. Um, and then, yeah, tomorrow, stream, Sunday, stream, raid, Murray. Copy paste message. Fiyama hype, if you no have emote, because no sub, no channel points, that's fine. D delete Fiyama hype, replace with your favorite happy, happy emote, 
and drop it into Murray's channel when we get there to give her some love and uh, share the hype. Uh, and I'll see you tomorrow when I will be still 32 because that's how old I am now. Fuck. <laughs> Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. All of love. Mwah. Bye, guys. Want some of my...